Good evening, all you fellow builders, retro contraptionists, explorers, miners, adventurers, farmers, unfortunately griefers, and any and all badasses in the lands of Minecraft. It's Dazzy, the king of kobolds, coming at you live yet again. Hope everyone's doing fantastic, guys. It's Saturday. Unfortunately, Sunday, which is tomorrow. Not yet Monday, but, you know, still. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, finished Miss Marvel today. It ended well. Um, let me give it a six and a half. So I gave it a seven. Um, good show. Just trying to think of like my my gripes with it. Um, I wanted to see more of the Jin bits. Uh, the ending made very little sense. Like, like the post credit scene. So that that was trying to currently register that in my mind. Let me just get chat situated here. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so today we'll be doing some Minecraft. Uh, something a little later because I want to hang out with Sarah. Uh, tomorrow's Sunday, so I uh, made it official. Sundays will be random game days. Now, uh, I have a few options. I mean, I have a lot of options. But, like, as far as the ones that have been brought to my attention, uh, I might either do some Warhammer or... Or, and if you're watching the cyber, I might try Conan. Maybe. Now, whether, uh, regardless of, like, this or that, uh, the biggest limiting factor on me continually playing these series is honestly just time. So... If I start a series, I might continue it, but it might not be, like... The following day or week, right? Otherwise, I'll be shuffling around like four or five series that I have to complete, and that might take a little bit of time, so. But all the same, though. Sundays will probably be the new, uh, like, let's try this out day, right? Now. I think it's in my shulker box. If I'm not mistaken. We're forcing that crown, guys. I should have enough gold. Uh, let's see here. The two there. The four there. Uh, in other news, I finished the quarry today. Um, I have so many questions still. Like, as into, like, the origin of everything. Or, like, I know how... I know what the origin is as far as, like, the family and, um, you know, uh, the mom, right? Like, I got, I got all that, right? But the part I'm not quite sure of... So, was it a curse? Was it an infection? Like, nothing was actually explained. Um, whereas in, like, the first one ever, which was, uh, Until Dawn, I think, um, you know, it was explained to a decent bit, right? I think in House of Ashes, it was about fully fucking explained. Nice. And, um... Second here. And I just, like... I'm trying to figure out what exactly hap- what the, what the fuck? Hold on. I'm trying to figure out exactly what happened here. Like... Okay, why does it keep doing that? So hold shift. Go shift. Okay. So it's holding left click, apparently. Anyway, so mentally, that's kind of where I'm at as far as like trying to figure out this or that, right? Um, let's see here. We do have snacks. Yeah, we've got snacks. Uh, let me slip through the night real quick, guys. Oh, I forgot the uh the lo-fi. So as usual, the music's brought to you by Lo-Fi Geek. They're an awesome channel. Let me just start that up real quick because you have to play through at least a commercial before it's just swapped with commercials. So, 
happening in Discord? One second, guys. Sorry, I'm back. Now, let's see here. So... Well, I guess we'll have to slip through the night anymore. Uh, so there's the bee. Uh, it's not done, because we're adding the golden crown. It'll be the crowning achievement of Her Majesty's reign. But all in all... Shut up in there. All in all, though, it might look pretty good. So a few blocks we're going to want is a couple of redstone blocks, uh, a couple of uh, emerald blocks. So it's like... Let's do like... Six should be enough. Should be. Uh, let's do some. Let's do some lap or uh. Oh. Hey, welcome to the stream, lovely little songbird. How's your day going? And yes, thank you. I I it's so essentially the bee is a um. It's a follower build. I try to make sure that all my followers get um. Well, they're allowed one build into the village. So this is Evil X's uh, queen bee. It's not done yet. I can't complain, starting a little bit late. Usually I start about four hours earlier, but you know, we'll still be here for another eight hours. Uh, I had some fantastic taco pasta, finished Miss Marvel in the quarry. Thank you. I'm not the best at building the game, so it took me some time. Uh, I think Evil wanted redstone as a ruby. One second here. Yeah, that'll do. Let me just store some shinies away. But yeah, though, so the plan is to make a giant crown for her. Oh, I think that was why Evil wanted this, was because Evil recently started playing Terraria. And I think they like the Queen uh, Bee boss, is what I'm guessing. Get up in there. Zombies. Oh, I don't have my wings on. That's why. Oh, agreed, agreed. They somehow beat Plantera in Master Mode with jungle armor and a B gun. Oh, so they claim. Shit, he found out. Hey, evil! <laughs> I know, it's terrifying. Evil, you're more than welcome to go and hang out with your friends. I just want to make sure you're okay, that's all. Maybe. The bee's done, by the way. Shh, don't tell him he doesn't have to know. Oh boy, I actually might need more gold blocks. Tell you what. What? So let's... For the ground. I've become a wizard. Maybe you're the sus one, how about that? Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking, and then, I'm trying to imagine the shape here. Evil was the sus all along? I knew it. Uh, I mean, let's do something like that. 
And then we'll do like just a pyramid of redstone here. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. By the way, since we do this stream, uh, I'm Dazzy, the King of Kobolds. I stream every day of the week, 8 to 12 hours a day. And right now, we're generally speaking playing Yakuza 0 and Minecraft and Evil Genius 2 and some other things here or there. Oh! What am I doing? I forgot to play the fucking lo-fi. There we go. Pleasure with you as well. So maybe like... Like that. Can you not? Can you not hear it as well, uh, lovely little songbird? Is that better? Okay. Is that good or is it just better? Because Lo-Fi's not supposed to be super loud, right? So... But is it good though, or is it just better? Like, so it should it be a little bit louder then, you think? Okay. I'm turning on my volume a little bit. Thank you for your assistance. Okay. How's that? All right. So, Eva, look, your queen bee's done. Isn't it precious? Look at it with its little wings and its little feetsies. And its crown. Don't forget the crown. Took a lot of mining. Hold it. Let me just add a little bit more of extra uh, bits to it. Do you actually not like it, Evil? Or are you just being a dick? I know you. Uh, let's see. There? Uh, it's an AFK platform from my creeper farm. Which also needs more gold. Well, I mean, so, I mean, I'm still working on the insides, right? But what do you want more added to it? It's got the wings, it's got the leg. Like, hold on. Let me, let me find an image real quick for a bay. So you can compare it. Obviously, that's the best ever, right? Because I suck at building in this game. But, I mean, I think it's not bad. Let's see here. Minecraft. Yeah. Right, I'm pulling up an image real quick of it. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. I mean, I'll move there. I'll, I'll work on the crown some more. But just for a comparison, though, real quick for everyone on the VOD and all you lovelies in chat right now. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I mean, like, it's got the eyes, it's got the wings, the feet. Oh, 
Okay, so just the crown. I'll redo the crown a little bit. What do, what do you think? I'm glad you think she's beautiful, by the way, Songbird. Copper. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, do I have... I think I have a bunch of copper downstairs. Let me go grab some real quick. Also, evil buddy, how's your day going? The blue parts. I mean, I actually, I actually did make them bigger, though. They were one block big. I doubled the size. If anything, there should be more space in the middle. That's good to hear. Oh, right. Evil. I added some more commands for you, buddy. Um... That's where it is. See? I think I also have the quote one, but I think only mods can do the quotes right now. Didn't add that one yet. I'll be doing that probably tomorrow. I was going to stream about uh, four hours earlier, but me and Sarah wanted to just take it easy today, so... Look, I struggled to get the uh, the Fodlich one to work. That sucked. It's only mods, but yeah. Let's see here. So I take it you played this game before Songbird because I actually, I'm asking because a couple of days ago I had a few people who have never played Minecraft or knew about it before. So do you still want it to be gold then? Is that what it is? Okay. Are you an anime fan? Also, Evil, while uh, I was working on your shit, this is the other thing I made. You can't really see it right now because it's all full, but let me just fix that real quick. Hmm. Are you excited for this anime season? There's a lot of goodies coming out. I think tomorrow we finally have the actual first episode of Don Machi and not just a recap. Overlord's getting crazy. Uh... I saw The Devils of Part-Timer Season 2. It's definitely a different art style. I feel like the main character looked different, but maybe I'm going crazy. Main Abyss is still scarring. Uh, so, actually, that's a good point, though. Uh, Evil, how are you... New episode, by the way, tonight at, like, 4 in the morning or 3 in the morning or whenever I stop streaming. I mean, it's earlier than that, but, you know. How are you liking One Piece? It starts slow, though. So if you don't like it, give it some time, I'd say. Still working on the walls and stuff, as you can see. But, like... I think from here, it looks real pretty. Uh, I'm interested in the second season of Devil's part time -o. Hmm. I like how meme-worthy uh, Spy X Family is. Not that it's, like, bad. Like, I don't think I've ever seen an anime with more memes coming out of it than Spy X Family. That's what I'm saying. It's, like, it's not made for memes. But, like, you know people are, like, photogenic? Like, they're made for photos? You know, Spy X Family is made for memes. It's just... It's not, it's not an insult. It's a compliment. It truly is. Look at anime, any uh, animated GIF meme uh, channels on YouTube. 
at least four or five of those videos are Spy X Family exclusively. Because, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't, well. Well, evil. Again, evil. You don't have to hang out with us. The reason why I messaged you in Discord is because you haven't been on in two days. And I just wanted to make sure you're okay. That's all. For real. I was worried. You're more than welcome to just, you know, head out and just play with your friends and stuff. I, I, I didn't know. Just make sure. Fair enough. Fair enough. I had a... Uh, I think there are channels Viking Algeria. It's a bunch of, like, animated, you know, GIFs and memes and shit like that. It's all, like, anime stuff. Um... That's why I started Genshin, because I was like, hmm. Given I haven't played Genshin in a while, but that's why I started it. Yeah, he was on my, uh, bleh, one of my regulars. He's an awesome guy. Right, so Evil said I should work on the crown, make it pop out a little bit more. I think he said gold still. We got the uh, the bronze going, but that's fine, or copper even. Oh, he is. He is. Most of the people on my channel are pretty chill and laid back and shit like that. No, most of them are night owls. Mostly because I stream so into the stream or the channel, so generally it's like usually two to four slash five uh, p.m. CST, and then usually eight p.m. to about five thirty in the morning. So that's usually the majority of my people are the eight to five p.m. or yeah five a.m. Uh, it's really nice. Top three anime you watch, which is same. So I mean, are we talking? top three anime I'm watching right now or my top three favorite anime of all time? Because that's tricky. Right now, I can name uh, three very easily. Of all time, I still have my favorite. Okay, so favorite anime of all time. Number one, uh, Gurren Lagann. It's fantastic. It's short. It's sweet to the point. Number two, I'm going to say One Piece. It is probably the best anime of it. One of the best animes ever made. Uh, pacing could be a little here or there, but Otherwise, it's fantastic. Um, third, honestly, the Helsing OVA. Yep, the Helsing OVA, the entire series of the Helsing OVA. Uh, but I also love like Maiden Abyss is fantastic. Don Machi is ridiculously enjoyable. Uh, that Iruma Kun one where he's uh, in the Demon School is fantastic as well. I mean, Black Cat was really good back in the day. Dragon Ball Z's class, I mean, I could go on and on, but my top three, I would say, would be Gurren Lagann, One Piece, Helsing Ultimate. Oh, I highly recommend him. Though Helsing Ultimate is... gory, to say the least. You also have, like, Dead Man in Wonderland. Ooh, there, there's a lot. There's a lot. Anyway, uh, what am I doing here? I am heading out to make the gems pop out more. <gasps> ha wh Hello? Wh what happened? Uh, I like landed on the top and just skated somehow to the wing and then jumped off because they're... If you don't mind me asking, uh, sir or madam, or anything between, what's your favorite? Also, uh, shout out to lovely little Songbird for the follow. Thank you so incredibly much. It's a pleasure to have you in chat. Uh, you're wonderful to talk to so far. I hope you're enjoying the music and the stream. And you've officially broken the 69 follower score. How could you? One second. What? Exactly. Sorry, my partner just went nice from the bathroom, so. <laughs> uh, I told you my stream times and day. Uh, there's a Discord as well if you're interested. And, um... Thanks so much for joining us. I love you too, sweetie. Thanks so much for joining us. And good sir or madam, good sir or madam in between, or anything in between, I tip my crown to you. Sorry, my, my partner's in the hallway just making faces at me right now. 
Huh? No, 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 no. No, I'm just, I'm just thanking lovely little Songbird for following. That's all. It'd be rude not to show proper respect and thanks. Right? So I think it'd be rude. I am adding, uh, your, or popping out your gems like you said. I don't know how to make it look, but do it. I will, I will. She usually joins on the weekends. Uh, I think she was... She, yeah, it was yesterday she was on stream. Uh, and I'm going to be honest, she is... Uh, well, with her, we hit uh, peak degeneracy. So... You may think, ha, 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 yeah, he's joking. No, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, that's evil. Hey, Neve, you think I was going to stop stream after 20 minutes? I go 8 to 12 hours a day, mate. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No. Definitely not. Uh, let's get some more gold out. But, lovely little songbird, if you don't mind me asking, what is your favorite uh, anime of all time? Top three, or your current favorite two you're watching or are catching up on? Oh, fuck. Aha! Ow. We better shut parkour. Make it better. Let's not lose the goodies just yet. So it'd be like... I guess instead of that, I could just do this here like that, huh? Wait, okay. But yes, okay, that, that's right. Ooh, those are great. Soul Eater's fantastic. I... I, I can't... I, I've watched a little bit of Fire Force, and I heard it somehow ties into Soul Eater. Uh, I just like Soul Eater more. Uh, Fairy Tale's fantastic. Have you watched Eden Zero? I mean, my first anime I looked into, I think, was Soul Eater, but my first one I ever watched was probably, like, Dragon Ball Z on Tanami or something, as far as, like, actually watched. But I think Soul Eater's the first time I ever, like, looked into... I think I watched. I think I watched the entirety of Soul Eater on YouTube. <laughs> so you know, yeah. Oh, Eden Zero is great. It's a little bit darker than uh than uh, Fairy Tale because of like one very specific scene at the end. <laughs> yeah, I love Soul Eater's style. I love the I love the uh, like Halloween Town aesthetic. That's fucking awesome. That's always fucking awesome. Just is. Um, I think here. But if you like Fairy Tale, and I love Fairy Tale as well, by the way. Uh, Eden Zero is made by the same person. Same style. You actually will see Natsu and Lucy in space. Like, in a few scenes. And, like, one of the characters is just Erza Scarlet. Like, it's just Erza Scarlet. Like, it's the same voice actor, same look and everything. Oh, shit. Aha! Yeah, so it only, it's only like a 32-episode thing. Um, It's pretty interesting. Again, same creator of Rave Master. Same style. Like, there's literally a scene where there's Team Shadow Gear, which I think was... What were the names of Team Shadow Gear? There was the bigger guy who could run fast and eventually got skinny. There was the girl with blue hair who could like write mag writing magic, and then there was the one with the seed magic. I forgot I forgot their names. Anyway. Oh shit. But there's legitimately just a scene where they're like there. 
They're just there. Yes. It was Levy, uh, Jet, and Droid. That's exactly what their names were. Yep. Uh, but they're, like, just there. Like, it's, it's all, like, background stuff, but they're there. Like, they're just there. Uh, Plue's back again from Rave Master. And also from Fairy Top, but most from Rave Master as, like, a race of alien dog people who are butlers. Uh, conceptually, I'm not gonna spoil them much. I'm not gonna, t I'm not gonna really explain anything. Uh... In the first five seconds, you'll literally find this out. The main character is raised by a robot demon king who who might actually be, like, an actual demon king. Uh, and they're kind of trying to find, like, something in the universe. And they're going for planets. It stopped at, like, 32 episodes. I think the producer, unfortunately, passed. Or the director. Not the artist. Um, so we're kind of waiting on the return. But... It's good. It kind of has this, like, uh... Uh... Evil, you said you liked it, right? What was what was the name of the, the magic in... Or the... You know, whatever the main characters have in uh, Eden Zero. I'm trying to remember. Well, essentially, it's a form of magic. Let's just say that. Ether gear? Ether gear? Something like that. But it's short. Um, we might get a season two eventually, I hope. And if you like Fairy Tale, I'd recommend it. Also, Evil. So I popped up the gems a little bit, right? I mean, thoughts. Yeah. How does the crown look? So it popped the gems out, right? Add a kind of like an extra point to it. It has a little more feel. Okay. So it's better? Okay, good. I think a part of it was adding that extra uh, bit on the corner so it's more pointed. And then having them pop. Yeah, I think it looks better. Okay. I'm almost on your ability of hope, but. I need to make the inside. Like, it's outside-wise, it's done. Inside, I have to make, like, a bee farm of some sort. Also, Songbird, if you don't mind me asking, thank you. If you don't mind me asking, uh, now that you are a follower... No, it's mine. Lucky Villager. Uh, but now that you're a follower, if you'd like me to add anything to the village for you, let me know. There's a bit of a waiting list, but now that Evil's is done, there's one spot for you. And you just run right, right away. It can't be a mega build, though. Although it's going to be like a year to make. Then we have the beehive below. Yes, look at them. Still need the frog lights. That's something I need to work on still, but... That requires a farm of the nether and making an actual nether base, and that'll be like another day kind of thing. Also, on the inside, it has eyebrows. Oh, thank you. Well, if you want, I can give you a little bit of a tour. It'll be quick. Oh, right. Evil. One more time before you go back to being lurk or lurking. What do you want me to name it? It's fine. So I built most of it, but not all of it. So Sarah built some of it as well. Some of it's also unfinished. Like, uh... But anyway, 
This here is our oxalot enclosure. There's the kids. And our bank slash aquarium slash holding pen because I have to make those still. Let's remove the torch. It gives a little, a little bit better of a view. I'm going to spell it exactly like you did, by the way, Evil. Uh, our house. It was a blacksmith in Minecraft that we just kind of took over and built up a little bit. We got that new uh, new age flat screen TV going with the stereos, you know. Just, you know, house. It's just kind of our base right now. I do love this window because it's really trippy. Uh, let's see here. We have the stasis chamber for ender pearls, so we can tell we're back to base if we have two people. Oh, here's one of the follower builds, actually. Two of them. We have uh, Hearth by Hildren Primus. I will if you want. It's a Hunter's Lodge, uh, Monster Hunter themed. So we got quests, uh, receptionist, table, trophies. We have a little Palico uh, bar. Love the ambiance in this room so much. <sighs> Whoa, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, the bee's about done, though. Wolk, you missed it. Songbird destroyed our record of 69 followers. Now we have 70. Oh, this is part two. Uh, the true shot uh, by Absolutioner. With working target dummies. And well, you know, target dummies. It's all, uh, what's what I'm thinking of? Camouflaged. Nah, 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 you're fine. I'm just giving you shit. Hmm. And the reason why you hear mob noises is specifically because, well, we have a prison. This sucked. When the fuck did an Enderman even get in you? What? How? When? Where? Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Listen to Evil, he's mean to me. Oh, yeah, we have the follow and quote command now, uh, Wilk. I think it's uh, add quote. You have to add one first. Uh, this is we're gonna lose our double O's. Yeah, we do. Uh, double O's uh, visitor center for the Eventide Burrow. I love the glass. Our little dock uh, with a working, uh, well, it's actually a working dock, so. Yep. I don't know why it does two sometimes. I have to go back into the redstone, but this is the dock. And our fishery. Oh my god, is he actually cooking fish in here? Ha ha ha! I love it. A little barbecue. Oh my god! Wait, do, do they cook fish? That's cool. Bit well, we added the followage uh, command, which shows you how long you've been following, and we added the uh, quotes and stuff. I don't know how exactly it works. Only uh, mods right now can do the quote one. Aw, thanks, Wolk. Our sheet pen. It's kind of just of a hobbit hole. That's really it. We have all the colors here. Fucking Enderman! Oh my god! Why? There. Honestly, this was a pain in the ass to make because I had to try to make it look semi-natural. As you know, it was just a giant rectangle. And also, look, there's the bee again. Her royal Majesty. 
You know, I hated it. Uh, there's the farm, by the way. Got berries in the back, if you can see it a little bit. Oh, shit. Thank you, Wilk. I'm an idiot. Yes, you would be correct. You, you would be, you'd be, you'd be correct. It was, it was mostly for the sake of um, comparing that B. Oh, we have our soccer tree. We'll try to. And uh, our root cellar for the sake of storage and for, well, vines. No. Yeah, no, making terrain sucks in Minecraft. It's, it's not that hard to do. Just act like you don't know what you're doing and it'll work. But, um... Uh... You know, still sucks. Uh, this is Aaron Fox, whose build we're working on, on top of Sarah's hotel. It's got a bit of filling up to do, but we have the shell done at least. Uh, it's mostly for like uh, a bunch more uh, villagers, stuff like that. A little cactus and tree farm. See, this is, see, Evil, this is why Wolk is a moderator, because he actually helps me. <laughs> You're like, add it back. Uh, a little bit of a logging camp. Oh, right, I'm working on making a drying area for clay. For mud to clay. This is Gig's, uh, well, graveyard. I'm eventually gonna make a giant, like, skeleton overlord in the bottom of here. He wanted a graveyard. I mean, as long as it's not gonna be, like, a crazy 10-year adventure, like, I'm fine to build it. I, I need to get uh, more bone and just get the energy to do it again. It's been a lot of time, like trying to weave shit together. There's other stuff I'm trying to think about, like the ironworks where we have a golem farm. You know, unlimited iron and flowers. Oh, right. Also, well, good morning, buddy. How's it going? Um, We have our transit system. I'm still... I forgot to add brick to it still. Uh, so I'm going to have to go back and do this. But you know. Well, I don't mind having a bunch of smaller components. It's just when it's one really big thing, it's kind of harder. Oh well. We have the dead drop. Our XP farm. To one who escaping. The hive, the bee. We have a lot of bits and bobs here and there. Blacksmith. Yeah, Wilkes uh, lives in the future. Right now, it is probably Sunday for him already. So, you know. Wolk, woofer of the future. Anyway. Uh, there's a few things I'm probably forgetting. But just want to give you a general idea of, like, the builds I've done already. So... And if you have any ideas, let me just check Telegram real quick so I can tell you what we're kind of working with next. So I need to finish Evil's B, but it's about done. We're making Zelf a pig prison, uh, themed after uh, Evil Genius 2. Wolk is getting a den. Derp's getting a pond. Cheese wants a cheese house. Aaron Foxy's hotel we're working on. Raz is getting a draconic altar. Empty Barrels getting a brewery, and Joshua Lee's getting a statue of their skin, and Golden Goat of Locke wants a golden golem. So. Yeah. Anywho. Let's grab some dirt real quick, and start getting to work on this beehive. Or this, this, this. 
uh, not beehive, but, um, thinking of the word now, can't think. Honey farm. Oh, I could go for it. Honestly, that'd be easier than some of my other builds, so that's fine. Let me just go through the night real quick. I have something semi-similar, but I'll, I'll make a new one. Um, I'll probably put it by the tree farm, since, you know, until uh, 1.20 comes out, there's not going to be a new tree. We do have the, uh, the library. But it's not quite a stump, it's kind of like a shrub. Mostly because I want to try out the new moss block. That's kind of why I did it. But let me just add it to the list real quick. Let's see here. Song. Birds. Druidic stump house. Okay, it's been added. You live in a shrub, Razzy. How's it going, Razzy? I live in a kingdom. I, I actually... Pro oh, also, Razzy, there's the crown. Hold on. Well, I actually need to add more bookshelves to the library. She's got a crown of diamond, emerald, amethyst, and ruby? Yeah. Not today, gravity. Not today. But anyway, Razzie Berry. Uh, good evening. How's your day going, madam? Yeah. Still making the inside, but yeah. Nice, nice. That was me uh, a couple days ago. I told you about that. It was a little, uh, but, uh, I had some taco pasta today. I feel energized. I'm ready to go. And a side note, guys, I am point two from affiliate now, so. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Wolk. Wolk, do you know uh, the name of the guy who makes the uh, orange Nova Kobolds is? I forgot to message him after my son eating. Yeah, well, probably. I go up about point one a day, so. You know, the, the creator for the, uh, the kobold model, uh, the Snaggletooth, the orange Nova Snaggletooth, you know, that, that person. Justin, yeah, yeah, I forgot to message him still. <laughs> I, I probably need to get permission before it's like, yeah. Okay, wait, let me go back, let me get some flowers. And we'll get to work on some stuff here. Flowers, flowers, the iron farm. Why does the iron farm have flowers? Wait for it. That's why. Eventually, I'm going to have to figure out uh, or a reason to use these. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. Just an iron farm, uh, an iron farm, basically. And I had like a golem forge in the back. Hmm. Sure. 
trying to visualize how to do this exactly. Oh, wait a minute, one second here. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Thank you for the link, Wolk, and for the heads up. So I will do. So would I just put it on my like Twitch page then? Is that what you think I would do? Need that open. Okay. As far as the inside's concerned, I might, instead of making it a bee farm, just have it be, like, a bee garden. Okay. Let's see here. I require more flowers. Oh shit. Hold on. Am I fast enough? No, the answer is no. Bro. Let's see here. Also, you should make a Discord button. So I have I have a uh... Under, like, uh, social links, uh, Discord. Should I make, like, an actual button, or...? Hmm. Oh! That's actually you talking about the Discord button right now. I see. Oh, I know why this is like this. Hold on. No, wait, maybe I don't. I mean, I could fix this, though. Just get rid of all those little bits there. You know, better yet, let's just go up top, uh, wait for it to all clear out, and then we'll plant it, or drop it. Yeah. Well, we'll call out a Discord link, um, or button, tonight then. Also, to any lovelies out there who watch the VOD, or any lovelies in chat, Wolk, uh, this wonderful pupper in chat is one who made this model, or at least the one who fixed it up for me, so. Look, their work, it's awesome. Be warned, you have to be 18 or older to look at it, though. Anywho. Where'd that torch go? Yeah, it's fantastic work. I don't. Trust me, I don't. I probably, out of my 200 streams in two and a half months, have probably shut you out 20 times, I would say. Uh huh. Look, look, I've never seen it before. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, he does. He's fantastic. Wait, I fucked this up somehow. What did I do? 
Ah, that's what I did. Let's see here. No, I know, but I've told Razzie about your work in general, though, and they have seen your work. So, yeah. Can't fold kobolds and dragons. Well, maybe. <laughs> Depends how many shinies you have, or explosives. Right, Songbird, are you a Konosuba fan? Because if you didn't know, uh, Konosuba has a new season coming out soon. It's a really wonderfully silly anime. Hmm. What extra flowers? Do we have a lot of dandelion, actually? Uh, it's in a isekai anime, uh, where the character gets, like, a really not good party. And it's just really memey and silly. You'd probably enjoy it. At the very least, you'd get a laugh out of it. I imagine. Okay, so we'll layer it like this. Uh, Konosuba. I'll, I'll put a link into it real quick, just for the title. Let's see here. Konosuba. Uh, I'll just type it in chat, actually, how about that? It's, uh, really silly. Yeah, yeah. Like, so basically, uh, this kid, uh, Kazuma, uh, passes away trying to save somebody from the slowest moving tractor ever, and he dies of fright, not because if he actually got run over. And, um, so the goddess who brings him to their world laughs at him, well, then laughs at him, explains everything to him. Uh, and isn't Adam to choose to take with him? So he chooses the goddess who's bullying him, and she's actually really fucking useless. And it kind of just goes from there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... It's something. Uh, there's some really cute moments. It's very silly. Trying to figure out what I want to put in there. Uh, the ones that the description sounded close to Shield Hero or Slime are the one I can't think of the name. No, it's, it's enjoyable. I also like Shield Hero. Season 2 kind of felt a little lackluster to me. Slime, though, is real spicy. I love slime. And spicy as in, like, there's some... Uh, We're definitely slowly figuring out what's actually happening in that world. How to make a beehive again? All right. Well, time to say hi to the kids. Hopefully they don't sting the shit out of me. Also hope you lads and ladies and anything in between these uh, enjoyed the stream last night with the with the lads. 
I did say I'd be probably screaming in a corner, uh, firing wildly at ankles. I was not wrong. This did in fact happen. Hey, you're on Foxy. How's your day going? Pleasure to have you in chat as always. Going slow, you finally finished modeling up the Skyrim and, or modding. I'm um, playing a bit today, basically going for a full realism run. Well, that sounds fun. Oh, right, Aaron Fox, you haven't seen it since you came on stream last night, a little bit later. Um, your hotel's getting there. So not so fast traveling, gotta sleep and eat and drink. Ah, yes, yes, yes. There was a game mode for Fallout 4 eventually like that, where it was like survival mode. It was kind of fun. I will say ammo having weight is annoying. Still kind of fun. All right, let's see here. The fitness gram, uh, Carry on, carry on lads, carry on. I'm just going to go over here. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, the fitness gram. This is multi-stage aerobatic capacity test. Of course, it gets more difficult as it continues. In Sunpraiser, what the hell are you even linking me, man? Or describing? Did you just find some random shit to, to paste in my chat? Good day! Good day, Sunpraiser. Good day. Mm -hmm. What kind of pasta? Copy pasta. Nom, 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 nom. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I spent too much time streaming. I don't know the meme. I actually don't watch Twitch. I, I, I spent too much time actually streaming on it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, fair enough. By the way, um, Aaron Foxy, how's how's the uh, the uh, in looking so far for you? Sarah built most of it. And by most of it, I mean like all of it. I just gave her ideas. It's not filled in yet. But, um. It's getting there. Also, Sunpraiser, thank you so much for getting me rated twice last night, man. That was fucking awesome. Uh. Thank you. I think when I hit my viewer average, I get more VIP statuses to give out. I'm giving you one of them for sure. And then probably Derp or Razzie. Or maybe they fight to the death for it. Maybe. Uh, it's an interesting end though. How big will the rooms be? See that we don't know about. So let me go back in there real quick so I can show you the gist of how we are kind of trying to plan it out. It's true, she will. Razzie's uh, hunger knows no bounds. So I think Sarah's saying uh, making a reception area somewhere in here. Put the bell in here too. Uh, she said like this will be a commons area here. Maybe like she's, she's trying to go for a Japanese hotel theme. So she said like a manga corner or something over here. And maybe bathhouse over there. Uh, still working on the restaurant, but we have the tables, chairs here. And then up here will be the actual uh, rooms. We might have a second floor going across. Um, as far as the size of the rooms, I'm not quite sure. I'd imagine at least eight to 10 villagers on each side. So 
you know. Then again, there's the middle two. I, I'm not quite sure, actually. He's the one who's really working on that one. Uh, so. So it's lovely. Then again, I hate coffee and honey, but still. <laughs> I am weird. Um. But yeah, the honey's fantastic for throat, buddy. I hope to soon you get back. I also hope it's something serious. Odds are it's not, but... At least by me, there's been a sudden um, uptick of people who are too stupid to wear a face mask if they feel sick now. And so, it's kind of, you know. Um, wait, do I have 10 IV up here? Or do I really? Wait, hold on. Is that true? Hold on. Oh shit, maybe you're right. Okay, so if that's the case, people who are regulars will add into it. So Sun Preacher is awesome. I'll give it to you, Aaron Foxy, because usually you're a regular as well, and you always help out with the, you know, this and that. And you're always lovely to chat with. Uh, and probably Razith. I can't give it to Wolf because he's a moderator. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> That's right. All you have to team up to take him down. Whoever takes on Wolk first gets to become moderator. That's how it works here. <laughs> yeah, he's a little fire or fighter puppy. Uh, let's see here. Let's do Razith. Alan Claw. Little VIP. Aaron Foxy. And last but not least, little VIP. Uh, Derp. I gotta figure out his name real quick. Hold on. I can't give it to you, Songbird, because you literally destroy the channel. <laughs> my, my apologies. But if you hang out long enough, I'll make sure I give it to you. Uh, let's see here. Ah, what, I better remember because it's not. It's like it's like derp. I just call him derp. Aaron Foxy, Ed Umber, Scott's Queen. Eventually, I'll find it, guys. Okay, almost there. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. When he wakes up, I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Oh. It's fine. It'll be more entertaining when he has to figure it out himself. But thank you, Aaron Foxy, for the heads up. Now fight woke to the death for my amusement. <laughs> kick, 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 kick. All right. Uh, let's see about making a couple B boxes. No, I'm just kidding. Do I kind of want to make a B nightclub now? No. No. N no. Hmm. Mm. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Evil, are you there, buddy? I have a question for you regarding your queen being made. Ah, <laughs> I like it. Okay, real quick. Uh, okay, so for now, until Evil gets back, uh, we're kind of done that build. For now. Until he gets back. So, to start Zelf's um, pig prison, we have to go to the end. Oh, shit.
It's fine. I have an elytra. What, what, what am I doing here? I need gunpowder. Uh, if he says no, then put a be speakeasy in the stump. Okay. Sure. The question is, do they B-box or do they listen to B-step? Hmm. Also, a question for you, Wolk. So you know how I did the uh, added, I added the whole quote thing, right? Um, but did I actually add add quote or is it just quote? My night bot. Okay, yes, we have three. We have add quote, delete quote, and quote. Okay. I was going to ask you, do you think I should leave it on moderator, or should I have it for everyone? <laughs> Wolk, it's not a quote I've made. You lie! How dare you? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see here. No, but I was asking, though, uh, do you think I should give it to... That should only be moderators for now, right? Probably. I could at least have uh, add delete quote for moderators and maybe slash or the quote command itself be for everyone. Actually, I think everyone can do the quote. Yes, no, okay, never, that's actually how I set it up. I, everyone can do the quote. Only a moderator can add or delete quotes. Fair. Where do I store paper? So, so the prison we're going for is essentially a evil genius two prison, um, which means we're gonna need some shenanigans. Primarily, no, there it is, and rods. Hmm. That's a good point. I should do that. See, so guys, this is why Wolk's a, a mod. He's, uh... He's smart. He's smart. Okay, we should have enough fireworks, I think. The cape should be fine, maybe. Debatably. We have more than enough food. Also, Razzy Berry, as soon as I uh, come back to the mines, all the gold I'll be working on will be going towards your build next. Uh, I just spend a lot of time on Twitch nowadays and mods a couple. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, if that's the case, Wolk, it means a lot to me that you do uh, take time out of your day to hang out on my channel and stuff when you have a lot of other stuff, you know, going on to do. Oh, right. Uh, you've been promoted, by the way, Sunpracer. You're now a uh, VIP. Okay, so I have the fireworks. I have my lodestone. I need at least four ender pearls, and I would say five eyes of ender I'm forgetting something aren't I oh blaze powder oh uh, what the hell whoa what new powers do I have I don't know if VIP adds any more powers yet I might add the quote, though, to it, because Wilk said I sh probably should, and I trust him a lot. Where am I going? 
Wait, where'd it go? Maybe I should have went to bed. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to add to, like, what uh, status and stuff like that. So... I think next up I'm going to be adding the death counter command. So you guys can remind me when I'm sucking completely. Am I an idiot? Oh, okay. How have I lost two eyes already? Holy shit. Uh, just wait a piece or not. Well. Hmm. I think I do. Let's make a couple more eyes of Ender so we can go into the end. You know, before I fuck this entirely. Okay, let's see here. Um, making a quick clone these days. What are you doing? Oh. A dino version of Bioshock sounds awesome. Had kobolds. I don't know if it's still up, but I think Wolk has like a like a 3D modeling group. Not not just for his artwork, but like uh, for others' artworks and like stuff like that. I, th I think it's it's been a while, but I think so. They say it's all about that base. Aha! I found the eyes of Ender I threw away. Okay, so let's just fly. Let's go up here, see where the eye takes us, grab the eye, and then we'll just start flying in that direction. That's probably the best bet, I imagine. It wasn't too far away, if I remember correctly. It was like 2,000 blocks, so. Should not take like four or five fireworks. Uh, yeah, he did. I remember when Wolf was showing me his first games. It's come a long way, actually. <laughs> uh, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. But no, no. I was saying, if essentially Wolf, that you had your um, Telegram group specific for like uh, 3D art and stuff. Where, like, it wasn't just your work, you were, like, helping others, and yes, we're, like, I don't know if it was about collabs, but you had that for a while. But I think you took it down, maybe? Yeah. But honestly, you're both ready to talk about it here. I... Oh, it is an Azalea tray. Uh... What was I going to say? No, but I love talking about all that kind of stuff. And so you're more than welcome to, you know... Let's see. Let's 
sounds real spiffy. Haha, <laughs> got him. Also, guys, is the lo-fi too loud now? Or is it fine? No, he's not wrong. Okay. Oh god, the lag! Let's go to the sandbank over here. There is, though, speaking of, there is a uh, art channel on the Discord. I will just flash that onto the ch uh, chat real quick. Aha! Let me lower the volume from my headset. That's really loud for me. There we go. I can hear myself talking now. Right, now I wanted to see where the Ayos were taking me. Still make a turtle enclosure. And a frog one. That's way too quiet now. There we go. But I passed it? Did I really? Way too quiet now. Ooh, this is kind of a little pretty, like, valley lake. Ooh. I said the Aryan lamp before time. Yeah. You know, of course, uh, there's some rules like, you know, don't be a dick and shit like that. And no drama. Um, some other bits. But no, it's open to anyone. Just an area where the community gets to hang out and stuff and chat. And it'll also announce when I'm going live and stuff. No, I know, I know, but just it needs to be set sometimes, you know? Why are there just randomly destroyed blocks here? It's kind of concerning. Uh, there's a rule of don't be a prejudiced dick. Exactly. Well, I actually just started it recently, uh, thanks to one of my followers, Derp, who's a awesome lad. Uh, he helped me with 99% of it, so... It's still... still growing. I think I start... I think it was, like, actually, like thing three days ago or four days ago. Oh, okay. There goes the eye. Ooh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No need to panic. Okay. Oh, also, I was talking about earlier. Sunpraiser, are you okay? <gasps> Bunnies! Oh, I need a bunny enclosure too, don't I, for rabbit's foot? Shit. But are you okay, though? I didn't say just sore throat. It's probably just that, but just in case, because I know where I am. Shenanigans are always afoot, and, uh, well, you know. Well, sick, but not bad. Thought it was COVID, but now... Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, you worried me for a little bit.
These break a lot more now, don't they? Huh. That was a bit much of the glare. Not that they break a lot more. So it's not that they just break more? Then what is it? Oh, so I'm just being very unlucky is all. Okay. Well, that's about right. By the way, since we're starting, um, is this where it is? So we're starting stream on a decent hour uh, for the evening stream. I will probably play a little bit of Yakuza uh, in a bit. Hold it. Um, hold it. By a bit, I mean like an hour and a half. Unless I just get super into Minecraft, in which case tomorrow in the afternoon. No, actually, that's right. Uh, tomorrow, uh, by the way, guys, if you uh, didn't see it earlier, uh, Sundays are going to be... Where the fuck am I going? Sundays are our uh game test days or like not scheduled game days i guess where the fuck am i um but like why Interesting. I mean, Sarah is the one who found the uh, fortress, so... Uh... I mean, given the portal's already open for me, so I don't really need him as much, but I, I, I don't know, it just feels weird. Like with a decently enchanted sword, Ender Eyes are like. Not Ender Eyes, Ender Pearls are like two per Enderman. Wait, I'm sorry, is it saying this way? Oh. So, like. Let's get some light going here. Uh, any games you think you're heading back to? Uh, uh, as far as games that I'm thinking about trying for Sunday, so I know Cyber's been asking me to do Conan. What the fuck? Uh, I never played it before. Um, I might do some Warhammer. I'm confused. Where is this? I think it's up as well. Uh, but just generally any game. So there's a few on Epic that came out not too long ago that I wouldn't mind trying. There's some stuff on Xbox. Um... Whoa. Where am I going? I mean... 
like I imagine, so she's been this way, so I imagine it'd be close by. I want to uh, properly play Minecraft, but I don't want to play it alone. Uh, Oh, uh, War, sorry, I was reading chat. Um, Warhammer Total War 3. Uh, much more call it. So I don't know the exacts of how it all works because I'm not the most um, technical, right? But I am planning on having... Okay, this is a good one for it. Hold on. Where did it go? I am planning on having a multiplayer uh, community Minecraft server. You did say NA is an issue, so. But if I can figure out a way for you to join, then I will. Oh, also, real quick. Welcome to the uh, Discord song word. Yeah. It'll take a little bit of time uh, into it, but it's just an affiliate that was kind of the plan. Though now I have like an entire row of things I have to do once I hit affiliate, like. Or just a whole bunch. I'll go into the details, but it's probably boring to talk about. Is it up here? No. No, no problem. Thank you for joining us with the channel today, and um, thank you for joining Discord, and thank you for being an awesome person to talk with. Yeah, I'm still technically very incredibly new at the Warhammer series, as far as playing it goes, so... I seem to be running out of eyes. Uh, really? Um, position, uh, I don't really have anyone to play with at the moment. Well, hopefully when I get this uh, server up, we can do something for you guys. Hopefully. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, so it's, so it's definitely this way. Just mine some gold while I'm at it. Did I find it? I mean, it seems like it's very... So let's try it one more time real quick. Hmm. What do you guys think? Where is the end... Uh, portal. I have one ender eye. Portal's open, but I want to save it just in case right now. I'm gonna head back to the main chamber. 
Sarah uh, made a pathway to it somehow, and I imagine she has a trail of torches going that way. Also, Songbird, what is your favorite character in Fairy Tale? Might as well get all this too. Oh, and Wolk, if you don't mind me asking. You said you wanted to. Will you be playing Yakuza uh, in the future? Okay, so let's throw the eye. It's not just like straight up, is it? Hold on. Hold on. You should do what you want, Walk. But I'm just saying, if you want to get it, you should get it. Oh, I was uh, I was asking Walk what he um. If he wanted, said he wanted to play Yakuza. I was asking if he was actually going to. Uh, then I asked you what your favorite fairy tale character was. I don't think it's this high up. All right, new plan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I lost my final eye. Hmm. True. Very true. No, it's fine. It's probably my side. What do you think, Aaron Foxy? The thing is, the thing is, she must have built this for a reason. So it must be down here. Okay, new question if you can't pick it up. Your favorite arc. Have fun, Wolk. I'll see you when you get back. Also, enjoy your sports. I'll play a real man's game. Minecraft. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of fucking me up doing this. Oh, God. Exactly. You can't tell right now, but I'm flexing. The boldest man that has ever lived. 
Tassie, King of Kobolds. Colt Tassie for 2024. Don't. Don't. <laughs> for so many reasons, don't. Make a horrible leader. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure where to go, guys. Oh. Oh shit, oh shit. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Everything's fine. Maybe I keep my armor on until I, like, actually find out where I'm going. You know, just in case. Ooh, gold. Things. Uh, gunpowder. Name tag. More gunpowder. Take another name tag. Take golden apple for the moss. All right, here. Let's see here. Uh, last one of the Grand Magic games. No, you're fine. I love the Grand Magic games because of, honestly, having the uh, crew of fairy tale actually get payback was just really satisfying. I liked the last arc, but it felt very abrupt to me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure. Lower the volume for myself a little more. It's it's really whether the lo-fi is really different like volumes per song. So if it gets too loud, please let me know. Fair. If you like the kind of story that Fairy Tale has, you'll probably like One Piece, by the way. As far as the kind of story. Uh, true. That was really fucked up at the end before they did the, uh, what was it? The uh, Tartarus arc? Where, like, everyone got to see their family member, and then Nasus just gets destroyed, and you're like, huh, No! Why? Hmm. Uh, let's see here. I've been told, but I have a few reasons I haven't yet. Well, fair enough. I mean, I think tonight, uh, actually, maybe right about now, uh, we're on episode 1025, so it's not the smallest anime to get back into. But to be fair, neither was Fairy Tale. Though, one is way larger. By like three or four times. Okay, so new idea. Maybe I mark the coordinates down and I go back, get more eyes, and find this fucking portal, because it seemed like it was right about here. But I don't see any more torches from Sarah, so I don't know what's going on. What it's also confusing is when we went to those close by was in the mountains. This is not the mountains. 
go over here. What do you lovelies think? Maybe that's where I came from. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's head back and see about getting some Ender Eyes, or, I guess. Not entirely sure. Where this would be. Like, it's a big area, right? So it shouldn't be hard to find. Anyway. I mean, so she's the one who found the actual uh, stronghold, so she could have been exploring. Maybe. But the eye did bring me right about here. So I'm trying to figure out if there is... If this is the one she found or not. Having no luck, though. Yeah, let's head back for now, guys. She was also through this entire area of mines. Maybe it's through the mines, but the the eye was not taking me through the mines. I don't know anymore. What's that supposed to mean, Sun Praiser? I mean, I am slapping my keys wildly, but nothing's happening. I guess for now, uh, let's head up, mark the coordinates, and get some eyes. Like, I don't know what to do. Aaron Fox, what are your thoughts? And also, Razzy, I have some more gold and golden apples for your uh, treasure hoard. Don't worry, madam. It shall grow. Oh, by the way, Razzy, thank you again for giving me uh, Nada's uh, Discord info. I finally got in touch with him. Glad he's doing good. Sarah, why do you build this? Why is it like this? this sucks. This sucks to climb. Why is it like this? Okay. But who want my shinies? Oh shit, hello. Somebody after my shinies? Who is it? Ooh, slime, hold on. Yeah. Ah, oh, don't be a cuck. Ah, oh, you were a cuck. Well, I got one. It's nice. Okay, you all need to calm down here with your shenanigans. Let's put the wings on real quick. We'll swap that out for rockets. Don't need sand and put the compass down there so we can see where I'm going. Are you kidding me? Well, 
Well, that fucking sucked. Yep. Time to make some eyes of Ender and I guess try to find my way back. Yeah, I'm, uh, that, that sucked. That, uh, that kind of sucked a lot. Let's see here. Take that. Just something, at least. Um... Well, guys, wish me luck, because, um... It's time for a journey and a half, because I lost all my shit in a tree. I was like, oh, I could just fly away and, like, eat midair. Yeah. Should have ate. Should have just ate. But it's far enough away... That it should be fine. I hope. What do you guys think? Am I fine? <laughs> Please, I need some. I need some some confidence here. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it fine? I hope it's fine. I really hope it's fine. Okay. We'll make it, guys. Yeah, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. <laughs> What's the cross for Razzie? You have so little faith in the King of Kobolds, huh? I know Songbird believes in me at least. You know, maybe I should actually go to the uh, ancient cities one of these days to get that uh, warden compass. So just in case this happens again, I have a direct route of like, hey, it's that way. You know, that, that's probably like a like a good idea. Also, I think berries just get very little saturation, so I wasn't, like, healing for long. That was probably a factor in all that. Probably. Okay. Well, that's spooky. All right, what do we have up here? Is this where I died? Did I cross the water? I don't remember. The scary thing though, guys, is I'm going on this uh, idea that where I was was actually right where the uh, thing was. And I wasn't being a complete idiot. Yeah.
Yeah, you're probably right. To be honest, I never understood what the whole hunger versus saturation thing is. I think I understand what it is now. I think up there in that hill's where I was. I think. Or I hope so. But hey, at the very least, we have some chill music and we have some awesome people to chat with. And also, apparently, fireworks in the background. I think the way it works, right, is the, the actual food uh, level gives you, like, uh, sh uh, bars of hunger on the hunger bar, whereas the situation is how long you have to wait, kind of, before you have to eat again or something. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, boy. What are the odds that the inertia of my, like, rocket just propelled all my shit somewhere? I'm also assuming this is actually gonna take me to my shit, too. That it wasn't fucking that up entirely. Come on, climb. There we go. It felt like that was the right way because it started coming like straight up and or like straight to a side and not like, you know. But maybe I'm wrong. Damn this game. <gasps> Wait, I, I see. I see. I see the torches. Hold on. I was right. I'm right there. Hold on. I did lose like 30 levels, but I have a mob spawner right next to my base. So like, that's fine. That's fine. I just hope that, like, my shit didn't get rocketed in a direction somewhere. Where was- okay, oh, hold on. No, nobody wants this. Oh, all my sweet shinies. I'll never leave you behind again, I swear. Put all this on real quick. Okay, I got some blocks here. Oh, thank God. Honestly, I think we have about everything. I think. I have my chest piece. Hold on, what do I have and what do I not have? Let's just toss some of this junk out. I have my sword. I have my pickaxe. Axe. Shovel. I have my elytra. Got the fireworks. Food. Got my trident. Hoe. Oh well. Got my box. Also, LOL.
Okay, well, that was fucking terrifying. Uh, yeah, let's put all the shit in here for now. Um... Take those torches. Well, guys, thank you for believing me. We actually got our shit back. Oh, boy. So, real quick, right? I was, I was putting me in this direction with the eyes. If it turns me around or right above me, then it's right below me, right? See, Razzy believed in me. Kind of. Where? Oh! Hold on. Where am I going? I see. So the eyes, okay, so the eyes popping out of the ground, so it's like right here, right? Sir, 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 get out of here. Okay. Oh! Oh! Guys, we found it! Ow. Okay, note to self, it is not Deep Slate Deep. Okay. All right, so if we can find the end portal. No, you guys are fine. I'll just leave you be. No, 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 no. Ex excuse me, excuse me. Here's the thing. I don't think this is the one we went to. I think it's a separate end portal, which is kind of fucking terrifying to me. So, okay, so, so just, just make sure, right? All the end portals take you to the same end boss ring, right? So, like, I'm not gonna fight another ender dragon. Right? Razzy, you're way better at this than I am. Is that, is that about accurate? Oh. You're trolling me, right? Surely there's only one. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm praying to Tiamat herself and also Razzie that I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Oh, fuck. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. There's multiple portals? Are you serious? I thought there was one as well. Fuck. Why? Okay. You're not wrong. 
But after last night's stream, I'm not entirely sure if I want a, an army of Ender Dragons to run a train on me. Just yet. Then again, they are dragons. Maybe. Think about it. So. Now what? I guess my best plan thinking here or option Ooh. Ooh. my best options are probably along the lines of mark location write it down in my travel book and come back with some more eyes First off, Razzy, why do you want this? Second off, no. <laughs> no sun pressure, bad. Okay, is there another chest up in here now? The good news, this is actually pretty close to our base. What about kobolds? We're like, kind of dragons. <laughs> kobolds, we're kind of dragons. Dragon these nuts. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sorry, I had to. Shit. Release me! Release me! Alright. Well... Well, we found it. odds there's a chest in here with like gunpowder or not gunpowder uh blaze powder low right yeah probably really low And Ratchet just wants a harem of Ender Dragons, I think. Okay, so I, I guess let's go back to the end portal, mark it up, or find the coordinates exactly. And I guess I'll head back. I got the rockets, I got the compass. What's down here? Okay, this is the prison or something. Okay. Yeah, let, let's uh let's mark it up. Uh put it in the book and then we'll come back here with some pearl. So so does that mean there's another ender dragon I have to fight though? Cause if it does, I might wanna wait for Sarah to get back. Uh before Oh hey, another library. Before I fight to the death with a dragon. What do you guys think? I'm definitely feeling like I should wait just to make sure. Sharpness 3, I'm breaking 3, I'm breaking fire protection. Come on, thorns. Ah, damn. 
need more thorns. Okay, I didn't think up here at all. Gonna try to find the exact coordinates of the portal so I can make uh I'm hoping to make a railway to this, because then I don't have to find it anymore. I could just be like, alright, let's take the train. Then again, then again, maybe that's what I'll do today. Where did I, where did I, where was the portal, guys? Okay, we're back here again. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck it, the doors are getting annoying. Nope, I've been this way. Do you guys remember where the portal was? It's I am definitely a little lost down here again. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, never mind, I found it, found it. Alright, so... Let's see here. Looking at three, two, four, nine, one, five, two, seven. You know what you should do, Razzy, if you want to challenge in Minecraft? You should fight a wither, a warden, and an ender dragon all at the same time. I never will. That's too much for me. But if you're wanting a challenge, I mean... Just saying. Okay, up, up, and away. Aha! Freedom! Oh god, near death, near death. Okay, freedom. Well, at any rate, guys, we now have the option of fighting the Ender Dragon again. Unless, you don't think they all, um, you don't think they all take you back to the same one, do you? We're at the village already, by the way, I think. We are, oh, look at her majesty. Distance-wise, it's actually not that far away, is it? Let me 
me head to the... The subway. It is 29, so let's just hop in. Oh, okay, okay. So if I go in there in a different ender portal, it's just, it's fine then, okay. But. Razzie, the queen of butts, everyone. No, I'm just kidding. Well. Anyway, go on. Probably what? Probably the queen of butts or the dragon. In fact, it's actually amalgamation of both. She's the queen of uh, dragon butts, to be exact. All right, that's we're switching over relatively soon. Uh, Sun Praiser, have you played or do you know about the Yakuza series at all? Also, Razzy, thank you so incredibly much for the advice and assistance. Now that I know that I'm probably safe, probably, uh, let's make a I wish I'm gonna call it. Um, Minecart track. Got a bit to go though. Here's the good news. Once I'm done with this, uh, Zelf's pig uh, prison should be really easy to make. So then I'm off to make Wolf's de uh, Wolk's Den, and then Derp's Pond, and then I think Razzie, you're up next. I think. Which means, of course, guys, that the gold hunt will continue. Sunpraiser, if you're still there, did you ever uh, request a building? I don't think you did.
So, here's a question for all you lovelies in chat, and all you lovelies in the VOD. What is the largest build you've ever made in Minecraft? And why? Mine is actually going to be a, a rail, which is why it came to mind. That, or that time I made a giant flying uh, sky island for a farm. Took way too much time, though. Giant cube, you say, Foxy? But you, Razzy. I mean, how big was the cube, though? by 80 cube of dirt. Why? I mean, it's just because you could, but still, why? I had some stupid plan once to like make this like I don't even know what the fuck it was oh I see Raz is real kinky she's all about that uh, cube domination turning cubes into spheres oh shit We can't talk about that in, in, in this game, can we? It's the forbidden word, along with circle. Oop, I mean, you know. The word that cannot be spoken. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, it's working. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I see. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. You know what? Maybe I just keep going across. I had a few, uh, well, hello there, Mr. Horse. Uh, a few early builds in Minecraft that were like. I say early builds, I mean. <laughs> I definitely had just outright a few builds that were a little, um. What was the question from Jurassic Park? You were too preoccupied to know if you could, to ask the question if you should. I guess that. I am going to need so much glass.
Fuck off, spider. Fuck off! Alright, there's a question for you two. Your least favorite mob in Minecraft. I'm gonna be honest, it's slowly becoming the Enderman. Not that hard to fight, but like, man, they're trying to piss me off. Just a little bit. How far are we going here? Well, we're actually kind of... We're almost halfway there. I mean, I've done stuff like find the biggest mountain and just mine, dig it apart until it's a flat ground to level. Uh, because I sometimes just forget what I'm building partway through. Oh boy. I don't think I have the patience for that. The noise. I mean, you're not wrong, Raz. It does sound kind of therapeutic. See, I wish there was a way to... So you know how you can add, like, beeswax to, like, um copper and it like stops the copper from uh, oxidizing right I wish there was like a soap block you could add to anything and it's like oh too slippery for Enderman or something stupid if they could they could just do it oh that's bad Uh, percent spiders or poison spiders. Yeah, no, they really are annoying too, because it's just, well, it's just the poison, really. Uh, witches are like that too, I guess. I, would you say that the poison spiders are worse than witches, though? You know, I think I just remembered. Uh, this has to be three tall, doesn't it? Otherwise, you suffocate. Or am I wrong? Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to build nice sand castles and some Enderman just goes and says a block for no reason. That is true. And of course, it's always the creeper, because, you know, hey, it'd be a shame if something happened to that base of yours. It's the giant hole. LOL. Oh, right, Razzy. If you ever get a chance, uh, tell Bean that I think they might be right on the next step for Marvel. Based off of the ending of um, Miss Marvel. Get in there, guys.
It's fine. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Also, Sunpraiser, are you still there? With you and Sunbird being awfully quiet. I still want to know Sunpraiser if you want to build. Uh, that based off of the ending of Miss Marvel, I think they're right about the X-Men being involved in the next stage of, um, what's the word? Uh, the MCU. to sun praiser if and you don't want me asking good buddy slowly getting there guys ah oh, yes all that flint nothing but flint who needs gravel when you have unlimited flint? Um... Well, I guess I better store all this. It is worth a bit of emerald. Look, I think it's like six flint equals like an emerald. <laughs> Are you actually just making dinosaur um, Bioshock? Is that actually what you're doing? And if they're dinosaurs, should the turret be a Dilophosaurus? These are the questions. Well, fair enough. I mean, even more so then, if if uh, if it's Jurassic Park themed, should it be like a Dilophosaurus like mug? If you know what I mean, like stylized wise. Also, did any of you guys see the new Jurassic Park movie that came out uh, about a month ago? It was a reasonably fun watch. Though I don't know if they can or will. Uh, make more. That should be about the spelling. I'm, I'm probably wrong on the spelling. It's someone that spits out the, uh, shit in Jurassic Park.
And again, my spelling could be wrong, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I'm, don't add it if it's going to add more work load to the, uh, diggity, uh, yeah, the already, the already, um, amount of it. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing if you're making it from the ground up, it's probably going to be a pain in the ass, but it's not often as, as an idea. Oh, are you actually, like, on a team making it? I thought you were just making a game for fun. I didn't know you were on that kind of team. That's cool. That's fucking awesome. Ooh, that block is not, though. I mean, I don't know what the theme of the game is, besides, like, dinosaurs, right? Like, I don't know what the mood is. I guess it would be a better word, not theme. But, you know, those, like, uh, you ever go to a zoo and you get, like, those mugs or, like, those uh, sippy cups or whatever, like, the like for slushies? Not sippy cups, but you know what I'm talking about? And they usually have, like, a face of a, of a zoo creature in there and it's all open and stuff. And it's like, there's a straw. Just that with a dilo face. But instead of a straw, it's a turret. Like, welcome to the park. Touch anything, you die. That's awesome. Fair enough. I don't know where you are, because I think you said that you couldn't play, let's say, Minecraft because of um, regions and stuff like that. Do you be? I don't. I don't know how it is for you, but I do know as far as America goes. There have been a lot of strikes recently from game developers and crews because of, like, not good uh, situations with, like, pay and stuff like that. So just make sure they don't nickel and dime you or fuck you over. I guess. No, you're fine. You're fine. Welcome back, Songbird. Welcome back. We're just chilling. Uh, we found the... Well, first off, I died and lost all my shit. And then I found all my shit thanks to Razzie's help. For believing in me. When in doubt, whip out your dragon. LOL. No, but, um... Then we found an end portal. Apparently, there's more than one end... So the pumping scared me for a second. There's more than one end per, uh, portal per world. So we're now we're kind of making a railway to it. Um, it ain't going to be cobbled the entire way. Well, maybe the ground will, but probably do new glass or make it look nice or something. We'll, we'll see. But for now, I'm making a pathway to it. Kind of what? Look, I'm not going to lie. Jokes aside, though, I think Razzy uh, had a cross emoji saying rip, so I, I'm pretty sure Razzy actually did not believe in me. But somebody had to believe in me. You 
You're gonna die. I thought there was only one. And then I was like, oh no, there's another dragon. Raz, you thankfully told me that it's not true. Uh, let's see here. Trading developers right, but within the NDC, and it's so much better since it's devs with the other devs, no businessmen. Oh no, I noticed Razzy. Don't worry, I, I noticed. Um. Hey, Sun Pressure's got my back at least. Uh, let's see here. You know, you're, you're, you're not wrong. I had a stream about it a couple days ago. Probably a couple weeks ago. I, I, I have no concept of time anymore. Regardless, though. I... Yeah. AAA studios are kind of in a weird funk for a lot of reasons. Uh, mostly because, in my opinion, I think any developer, AAA or not, wants to make a game as like a form of art or something. And it's the corporation side that's probably like, you know... What if we had microtransactions, you know? Like, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I don't think the majority of people who make video games are like, you know what? I want to add microtransactions to my game because it's fun. I don't believe in that. Or, you know, just any other stupid shit like that. But, you know, just like how scientists have to make bullshit uh, studies and archaeologists have to do x y and z for grants and stuff like that right even scientists i guess would be grants as well but you know you know so which is why a lot of the big games you hear about nowadays are you still hear about AAA titles a lot like resident evil 8 uh god of war made 3 and a lot of these games you hear coming out a lot of the games I've seen people enjoy the most over the past couple of years have been like indie games, like the Undertales, the um, uh, Inscription. Um, I would say even Minecraft, because it was indie for a long time. Terraria, I mean. Just struck it there. I don't say that indie is inherently better. It's just that when you're independent of all the greed, let's say, of a corporation, you have a lot more freedom, I imagine. Uh, most devs just make games because they love games. So that's what I'm saying. The only situation where I can imagine a dev wanting to mix their game would be something, a uh, poker game. No, I mean, that, yeah. But I imagine a lot of those because uh, my uh, Sarah's mom uh, plays a lot of those, like, slot machine phone games. So, I I've seen how they work. Um, yeah, those are made specifically for the sake of money. But I agree completely. Uh, let me see what uh, Fox said real quick. Um, the USA military is known for making stupid, highly expensive purchases, and the reason for that is they have to uh, use or lose a budget, so they have to spend their entire budget. Well, that's true, but that doesn't really explain why, um... Oh, no, no, I got you now. That was a reference to, like, the whole, like, how you have to do certain things to keep yourself running. It's just, I don't know. I think it was, and God rest his soul, I think it was Total Biscuit uh, talking about it, how at one point in time, he went to like a, um, what was it? It was, I think a game class or something, but it was like for like AAA Studios and like how that, oh shit. Vastly different is for indie companies. Yes.
because I will at one point or another need to have redstone functioning through a lot of this too, just to make it faster. Otherwise, it's going to take for fucking ever. Feeling really fancy? I might try to make it look good too. Damn it. Air Fox got it in one. One second. Is there a way I can have not links disabled, but have links like have to be uh, approved? I feel like that make life way easier. Let me see here. Make life way easier. Let me see here. Make life way easier. Let me see here. Okay, hey, that was creepy. Sorry, I think I was looking at my uh, Twitch stuff because I was trying to add certain things here or there. So, um, hey, give me one second, guys, so I can see about adding this. But yeah, sorry, I'm not quite. Uh, no, that was fucking spooky. <laughs> I was start talking. I was like, wait, who the fuck is talking? Hold on. Okay, that's awesome, my stream. Hold on a second. I'm trying to figure this out. So moderation. No, actually. Actually, uh, Sunpraiser, since you're a VIP, you're good to go. Cool, that's good to know. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, you can hold W for the most part. It can't go uphill. Um, otherwise, it does work. Um, I'm trying to think of the exceptions, though. It's really an exception, but I also don't mind the uh, availability to just kind of like, not AFK, but like, uh, I could just read off comments and chat, or say I'm take a break if I have to go to the end for any reason. Let's see here. Let me click on this real quick. It reminds me of something from like Turok. Don't go looking where you don't belong. Good job so far. It's a lot better than I can do, so good job. Is that my village? Okay, I'm already back here, huh? Yes, I am. All right, let's head back down uh, and see where we left off and then keep building, I guess. Mm, true, true. Graphically, it reminds me a lot of Turok for the PS2. That was a weird game. Have you guys, uh, have you guys ever played that one before? Oh, 
Oh, shit, guys. In nine minutes, we might actually be switching over to Yakuza. The original Xbox. I think it was... Was it Turok Evolution? If so, I think it's the same one. I think... Was Turok 2 the weird one? So my cousin, um... Had... One of the Turoks for Xbox 360. And I remember it was like... Doom 3-ish. Like... The story of the first Turok, or Turok Evolution, was weird. But it was like soldiers or something, instead of like... I, I don't know, it was fucking weird. What about you, Songbird? If you don't mind me asking, of course. Hmm. Oh, fair enough. Oh, okay. The only thing I remember about, like, I, I, never, I don't remember, I never played it. All I remember was he was playing the game. They were moving through. Oh, okay. What's up, evil? Is that the plot of the first one or the second one? Because that could also be the plot of the first one. Because I'm pretty sure in the first Turok Evolution, he's also hunting down Kane. Unfortunately so, yes. Hmm. I'm so sorry to hear it. To be honest with you guys, our 18-year-old dog, Annie, has been having some trouble getting up today. So I might be done with that soon, too. If you don't mind me asking evil, what is their name? If you don't mind me asking. Sorry to hear it, by the way. Well, guys, you hear us on the VOD, or you're just hanging out in chat, or not for Bailey. Hey, wherever they are now, be filled with raining tennis balls. Every patch of dirt has dinosaur bones to dig up and chew on. And all the squirrels they can bark at. From the bottom of my heart, evil. I'm so sorry. Especially since the other one went not too long ago as well. I'm sorry to hear that as well, Songbird. Exactly. They definitely deserve it more than most of us too, probably. So. I'm sorry to hear that again, Evil.
Evil, if I can ask you more question, my apologies too. What was the name of the uh, other dog as well? That's right, it was Slim. You too, Songbird. If you don't mind. Is it our 18 year olds? Getting there. Fortunately. Sorry to hear that. Agreed. Agreed. I'll be honest, I'm absolutely dreading um, when it happens to Annie. Because um, it happened to our cat about a year ago, uh, Zeus, and uh, I could not stop. I couldn't get it back together for like a week. So I don't. I don't handle that stuff very well. Sorry, yeah. So I found an ender portal. Um, it is a separate ender portal that Sarah found. It's a lot closer. I've actually almost built to it, and I'm kind of making a railway to it. But I'm heading back now because I have a I have an idea. It'll take me a second so I have to get back. Uh, I could just fly though. Yeah. Yeah, we could just fly. water. I'm, I'm working on something on the inside of the bee for you. Don't worry. We'll see it soon when it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a new idea to make in there, and it'll take me a couple seconds to get ready. Let's see here. When in doubt, spruce.
Let's make a couple more. Now, the idea was going to be a, a bee farm up here, but I have a better idea. You'll probably catch on quickly to what it's going to be. Hope everyone else is doing uh, well tonight. Okay, so far so good. So right now, guys, we're going to add the finishing touches to Evil's B. Hmm. Well, I appreciate it. It's raining zombies, guys. I have too much room, don't I? Or inventory. And this way we go. Oh, come on. You can do it. Actually, not get them to. Yeah, you can. Guys, I'm being stupid here. How do you breed dogs again? I thought it was with bones. Is it meat? It's meat, isn't it? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hmm. For the one slime ball. 
Let's see here. Exactly evil. I'm guessing raw meat works. I'm guessing. Probably. I know where your minds are at. Got my eyes on all of you. I got what wrong? Where'd he go? Ah. It depends. Is it Wolk's epic or legendary meat? I hear him. Where is he? through the night. Wait for it. Yes. So if you don't know, guys, um, let me turn on the volume of my headset. If you don't know, uh, recently enough, I was playing a game called Aratus, which was a necromancer, roguelike, um, well, Aaron Fox, you know, it's actually, uh, evil, uh, darkest dungeon styled game. There you are. Come on. Anyway, I bring this up, though, uh, mostly because uh, in it, there's a werewolf, and we named it Wolk, because Wolk plays a, or has a canine character. And um, in it, you would level them up specifically by getting better meat for them. Oh, yeah, um... I'm confused. I don't think it's my. I don't think I can. Oh, is it stuck? Is it stuck? Come on, get out of there. Come on. Well, it's not mine. I think it's Sarah's dog, so I don't think I can do it. Why are you concerned for me? Hey. Oh, great. Frog shame in the lamppost. What is your wisdom? I bring offerings. Spare me. Spare me. Ah, here it is. Do you plan to return to that one on good always wins difficulty? Uh, I might. I don't know how hard I'll go into it, uh, lol, but, um... I mean, if we're talking dogs, right? Technically speak. wait, hold on. One is more or less sitting down if it is doggy style. That's all I'm gonna say about that. No, but so that's Sarah's dog. I don't think I can actually move it. I tried to. Really don't want to punch it, so let's not do that. No. Certainly not. Oh, it's not my dog though, I didn't tame it. 
It won't let me. I'm trying now. Thank you, Iron Golem. Yeah, no, I can't even interact with it. It's weird. Oh, well. I'm going to. I have an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I have an idea. Look, I had it for something. I think, I think, and I'm probably wrong, I think that there maybe were some dogs over in that vicinity. Thank you, Oak Great Weiss Frog Shimmer for the potatoes. If we can find one dog, if not two, then I have an idea. No, I did drop them. They were offerings for the great frog. And he's allowed me to keep them. Exactly. Blessed spuds. Blessed spuds. Oh, there's one. Perfect. Um, I will as soon as I find one more. If I can't find any more, I'll just head back and I'll start breeding them, but still. I remember when they, uh, they first added dogs to Minecraft, every uh, person on a multiplayer had like a thousand dogs. Okay, let's head back. Haha! <laughs> no. You do that? Who did that? Anyway. So bring the dog back. Let's get them breeding. Uh let's get a couple just in case I have to go through the end. I I imagine they can only teleport um in on land, not like in the middle of the nothingness, so. Okay, good, he's still here. Okay, today for the great Toad Shaman of the Light Pole. Look at him, he's so fucking wise looking. <laughs> you may have... We'll decorate his altar. Oh, blessed frog, the, of the Light Pole. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Hey, hey, no, wait, hold on. Where are you going? That's right, follow me. <laughs> I like how you said, no, protect the toad shaman. No, 
Get back here, you little shit. Where, where, where did it go? No. Where are the leashes? Bad evil, no. No! <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, certainly no. Okay, let's drop off some crap here for a second. <laughs> it's just how evil it is sometimes. Oh, yeah, that was awful. <laughs> uh, Evil, what are your favorite two colors? Okay. This will just, just take a couple seconds, guys. We'll probably have some Yakuza here in a minute or two. Just wanted to finish this up. Thinking... Right there would be good. So far, so good. Just wondering. Don't mind me. Maybe don't mind. <laughs> Ignore me. Always. Always sus. Let's see here. Can I breed them again? No, but almost, I'm sure. Green and cyan, huh? It's green. No, that, that's green. What, what's cyan again? Is it green and blue? <sighs> of course it is. Yikes. All right, let me get some more cactus green real quick. And hopefully by then the dogs can breed again. In this one, I'm fighting on the bridge going to the end. I should be fine. And by the bridge, I mean the road I'm making right now. But after we're done with this, guys, that we will be switching over to Yakuza, so the lo-fi will be going to an end, or coming to an end. 
Uh, as far as Yakuza's concerned, we are playing with Majima still. We're doing some side missions, some shenanigans. Good, good. And let's get that going as well. Let's get some glow ink while we're at it. They're precious. Okay, let's see here. The two red die. Then let's finish up Evil's B. Fly up or yank up the uh, water chute. in there. And you come here too. Now, I know it's not much. Hold on. Hold on. Almost there. Almost there. That's right. Almost there. Now, Evil, are you there, buddy? Not much. Not much I can do for you. But that's all I could do for you. Sorry for your loss. Truly. And eventually, guys, by the way, eventually whenever I'm done with this and we, like, I'm done done with you know, Minecraft, I'll probably, um, take a snapshot of the server and release the file on the, uh, Discord server eventually. So you all can explore the server as much as you want, stuff like that. Of the world. But, um. You know. They're at least up here in your B.
Uh, I'm back. Sorry for being a little baby, man. What'd I miss? Uh, evil. What do you want me to name the bee? Before I head over to Yakuza. Alright, we're naming the bee I Gotta Go, apparently. Joking, of course. Dazzle? Alright. Well, Evil, I'm sorry for the, um... I will, I'll name it Dazzle. I'm sorry for the, um... Unfortunate news. Uh, thank you for hanging with us tonight, buddy. Um... I hope you liked... The V. Um... And yeah. Sorry, still... Really easy to scare. I'm also kind of a crybaby. <laughs> so. Um. Yeah. Uh, no, they're fine. That's weird. I actually just for Sarah once. So. Let's see here. There we go. Evil, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us. I got I'm sorry to hear the news and um Hope the next couple of days goes better for you, buddy. Uh take it easy. And um I hope to see you soon, alright? Good night, buddy. Sorry, by the way, guys, I had to take a little break. This is a set I'm not, um, good with that kind of stuff. No. But, I'm back now. Uh, we have, let me write down the coordinates of the, um, Ender Portal, uh, in the travel log real quick. Not wrong. Let me shut those down real quick, and we will. I love, I love the lighting in this game with with um, this um, shader pack because I just love the golden coin that's always in the library. Let's see here. I uh, have a lot of coordinates here. Thank you. Let's see here. 
track down location of uh, Ender Portal. No, it's actually just Optifine. It's just Optifine. Uh, which is shocking, because for the longest time, I think in modern Minecraft we had Optifine, but it never did this. Um, and um, we always used to watch like people uh, doing Let's Plays. Uh, I think one of them was like Forge Labs. Uh, it almost looked super high quality. And then we figured it out it was well the shader pack and it was this specific one uh so we started using it and it looks way better uh the strongholds portal resides at Let's scroll through chat for a second here so i can't see what you guys are typing all of you guys talking about me choking on bones Maybe. Maybe. Uh, let's see here. Okay. It is at 34, 29, 17, 72. Just make sure I have the coordinates down. I didn't fuck this up somehow. All right. Yeah, no, this is entirely uh, just Optifine. No RTX is on right now at all. This is just Optifine. It's really nice. The RTX would be amazing, but it will probably set my computer on fire. So. Yeah. Anyway. So last night we were having some issues with it. I think it's because I installed... Uh, payday and I had to make up some uh, space uh, after uh, uninstalling it. Um, or it was just Microsoft being stupid. Both are probable. But, all the same. I uh, hope you all enjoyed Minecraft. Let me just up the title real quick and we'll get going on to Yakuza. I think I asked you earlier. Uh, my mind's blanking now. Um, Songbird, have you heard of or played Yakuza before? Yakuza Zero. Fishing. <laughs> Fair enough. To be honest, with Yakuza, it's hard to tell if you're actually sober when you're playing it. So, as far as uh, where we are in that game, we are in zero. What happened here? <laughs> Excellent. We're actually on Majima right now. We're playing Yakuza 0. Um, as far as where we are in the game, we're still very early on. It's supposed to be doing side missions and stuff like that. Uh, let me find the game real quick. Hopefully, nothing stupid happens. Hopefully. Anyway. Um... As far as what I've played in this series, it's literally just zero. What's up, Sunpraiser? I know, thank you! <laughs> you missed it earlier. There was a joke. Uh, lovely little songbird over there is the one who broke the 69 streak. Okay, can I type out game or no? Thank you. Second here.
What do you mean, congrats, though? You're the one. It happened earlier. Sorry, guys. I'm just messaging some people right now, too, at the same time. Uh, let me switch over the capture right now so we get this going. We will be losing the, um, whatchamacallit, the Minecraft Lo Fi for now. Uh, let me just tab in and out, make sure it's like. There we go. Alright, that's all hooked up. Let us. Turn that off for now. No, it really is. Um, to be honest, uh, this is going to sound really lame. Uh, and I know I have a long way to go, right? I didn't think anyone was going to like what I did. No, I, I, it, it was in regard to the joke about you breaking the 69 streak because um, you're the 70th follower. So It was just silliness. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I lost my cool earlier, guys. Let's uh, take a step away from the more heavy subjects for the evening. So, sadly, if you were here last night, I uh, know you lives in the VOD, you may or may not have seen it. Um, the game crashed, like, three times. Hopefully it doesn't happen anymore. If it does, uh... Warhammer 3, I guess. I never probably said it, but uh, that means a lot to me. Um, citizen, let me help. Uh, I mean, help kick his ass, but um, it means a lot to me, though, uh, Songbird, so thank you. Alright, let's kick some fucking ass. Right behind you, buddy. Swing, better, better. Oh, that makes more sense. That makes way more sense. That makes way more sense than what I said. Like, way more sense. Alright. Anyway, I was trying to say earlier, though, um, so I've only ever played this game, as far as the Yakuza series. Um, I know very little about the actual plot of the game, because, uh, last time I played this, I got to the area where you could finish off Kiryu's, uh, real estate agency stuff. Hmm. That boy on his ass, that's the fellow who was in a hurry to buy some lip balm. Ow, 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 ow. Hey, you down again? Oh, hi again. It's my feet. The pain's spreading and worsening. Uh, yeah, she's on the Discord. Oh, sorry. Don't know their gender. Uh, they are at least on the Discord. My bad. My bad. Let's see here. Yes, you did, but I was in a hurry. I'm sorry. Sheesh. How chapped were your lips? Ow, 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 ow. My feet. Hey, you gonna make it? Uh, if only I had some medicine with me. Medicine, huh? <laughs> Take his shoes and run. Here, drink this. It'll help. Pardon? You mean I can have this? Yeah, all yours. Thank you so much. Ooh, the pain's fading away. Thank you again. <laughs> Good to hear. By the way, did you get those chap lips of yours taken care of? Ooh? Pardon my chap lips? I'm sorry, I don't understand. What's well, not to understand? You were 
The one hauling ass to get lip balm. Were your lips about to fall off or what? Here. Oh, I see the one standing now. It wasn't for me. I was rushing because the girl I like asked me to get it for her in a hurry. Ooh, guys, we have a simp. Oh, gotcha. You were doing your girl a favor earlier. Yeah, basically, I run errands like that for her all the time. Heh. <laughs> really? And you don't mind being her little errand boy? Go get me this, run out and get that? Not at all. She really trusts me, so I'm happy to go out and get things for her. Errands are opportunities for me to get uh, her to notice me. Guys, he's in deep. Uh huh. I can't shake the feeling that this girl is just using him, but if that floats his boat, I ain't gonna rock it. And because I was so diligent about running errands, she's giving me a nickname. When we first met, she just called me by my last name. I'm making headway. That's so. What's she calling you now? She calls me Aaron Coon. Oh no. <sighs> that ain't a nickname to be proud of. Girl's got a sharp sense of humor and it cuts too deep. Listen, that nickname of yours, you do realize she's turned you into a personal servant, don't you? Ooh. Huh? Is that really how it looks? But even if that were true, I still have a crush on her. That's all well and good, but she's running your feet into the ground, literally. That medicine's a nice quick fix for now, but I doubt you're all healed up. Mm. Maybe you're right. I'll try talking to her and see if she has she gives me permission to stop running errands for a bit. <sighs> he needs permission to stop running errands? Guys, he's in too deep. He's in way too deep. But if she wants anything, I've got to be the one who goes out and get it for her. It has to be. Why? Well, I should be going. Thank you so much again. Look, mate, I'm here to back you up, but like, this is a toxic relationship. Aaron Coon, I can understand wanting to impress the girl of your dreams, but don't let it turn to a nightmare. Agreed. Let's explore, uh, town a little bit. This person's really good at graffiti. They have the same ex You know, I know it's not, but for a split second, this dude right above my head, right, right there, looks a lot like Charles Xavier. And by that, I mean, like, Patrick Stewart. Like, like just in the eyes. Like, yeah, he's bald, but, like, the, the eyes. Huh. Probably not really, but for a second it did. Oh. Alright, lads, here we go. So, Songbird, you said that you have not... So you know of the game, and you haven't played it sober. What is your favorite character? Out of the two, out of, like, Hiryu and Majima. Because I've seen an interesting balance of the two. Some people really, really like Majima because of how crazy and how awesome he is. People also love Kiryu uh, because how earnest and honest he is. I'll take a clean million. Thank you, sir. Uh, Majima only because my friend is obsessed and talks nonstop about him. 
Fair enough. I've only done a little bit of Majima. Like, after the initial story of Majima, I never got back to him. That was an impressive little shuffle walk he had going on there. I'm sorry, I was just watching it. Ooh, bat to the nuts. Ah, I could almost feel that one. Oh, that is fucking awful. Well, um... I made the decision to play all these games, uh, to completion. In order. So... Is that just a, like, a still shot of somebody's kitchen from the 80s? Alright. Interesting. Uh, so I'll be playing all these games to completion. Uh, not all at once, not back-to-back. -back. Uh, I wasn't doing back-to-back, but... You know. Uh, what totally is? Be doing all these back- or all these to completion? It's gonna be like a three-year journey. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, let's go! Let's go, let's do it! Oh, the kitchen. You know, that totally is, right? Okay, 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 hold on. He's coming at me. The Jolly Green Giant's coming after me. Uh, let's see here. Have some of that. Like, I know that for the food, they actually had an artist... Not an artist, like a chef come in and, like, actually make a bunch of designer food. Not designer, um... But, like, make a bunch of food and then take still shots of that, so... Okay. It's the fact that he doesn't stagger just sucks. Let's take... Yeah, let's do some heat. Let's do some health. Nah. I'm trying to play Texas. Hold on, I'm trying to get play some poker with him. Haha. <laughs> Oh god, he kicked me! Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay. Stab him! In the butt! The old butt stab! Oh shit. Okay. That's not good. Alright. Alright. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Well, he beat me fair and square. Kind of. The card reader back on. So, does that mean that your friend, uh, by the way, Songbird, has played, like, all of these? Because I've been told that uh, Zero is, like, the largest one, apparently, but, like, there's, like, nine of these games.
Oh, you're fine. I don't mind. Uh, let me tab out real quick. And One second, guys. Sorry for the wait. Let's see here. That's really good. My only recommendation, Batcoon is not dented enough. Now that's awesome though. That's absolutely fucking awesome. I have been told as, uh, as well, uh, Aaron Foxy. It's gonna be a fucking journey. The thing I'm scared about is this and like Majon. I have no idea how to play these games. Fair enough. It looks fantastic. Yeah, it's that Stroop Performer guy. Drew himself a good sized audience, too. Nice to see. Is this guy okay? What's he doing? Making smoke signals? I better get closer and see what's up. Uh, she just want to con, so I'm gonna ask for new effects. Oh, okay. Oh, went to con, not want to. Okay. Sorry, uh, my new monitor is coming in, so I have to use my phone as chat, as the display. Would you imagine standing in this position exactly like this for hours? Haha, <laughs> no. Yo, Tokichi, you're pulling in a good crowd. Yes, that's been good, at least. So, you seem to be trying to tell me something there. What's up? Yes, I, uh, I need to use the restroom. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ooh, pain. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But no, tell your friend that they look fucking, uh, spot on, for real. Oh, man. Mama, why is that man talking to the statue? Shh, he's just a little different. It's rude to stare. Thanks to you, people think I'm a nut job. Sorry. But you're the one talking to a statue. I'm not gonna whisper it anymore. Uh, so why are you calling me over about your uh, problems? There's a pizza place right over there. Why not make a beeline for that, or for the crapper? No way, I can't do that. There's a little kid watching. If you saw a statue suddenly spring to life, he might be traumatized for life. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Do it. Mm hmm. Uh, I guess that's true. Uh, there are tricks they use to stand still for uh, long or get a few movements out. Really? I imagine if you're used to it, after a while, the pain becomes very, like, not numb, but, like, less noticeable, I imagine, so. I don't want to shatter that boy's dreams, but I do need to, re to go relieve myself. My eyes are floating. What should I do? Hey, man, ignoring nature's call never ends well. Why don't you just sneak off when the little tyke ain't watching? Sneak off when he's not looking. That's it! What? I got a bad feeling about this. I really hate to ask, but can you distract these people? It's long enough for me to sneak off to the pizza place. Do they not see this guy talking, by the way? Who, me? Yes, you. Naturally, I'll compensate you for your trouble. I'm sure you can do it. I don't know why, but I just know. But... Please, if I don't go soon... I'll be traumatized. More people here, or I'll traumatize more people here than just that boy. To be fair, if I saw a, a, a statue shitting himself, yeah, that fucked me up as a kid. But you guys, would I fuck you up too? <laughs> That'd be a little much. A little much. Hmm. What to do? Let's help him. True. 
Uh, fine, fine, I'll help you. I expect you to make good on this, uh, if I pull it off, though. Of course, thank you. So, Songbird, if your friend substitutes with Majima, what is their favorite, uh, game with Majima? For instance, I know that, a I don't know if it's after this one, but I know at one point Majima, like, loses the ponytail, right? Hunt the Crotch Goblin. <laughs> Alright, here's what's distracting. Grabs the child and runs down, <laughs> runs down the street. Just puts it back down and just runs back. <laughs> That'll distract him. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> just, <laughs> like, like, nothing weird. Just grab the kid, run down the bridge, put him down, and keep running. Odds are, they'll be so freaked out and panicked, then you're, he's fine to go. He's, he's fine. Then again, actually, if, now that I think about it, though, that will still probably traumatize the kid for life, so maybe not. We're trying to specifically not traumatize the kid. No, that's a really good question, though. Like, look, I like statues, too, but, like, you've been here for, like, at least five minutes now, guys. Nothing's changing. Okay, let's see here. All right. All right, what do you guys think? I have never got that far, so that'll be interesting. No, you're fine. I, so it's the cabaret, I'm guessing. I never got that far, though. I never got back. Once I finished Majima's beginning content, I never came back to do more. As far as what I do here, guys, I'm moving up to you. First come, first serve. What's our option? If we are behind him, I feel like Way Like a Banshee is a good one. Hmm. I got one for Banshee. What do you think, Sunpraiser? I, 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 I'm just what everyone else wants to do. That goes for you too, uh, Aaron Foxy. What do you think? I feel like we're like a banshee. UFO! Okay. Alright, well, looks like Aaron Foxy's the tiebreaker here. Unless they say, uh, insults, in which case I'm going to be the tiebreaker and go banshee. So what do you think? Layla, is that you? Aw, oh, sweet pup. Believe in you, Foxy. You believe. Make the right decision. No pressure. Believe in you. Use the force. Unless Foxy's AFK, in which case we're doing Banshee. Alright, UFO time? Alright, UFO it is. God damn it, okay. Sun Prisoner, do you want Banshee or UFO? Because <laughs> now it's a fucking tie again. Guess, which, which, which one is it? Yeah, okay, no, 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 two for Banshee, there it is. Done. So BA, it's Banshee. Taking it. Taking it. Well, alright, I'll try wailing like a Banshee. Yeah. Mama, what's the matter with that man? Shh, don't look at him. Look, look, look. See the statue? All right, we're doing UFO next, then.
Hey, what's that? Up in the sky, look, it's a UFO! Uh -huh. <sighs> I kinda wanted the insult one. This poor motherfucker. He's just trying his best. Ah, oh, what? Am I imagining things? Wasn't that statue over uh, this way a bit more? Well, at least he managed to scoot a little. Able performance would draw their interest. Alright, we can ask a riddle, do a dance, or sing a song. Hmm. Songbird, here's the question for you. What would your friend choose? <laughs> what would they choose? Hold on. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. We're leaving this to the... And of course, we can't actually, actually ask them right now. We're leaving this to the uh, Majima superfan. Song? Alright. Alright, time to debut my singing chops. Out of the blue, I bring my singing to you. Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, you gotta love brave to break out singing a cap uh, capella in public. Oh, you gotta be brave to break out singing a cappella in public. You got pipes, buddy. Oh, I think I know this song. Holy shit, that was the answer. Haul oh, your ass. The cappella's not that exciting, though. Back to the statue. Guys, what the fuck is so exciting about this statue? Huh? Idiot, you're facing the wrong way. Uh-oh. Um, uh, Statue Santa's has turned around. I wasn't imagining it. The statue is moving. Crap, cover's blown. Hey, what are Willie? You're annoying as hell. Quit your lame ass singing. What's wrong with you, man? Uh, she also loves doing the karaoke room. Oh, yeah, no, the karaoke's great with all of them. Uh, every, all of them, I mean, Kirio and, and, uh, and, uh, Majima. Think you're some kind of street idol? Listen, pal, trust me on this one. I ain't singing because they want to. Bullshit, I saw you prancing around. You enjoy being dumb. And I'm going to beat the shit out of you for it. <laughs> Could you imagine what it would be like to have this in real life? <laughs> then again. I started from the East Coast. Certain cities, uh, certain uh, neighborhoods. Yeah, things would happen. Stop him in the balls. Aww. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Time for nunchucks. I think more Atlantic City, but that too. I'm sorry, please let me go. <laughs> hey buddy, your singing sucks. I'm gonna fucking kick your ass. Whoa, that escalated quickly. Spineless blowhard. Oh, that was spectacular. What the? Well, man, you beat the shit out of an unarmed civilian with a baseball bat. That was awesome. I want to cave his skull next. It's like a pinata. You were like one of those heroes on TV. I guess so. Whoa, I don't know how I did it, but I've got everyone's attention on lockdown. It's all the clumps of hair and brain matter in the baseball bat. Now, Takochi, escape. bat -coon, we did it again. There, he made it to the pizza play, uh, palace's porcelain throne. What? The statue! It's gone! Eh? It is gone. How'd that happen? Um, uh, where did statue son go? I... I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. 
So, so, you were fine when it moved five feet. You were fine when it moved another ten feet and turned around. Hmm. So weird, but I guess I got a free show out of it. So, five by me. Oh no! I'm meeting someone. I have to run. We should be on our way too. Yeah, but that was fun. There, guess that's the end of that. Is it though? <laughs> I was so scared he got into the bathroom and saw people in there and just froze like mid like relieving himself and he's just like eh. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like uh, what are they called? Weeping angels from Doctor Who. They can only move when nobody's looking. Uh, those people legit were just going to stare at the statue for an hour. Ex they were. They absolutely were. Ah, my savior. Yo, did you make it to the crapper in time? Yes, you were so good at distracting everyone. I made it before the potty emergency got real. Crisis averted. Is that so? I'm glad to hear it. Got to hand it to you. Uh, it ain't an easy thing holding people's attention. That's the truth. Uh, look, 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 look. Is he right? Yes, it's not easy holding people's attention. I know, since I started streaming. <laughs> however, however. I don't think it would draw that much attention pretending to be a statue maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm wrong uh, I mean those have to be the easiest people's attentions to hold that's what I'm saying that's what I'm saying like I would much rather watch Miles must sing or do some stupid shit than watch a statue for like I like statues I like history I do I'm a nerd but like after like two, three minutes. I'm like, alright, I've seen the statue. Let's move on to the next one. That's the truth. People think it's easy to draw attention to yourself. It's not. Uh, but what they don't understand is how hard it is to hold it once you've got it. That's very true. Uh, you street entertainment, or you, you street entertainers or something else. That's music to my ears. When I hear recognition like that, it makes me it all worthwhile. It's not a much, uh, but please take this with my thanks. Hey, I got a healing thing. I just used a bunch of those, too. I don't know about that. No, you really do. You have an air about you that really holds people's interest. Your action-packed performance at the end was an icing on the cake. It was so amazing, I just couldn't look away. Uh, it was so inspiring that I almost forgot to sneak off. That's why you pack an extra pair of sneakers. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. That was actually horrible, guys. Anyway, uh, but that brawl wasn't a performance. It really was spectacular. It made me realize how much more I need to grow as a performer. It inspired me to keep uh, working hard at this. Well, thank you very much. I hope you'll keep honing your performance chops too. Let's both uh, keep bringing smiles to people's faces. I mean, here's the thing though. If he's a manager of a cabaret, he kind of is an entertainer though. Uh... Well, there goes an odd duck, but you gotta respect that it ain't easy making people laugh or bringing them joy. Being an entertainer is as tough as any other business. True. True. Honestly, I think as long as you're having fun doing it, that's all that really matters. It's very obvious when you're doing something and you're not enjoying it. That could be something like making a game or music or anything. Or streaming, or art. What did it remind you of? Let's go see if we can find Aaron Coon. Actually, I never went back here, did I? There once was a movie where a zombie apocalypse broke out and a statue street performer was surviving by staying still. I have never heard of that. Oh, shit. Because uh, they could not smell him uh, due to the pain, but he had to stay still. Oh, it's Aaron. Uh, let's go buy some healing items so I don't have to give my good shit. That sounds awful. 
I haven't seen that one, but it reminds me of that one, uh, what was it called? Zombieland, where Bill Murray was basically, uh... Where Bill Murray was pretending to be a zombie. Uh, let's do, like, two of these. Yeah, I first saw the sequel to that movie, by the way. Wonder how it was. <sighs> Smilky, how dare you? Welcome, Smilky. They're my shinies. Minions, attack! Attack! Uh, no clue what it is called, and it probably fall under lost entertainment. One second, real quick. There you go. Guys, this is Smokey Shake. He's an adorable um, bear boy. I think he's a bear. Yes. Uh, who does fantastic art? Check him out one of these days. Uh, he's awesome. I recommend it. Um, let's see here. No, no, no. No need to, uh, no need to thank. Sorry, I'm... My mind ain't working right now. Uh, Yakos is going pretty good, though. Uh, we were doing Minecraft for about three and a couple hours. Yeah, three, three and some change. So we'll probably do this for another three, and then probably do Evil Genius for two, or something like that. Yes, he's adorable. I mean it. Yes, check him out. Uh, also, we're uh, dealing with a simp in the game. Uh, so, this is a simp who is in so deep. He's been named Aaron Coon. He's got it bad. He's got it real bad. Mm hmm, mm hmm. We also just helped this statue take a, a dump by uh, wailing like a banshee and insulting them and the people look at the statue because for, for some reason, um, it's really entertaining to look at a statue for like an hour. So, you know, it was a guy pretending to be a statue, by the way. Uh, oh, no, I'm so screwed. Hey, what's wrong? I've seen dumpsters happier than you. Oh, God, it's so fucking true and so fucking sad. Oh, that voice. Hello again. It's my sneakers. Well, that's why you can't sneak past me. For my shines. Uh, the souls have finally worn through. They do look beat to crap. Mm. Yeah, they were my favorite pair. I, I, I can't even go buy a new pair like this. He needs new shoes, huh? I'd give him some, but I ain't exactly in the habit of carrying a spare pair. Oh. What am I going to do? Don Quixote carries sneakers from her right. Maybe look at my pair if I feel like it. All right, let's go help him out. Oh. All right, guys, who's ready for some horrible life decisions? Fight me! Hey, buddy. I'm flat broke again. No, you're not. You have 27 million. I'm flat broke 27 million in. Hey, I'm almost dead already. Real quick. Anyway. Smokey, if you want me asking, buddy. What is your favorite uh, Yakuza 0 mission? It could be main story, but I don't know them that much. It could be side story. I think I'm kind of fucked. Not in a good way. How? He's as fucking agile as Zangief. He actually even looks like Zangief. No, 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 no. Come on. No. Come on. He's almost there. All right, now I die. Here it comes. Come on, Batcoon. Batcoon, no! Hold on, hold on, hold on! No! Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. 
Stop panicking. Alright. I had the button press and I fucked it in the end. Nope, I'm done for. Fuck out of there. Oh, fucking demolished. All right, I'll get him next time. Now take your time. You have uh, five hours to figure it out. All right. All right, guys. All right. All right. New plan. New plan. New plan. I can't take the insult anymore. We go get nothing but health potions. And we kick his fucking ass. Believe. Believe in this dream, guys. Believe in the dream of 27 million. Let's see when this time, motherfucker. Uh, you know, I think I might be the guy that has the big phone. A massive bag. That must have been a Majima quest, because I have no idea what you're talking about. My favorite's either the self-esteem issue dominatrix, or... Uh, the cult's kind of fun, in a weird fucked up way, like it's fun to kick their ass. That would explain why I don't know it that much. Alright, hold on, guys. First of all, where is Don Quixote? No. Oh, it's behind me. Mm-hmm. With the, uh, shorter peepee. -pee. Yeah, that we did that one, like, about, I think, a night or two ago. I think two nights ago. Two feels about right. Let me, uh, just slug one of these real quick. Yeah, that one was a little wild. Come on, let me, let me through! Move! Is this not the entrance? Oh. I'm so- Oh my god, I teleported. I don't feel sorry now. The man's a warlock. Or a wizard. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, the better healing is here, isn't it? Yeah, hold on. Damn it. Alright, no, I'll be fine with this. Alright. I'm so scared because, as I said, I, I played this game before, but never got too far. Is it wrong I want to buy Majima a maid outfit or a sailor uniform? Is it wrong? It feels wrong. Anyway, I'm terrified for the, uh, what was it, the uh, RC uh, circuit with little fucking uh, remote controlled cars. Those things were real fun and really addictive and it's an entire gameplay uh, loop of like finding better parts and getting better at the races. So I don't know if you would count that as its own side quest or side form of gameplay. Surely he's here somewhere, right? Surely he's here somewhere. I don't have time for the small fry. Oh! I almost forgot. Uh, I forgot you followed me last night. I didn't actually get to do my whole entire spiel. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Smilky uh, Shake, for the follow. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, you're my 69th follower, so enjoy that. Nice. Uh, and 
Um, is that right? I, I stream 8 to 12 hours a day, uh, 7 days a week. And good sir or madam or anything in between, I tip my crown to you. Yeah, where the fuck is this guy? Haha, <laughs> nice. Oh, I found a card. To be fair, you didn't immediately ruin it. It was, it was, it was the 69th for about like at least 16 hours, I would imagine, because I streamed at eight. That happened at last night at 6:30 in the morning or six in the morning. So yeah, about 14 hours. We have. Uh, lovely little songbird. Ruiner 69s. Oh shit, why are there so many gang members? I just want to fight this stupid Mr. Shakedown. Fuck off. There he is! Kick his ass! Come on, let's go. I don't know why, but I wrote that like, uh, you were the Kool-Aid man. 69. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Whenever I get hit, period, let's just drink. It's a drinking game, guys. Get hit, drink. Hit him, drink. I like how people are th watching this man throw me across the entirety of the sidewalk, and they're just laughing and cheering. Like, somebody called the military. <laughs> the man's got, like, incredible Hulk levels of strength here. <sighs> oh, God. That's not good. No, no, I dodged it somehow. I fucking dodged it. Come on. You're at half. I can do this. Swing. Okay. Okay. Okay, he's pissed off. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. But hey, look, I'm in that CP anyway. Come on. No, 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 no. God, okay. Maybe. Well, that was close. I'm supposed to stop a hole in my chest. Maybe Baccoon is not the answer. Maybe we need some more speed. Not a lot of speed, but some speed. Okay, I was trying to grab the thing, not him. Uh-oh. Give me his bat coon. Alright. Come on, come on. Oh god! It's got a fucking windmill! No, 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 no! Oh, I'm pretty sure if that connects, I die. Well, I got two left. It, it didn't connect! It didn't connect! It, it didn't connect, and I still took the damage. It didn't connect. You guys saw that, right? It did not connect. Haha! <laughs> I've beaten him! Let's see here. Uh, the first mobile phone with chance battery. I know Oda has one of those. Uh, it's almost 2 a.m. and I keep falling asleep, so good night. Oh, it was very nice to meet you. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Well, lovely little songbird. Thank you so much for stopping by. You were an absolute treat to have in chat. Um, wonderful talking to you. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Sorry I got a little heavier uh, midway through. Um, I hope you have a fantastic evening. And I truly hope I get to see you tomorrow. I'm sure I'm already too late, so my apologies. 
But still. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Good night. Pleasure to meet you. See you too. Yeah. See you. Hopefully she sees that. Or they see that. On a uh, VOD. <laughs> yeah. Got 29 million? No shit, Sherlock. Better be more careful when you pick your victim next uh -huh. time. Huh? I guess you didn't notice that I was holding back this time. Oh, shit. As if. I'm so sure. Seriously. If you die, I can't check you down again later, so I have to make sure I keep you alive. Huh? Yeah, then don't hold back next time. We'll see if the results are different. Well, I'm done for today. I couldn't get any of my money. So, there's no point in hanging around here. I'm going home. It's a dumbass, but strong. Gotta be on my toes in case I bump at him again. Well, um, we have a lot of money now. Like, a lot of money. I have all the HP maxed out already. Fuck yes, Power Surge. Smilky, if you're still in chat, what was your favorite fighting style in the game? I never unlocked Majima's, uh, like, secret one. I, I only unlocked uh, Kiryu's, which is the Dragon of Dojima. So I can't vouch for that. But I love uh, Majima's bat the most. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just the damage or the block or the reach or all of it. But, um... My favorite for sure. That's really good. That's also really good, but I can't get that one. Uh... We'll get some heat retention. And we'll save up for Heat Wave. That's the plan. I do have 11 CP. Can I get anything cool? Yes, I can. The Socks of Fortune are fantastic. So that gives me more uh, money. This also gives me more money. The more you walk in this strange socks, the more money will multiply. Uh, they don't appear to have any effect in combat. So it's like as you're walking, you're making money, right? Yep, that's what it was. By the way, guys, thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Huh. Now let's see what Eric and Kuhn's up to. What am I going to do? Poor guy's shoes gave up the ghost. What the ghost? Oh, the soles of the shoe. I got it. I got a pair of sneakers on me, but I uh, do I give it to him? Yes. What am I going to do with them? Here. Will these do the trick? Hmm? Huh? I can have these? Really? Th thank you so much. I'll put them on right now. This poor guy. Wow, these sneakers are great. They feel wonderful. Mate, it's all about the Velcro or the zips, I'm telling you. And that's not because kobolds intrinsically have talents and it's hard to tie knots. That's all I'm saying. It's not because of that. Just cooler. Uh, hey, did you forget the whole reason you got into this mess? Think you ought to take it easy, maybe? Oh, that's right. I couldn't contain myself. I'm so happy. <laughs> Getting happy makes you want to run. That's the thing? Uh, I hear that all the time. Uh, I was in the track team in college. Running is my blood. Or in my blood. You're a strong runner than I take. Hi. Yes, I am. But I've been running too much without taking the proper precautions. That's how I ended up injured. Let me guess, you're still running errands. Oh. Yeah, I can't stand the thought of not seeing her happy. Oh, I'm keeping her waiting. I have to go. Thank you so much for these sneakers. 
Guys. What are we going to do about this kid? I feel bad for him. Well, at that pace, he'll end up hurting himself again. Yep, so let's just... Uh... Oh, let's go. Let's do some fishing. Actually, I crashed three times on fishing. Let's go uh, save just in case I crash again. That was last night. However, oops, saw that. Where is it? Did I not? Damn, throw us our card. So obviously I haven't gotten uh, extremely far in this game. Sunpraiser, if you want me asking, what is the craziest weapon you, oh shit, have seen in this game? Actually, no, I need the money. Hold on. Oh, lads, let's go, let's go. Let's have at it. Maclean thirst for skulls. How do I even hit that one? And... It's going! It's going! Your skull's fucking gone, mate! Oh, it's over here. But speaking of weapons, let's see how my favorite uh, Chinese couple in uh, Sotenboro is going. So Sotenbori? Anyway. Travel toward the station, try not to get distracted by the breathtaking natural beauty. A group of men suddenly appeared after putting a canvas sack over my head. It's gotta be terrifying. Dangerous adaptations. Approached by a third party uh, with a side deal, and we got the success. I don't need the Cali sticks. I like how some of these images are actually just like in-game NPCs, and others are like real people. Like developers of the game, I'm guessing. I want that talisman, or amulet even. I have new things to craft, you say. Oh, the wooden bears are used for nunchucks? Why? Why are the wooden bears used for nunchucks? I, uh... I don't understand. Oh, wait, hold on. I have... Do I have all the abilities I need to, uh... Fight this guy? Have you been working on your pet techniques, Majimo-san? I can't teach you, but the following weapon... Oh, I can teach you. Um... 
Let's do Cali sticks, I guess, because I keep burning those. I don't know what they're for. What's up, Sunpraiser? What's up? Uh, you wish to learn the Cali sticks? Then we will train in actual combat, as you suggested. Majima san, are you healthy and ready to fight? Sure. Uh, let us go outside. Meanwhile, in the back alleys of Sotenboro. Sotenbori? Bori? I think it's Sotenbori. Cali sticks consist of two short sticks. They are usually made from a wood called rattan. Have you heard the word Cali before, Machima san? Maybe. Huh? Nope, enlightening. Cali is actually the name of a martial art in the Philippines. I was wrong. No, I did not know about that one. Uh, it is the national sport. The word Cali comes from the local language. Weapons spread throughout the United States, and the word sticks was added. Uh, I leave out the details, but they're uh, pr practic oh, practicality has made them popular around the world. A weapon from the Philippines, huh? Who would have thought? But you really need to think they're world famous? Yeah. Yes, it is easy for simple weapons such as these to take root. Well, maybe they're just taking off here in Japan then. Only thing I've seen that uses two sticks are taiko drums. <laughs> Don't underestimate. Yeah. Don't underestimate their potential to cause harm. Sure. Let's get this show on the road then. I look forward to getting another look at you, brat. Or your bad techniques. Should avoid using our more powerful moves. All right. Here I come. What powerful moves do I have? All right, that was silly. And swing! So we kind of just like combo stuns you, huh? I'm going to trigger that last one he does. That one. God, I forgot about it already. The Sun Praiser, how goes the game? on the turrets, I take it. This man is kicking my ass with drumsticks, guys. And not the ice cream, either. Alright, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. The, the, uh, yeah, the nunchaku. Come on, open up your defenses. The bat's kind of like, like like the heavy swing is probably the better bet, I think. Come on, man, you ain't got shit on me. the opening he has no openings with these sticks minus when he's like done his combo I guess for like two hits
Uh, I'm taking a break. I have stuff to do, but too lazy. That's always the case, though, isn't it? It's always like when you have nothing to do, you have the most energy. And when you have a ton of shit to do, you're like the most tired. He says with me, so I imagine it's for most people. But I'm also a kobold, so. Yeah, sticks lose. Well fought, Majima son. Let us return to the store. Excellent fight, Majima son. I attempted to shut down your offense with my own attacks, but I ended up being overempowered. Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, well, I appreciate having you in here, Sun Praiser. Uh, and stay as long as you want. But I will say this. Make sure that you don't screw yourself over because you're watching this. That's all I'm saying. I'd hate to see something um, shenanigans-y happen to you because of that. You're really getting up in my face. I couldn't tell you when I, though. Uh, that the right way to use those things? I believe they are best used to press the attack rather than defend. You land enough blows, you can even stun the opponents, making them ideal against with foes. Uh-huh. Ah. Got it. Thank you for visiting the dragon and tiger. God damn, that was quick. Uh, what did I get anyway? Mmm, interesting. Look here, Sun Praiser. I appreciate all the effort, and you actually helped me out a shit ton, especially last night. So, uh, and I can't tell you to leave. But I'm not in a rush for affiliate. It'll happen eventually. And I just appreciate having your company more than anything. So, you know. If you want to hang out, that's fine. Just make sure you don't... Um, what's what I'm thinking of? Sorry. Make sure you don't shortchange yourself, I guess, because you're watching my stream. That's all. Come on. Twins or clones? Wait, what? Okay, I have double slats. What are double slats? Hmm. But I was saying it though, um, I do appreciate all the help you have given me towards reaching that goal, by the way. I truly, truly appreciate it. So thank you, Sunpraiser. Oh, I see. So I turn... Mmm, okay. Well, let's see about the next uh, round of training. Yeah. Teach Majima to use poles. LOL. Wish to learn the pole. At this point, innuendo doesn't even feel like it's necessary. Then we will train in the actual combat as you suggested, Machima-san. Are you healthy and ready to fight? Debatably. Oh. Yeah, I'm good to go. But let us go outside. Did you know they almost cast it before? John Wick? <laughs> I guess then again, speaking of this, Fei Hu is like 40 years too early, right? Because this is in the 80s. Yeah, weird, right? Some some new kid named, named Keanu something. Apparently he got the role. Really? Never knew that Fei Hu. 
The pull... <laughs> the pull techniques I'm about to show you were passed down through generations in China. Uh -huh. Ah, it's really some real traditional shit now. You'd be surprised how many weapons I've mastered in my time. Now then, a pole arm's reach is different from a bat, as does its spin. Uh -huh. Interesting. Let's see if it in action then. I'll look forward to get another look at your bat techniques. We should avoid using our most powerful moves, alright? Here I come. So he's gonna show me how to work the pole, and here he comes. And now we get some 80s fucking spy music. Oh, I'm gonna die. You can't get close enough. But yes, you can. Swing! Oh, shit. Okay. So, Smilky, if you want me asking, what other games do you play? Ooh, he fucking took me down. I think I prefer poles with ladies on them. Not in top form today. Let us go back to the store. That is true. It would be nice if you could actually heal here. Mm hmm. Luckily, right outside should be food, right? Uh, let's see, I have preference for JRPGs, though. My favorite series are Monster Hunter and Dragon Quest. Fair enough. Are you playing the new Monster Hunter right now, by the way? Not, not like, right right now, but, like, have you been playing it? Uh, Sunbreak, because I've heard... I have Rise. I'm waiting for my new monitor to come in so I can actually stream me completing Rise. Um... But I've heard, like, Sunbreak... I don't know, I've heard mixed things. I've heard it's really fun if you're super into it. I heard it can get a little old. All the food. It is good. Oh, thank god. Uh, I need to play Dragon Quest, and the only Monster Hunter I've played is, uh... To be honest, so I've, I've only played Monster Hunter World, Iceborne, and Rise. I like World so much more. World is really good. People didn't like it. Uh, I don't know. I think it was, it was something or other. Um, I preferred... As far as, as far as Rise and World are concerned, I like the maps of World way more. They felt somehow larger, even though in Rise they're technically larger. Uh, and because they were interactable, it just... I don't know. Like, with World, I had to learn, like, routes and stuff. With Rise, I didn't really have to, because it's like, oh, they're going this way. They're just, all right, just attack on Titan, you know, wall, chain hook over there. Uh, I got past all the story quests and then got bored. I like story. Hmm, fair enough, fair enough. I've actually never played any Dragon Quest games, minus Dragon Quest Builders. I... Will eventually. I have seven, I think. I think so. So I'm very new at that genre, too. Let's see here. Monster Hunter doesn't really have a story. It's just... I mean, it... it do... Yes and no. Oh, okay, now it's done. It does and it doesn't. Like, Monster Hunter has a story... Like how... Dark Souls has a story, kind of. It does and it doesn't, right? Um, but as far as the Monster Hunter story goes, it's not like every game has it. It's it's more like a... Hey, I got the amulet! Nice! Um, 
like like the story I know about Monster Hunter is about like the ancients and the war between monsters and 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 the ancients and the uh, what was it the ultimate dragon weapon or something which was like a mockery against you know all of them so so it is kind of there and in a world it is also kind of there with the sapphire star and all that stuff but like it's not. I've had to explain it to my friends because they're like, oh, I want to try it. Is it fun? I'm like, yeah. They're like, what do you do? I'm like, you hunt monsters. <laughs> what else? You also hunt monsters. Really, that's really the concept. Um, do you really? Huh. Out of World, Iceborne, and Rise? I think it's only happened to me once. Hello, Golden Goat of Luck. How's it going? What am I doing here? Hope you're having a wonderful evening, mate. Let's see here. We're talking about some uh, Monster Hunter and Dragon Quest and JRPGs right now. I, well, uh, first off, make sure you're not uh, watching a stream and responding while driving, please. It, it would fuck me up if you got hurt that way. So, if you want to hang out in the chat, you can you can listen along, but make sure you're okay. Um, but that's fantastic to hear, mate. You're almost home. Rats. Fair enough, I do the same thing. Well, I used to. That's where it's dreaming, so... So let's see, amulet, protective, bonfa, handgun. I have the dual slats, I have long lumber, I don't think I have the belts though. Honestly, it gives the most iron, so just do that. But if you're fine then, if you don't mind me asking, uh, Golden Goat, are you a Monster Hunter fan at all? Also, Smilky, if you're a JRPG fan, are you also incredibly fucking hyped for Bayonetta? Nice, nice. What's your favorite mo Okay, so both for Smilky and Golden Goat, what is your favorite monster from Monster Hunter? Mine is either Gormagala or... Xenogiva was kind of cool, but Gormagala... Xenogre is really cool, too. But probably Gormagala or... I'm trying to think of their name. Bail Hazak? I mean... It's not a JRPG like Dragon Quest and uh, Final Fantasy is, but... <sighs> Let's see here. Uh, Kira Pekko, uh, but he hasn't been since 3 net. I don't actually know that one. Smokey, would you say that Bayonetta is a JRPG? Uh, let's go fight Feihu real quick, oh. sorry. What defines a JRPG? Is it specifically like a, uh, level 1 to 99 grind with, like, summons and equipment? Like, you know, Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest? Hmm. Oh. Ah. By the way, guys, do you want to hear a really weird headcanon I have for Bayonetta? Hold on. So, I forget which one it was, but the creators of Bayonetta or Devil May Cry, I think it was both actually, uh, come to terms, and apparently... The world of DMC... Or Devil May Cry, not the DMC game, but you know. And Bayonetta is the same world. What are the odds? that 
Bayonetta is Nero's mom. And before you say, no chance, I could see Bayonetta and Virgil being a thing. But on top of that, Nero's power in 4 was summoning a big-ass demon arm. Bayonetta also summons a big-ass demon arm. Ah, fair enough. Imagine a crazy family get together. This must be for that entire family. And then there's, uh. God, what was their uncle's name? M Mundus. There's an Uncle Mundus on the fucking Skype call. Because they don't have FaceTime in hell. Look, it's not... It, but they, they, they did say it's the same world. And we don't know who, uh... Nero's mom is. And I thought maybe from the DMC game when it was like, you know... The prequel, uh, Devil May Cry game. But apparently, that's non-canon to the, like, the main... Well, canon, so... I mean, think about it. Could Nero be Bayonetta's son? Maybe? I actually have not played Bayo 2 yet. It's actually in my room right now next to my Switch. And when I get my monitor set up, I have a Elgato capture card. I'm going to hook all that shit up. And we will be streaming Bayonetta 2, uh, finishing up Dragon Quest Builders 2, and Rise. So I can actually finally, finally start Sunbreak. Point is, though, I'll be streaming that soon if you're interested. Fair enough. I never had a computer until I was like 15, so... I was kind of the opposite. You're spinning that thing so fast, I thought you'd take off. Not too shabby in defense either, huh? The pole allows you to protect your lower body. Guys, does the pole help you protect your lower body? Is that true? Right, you're using it against multiple foes or opponents to target, that target your legs. I know he's not. It's just my mind, but it really sounds like he's talking about something else. Thank you for visiting the Dragon and Tiger. Hi. So that's the case on Prazer. If you're more of a PC person, what's your favorite PC game? Or at least one of them. Wait, the negotiator's mom? Wait, what? Wait, so I'm doing this like back alley black market deal, and then the negotiation partner's mom steps in. Okay. Now it doesn't have to be like number one, but it has to be a favorite, at least. Because I feel bad if we're having a conversation and they can't join in. Um, still looking for that amulet. Once I get the leather belt or the black belt, I'll probably... I actually have it, don't I? I have iron pipe. I don't know if I have pole yet. Now, to make it easier, it doesn't have to be a PC exclusive, it could just be a game that's on PC. I can't just make these things, can I? Well, 
Wait, do I just have this? Mm. Hmm. Would you say that Doom is the most modded game out there then? I really wish I was wearing that when I started doing these, because that would probably have helped me out for a while. Mm. I believe you. I just, when I play Doom, I want to play the newer ones. They're so fucking good. Like, on a default level without mods, they're just really good. Okay, how's my HP looking? Am I at least a little bit... Like, am I close to full? Yeah, I should be fine, right? Have you been working on your bat techniques? Majima-san, I can teach you about the following weapons. The Tanfa, the Nunchaku, and something else that you have to unlock the other one to do. Oh. Um... All right, so when you get back, Golden Coat, take it easy, and I hope to see you soon. And, you know, just be safe out there. I don't know what time it is for you, but it's 1.30 for me, so, AM. Um... Hmm. Not just that, I think, like, I like I like the music and, and the style and stuff. I'm sure I could just get the, all that into the classic with, um... Modding, but uh, the Tonfa is a weapon from Okinawa. The set of two is generally used together, or used there, but I prefer to wield a single Tonfa. It's more portable this way. In some countries, they even use them as police batons, so there's plenty of room to adapt them to different styles. I see, and you're gonna show me these styles, huh? All weapons I teach you, this is the easiest to wield and the most suited to one on one combat. <laughs> Look forward to getting another look at your bat techniques. You should avoid using more powerful moves. All right, here I come. Hello. Um. With that in mind, Sunpraiser, what is your favorite Doom? Okay, blocking is not the answer. I got the baseball bat, none, Shaku. Oh shit. Speaking of though, uh, tomorrow I am actually doing something new as far as like uh, my usual streaming schedule. Sundays are going to become uh, like tryout uh, game days or just one off days. Uh, and I might eventually go back to those games to like do streaming them once I like open up a slot for my usual. Shenanigans. As far as tomorrow's concerned, it's either going to be Warhammer Total Warfare 3 or Conan Exiles, but I was also looking at um, Doom Eternal. Uh, I beat Doom 416, but never did Eternal. For m I, I did Eternal, but like only halfway through. Like whenever you uh, rescue Hayden, that's where I left off. All right, I'm getting my shit rocked. The issue is I keep trying to block, and that's not what I'm supposed to be doing here. That's what kick his fucking ass, Machima. Oh 
Okay. Maybe I can do this? No, I think not. Hold on, maybe. Come on. Ah, he got me. I need to heal. That's eh, fine. Uh, Doom 1, Doom 2016, Doom 64, Doom 2, Doom Eternal, Doom 3, in that order. As in, like, Doom 1 being the best? So... Interesting. Interesting. So, I like Doom 1, or Doom 1, not Doom 1, uh, because it's the classic, but, like, I never did modded. What did I get? All right. But, um... I never played three. I played one and two. 2016, and halfway through Eternal. And, um... I like 2016 so much more than uh, 1. Mostly because I just really like the music and just everything about it. But the thing is, I know Doom you can play on PC, but a lot of those games I play on console, like... There are very few games that I actually just play outright on PC first. So, like... It's, it's mostly because, so, you know, people are like, yeah, it's, it's, it's easier with mouse and keyboard. I'm the opposite. I find aiming way easier with a controller, which is why I have one right now while playing this. And let's go get some sushi. Do you think we'll ever get another Doom, though? I think it's possible, but I don't think we will. I need to uh, modernize a little these days, uh, like give it a mouse look, for example, instead of just left and right. Yeah, that's true. But the issue with that, though, is you run you run to the um, the wall, let's say, of dealing with. I guess what I want to say is, is purists. Ah. So, like, you know, when WoW Classic came out, I was one of those. Um, but... I could definitely see why they need to do that, especially for, like, you know, modern day. At least, you know, you know what it is? At the very least, you should have the option. <laughs> you don't have to have a default. You can have default original style, but have an option, maybe? I, I don't know. Let's go, motherfucker. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? What about you, Smilky? Are you also a, a Doom player? Or a fan? It's so hard just not, like, blocking things, because it's like, oh, yes, this is like the tankier, slower shield... Uh, or block-based, uh, whatchamacallit, fighting style. Let's see here, um... Mm. 
you're not wrong there. They are very linear. Um, but also, oh, but I'm also uh, ranking them in terms of replayability. Classic Doom are older, but mods and secrets and everything. I mean, Doom 2016 and Eternal are... They have secrets, too. Um... I would argue more secrets, technically speaking. Uh, I've only played 2016 Eternal, never finished the Eternal though. I like it, but it just felt a bit too repetitive. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. As a, as a Kobold King, I love collectathons. That's why I loved those. That's why I love like ukulele or Banjo Kazooie. Uh, or like Tide, the Tasmanian uh, Tiger, Jack One, you know, any of those games. I love collectathons. Get tired of your bullshit, old man. Getting real tired of this. I was getting something with how much they got praise. Well, with Eternal, I would agree. I think with 2016, it was... The pacing was a little bit better, maybe? I don't know. The one thing I never understood about uh, Eternal was like the the pseudo games of service thing they try to do with like the, the the Doom rank or something. I never finished Eternal. But sorry, I was trying to kill this guy. I'll fight this guy. Um, I I could never imagine warranting like multiple playthroughs of that game for the sake of like ranking up a score. To unlock like cosmetics. That was that was weird. That part confused me. Fun work, Machu Masad. I plan to bash my way through your defenses, but you staved off my attacks admirably. Heh. <sighs> if it looked easy, it wasn't. Your defense was pretty ironclad yourself. Tonfa is held parallel to the arm, which makes blocking uh, intuitive. You can defend at any time while maintaining your stance, so it offers a good balance of offense and defense. However, keep in mind that its range is limited. As I mentioned, it is best suited for single opponents where you can maintain your stance against ah. them. Got it. One second, I fix up my uh, headset. Goddamn long hair also because it a pain in the ass. Uh, let's see here. The one part that kind of threw me out of Doom Eternal, though, was the uh, part where he talks. I don't know why, it just weirded me out. Ooh. A coin toss. Resounding success. Whoa! We got a lot of shit. Uh, iron pipe, comfy soles, lumber, conic lenses. Anyone here a, uh, speaking of overly hyped... Anyone here a No Man's Sky fan? Let's see here. Let's start doing like this stuff. Like, let's see, like the golf club. Wooden driver, spiked bat. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. 
I don't really need the metal bat right now. Anything new? No, okay. Uh, let's see here. No, I, I'm yeah, I'm not showing the game. I actually love No Man's Sky. Uh, I'm waiting for the update right now. It should, in theory, be soon because Exhibition Seven, I want to say, is over. Give me update, please. Um, let's see here. No one's got made an amazing comeback and doesn't deserve any more slander after the devs still put in the hours and went above and beyond with post-launch love. Uh, if only all shitty games got as much love instead of us. No, I agree. So, I forget when it was. It was probably about three weeks ago. I probably had it a few times. But, and this question goes for you as well, um, uh, Smilky. Would you prefer a game that is a really shitty launch, but the devs continue to... Uh, give it love and attention, like Final Fantasy XIV, like No Man's Sky, uh, to a little bit lesser degree, 76, I guess, and I've heard Cyberpunk's better now. Or, was you really for something that is fantastic at launch, that kind of gets abandoned, like, and I hate to say this, because I fucking love the game, like Tiny Tina's Wonderland, where the launch is so incredible, and the DLC is so, um... Underwhelming. So if I had to choose one or the other, I think I'd rather a shitty launch and have the game, like, over years get at actual attention and become a really awesome game versus, um, fantastic launch and it just fucking tanks afterwards. And now we're in the way of the nunchaku. Ah. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Uh, Sarah got me some of that uh, lemon cake earlier today, and I might have to get some soon. Also, Aaron Fox's question uh, portrays to you as well, if you would like to answer. Take it and you not explain the nunchaku to you. Huh? Of course not. In a small life who doesn't recognize those. Pretty easy to look like a badass winging those around. Oh. Indeed. I'm also a fan of the Nunchaku. I work on crafting new variations every day. Every day? Every day. Pretty ballsy to try and improve the classics. I have been reading a historical novel, and I'm attempting to combine a weapon that appears in it with the, the Nunchaku. Perhaps you will encounter it in due time. It's not the frozen sardine Nunchucks, is it? Because that makes no sense. I think I'd rather uh, post launch updates to. Hmm, fair enough. Well, I mean, here's the reason why, like, the DLC bummed me out about Borderlands or Wonderlands. Um, personally, if a game is not getting like official updates, I like it a little less. Uh, because I like playing a game and being excited for an update in the game or a DLC or patch or something like that, right? Um, which is why I'm kind of like waiting to see what's going to happen with Terraria because it's like oh the final patch five patches ago and it's still going so um, however as I was saying with Wonderlands knowing that they're only going to have four DLC and each DLC is only like an hour if that of content kind of just destroyed my fun for that game. Nah, no, I'm all for it. I mean, there was a time, and I'm, I'm, I still do that too. Uh, most times, I will wait until, like, a year before a game comes out to actually play it, unless I'm super invested in that game. So, like... I might day one get Bayonetta 3 if I beat Bayonetta 2. Probably the new God of War, whenever that comes out. But most games, I give a little bit of time. Because simply put, right? Um, a game comes out at 60 bucks, right? If you wait, let's say, at least three months, it's probably down to 50. And if it's uh, been played once, it's like down to 30 or 20. So, you know. And that way, instead of buying one game for 60 bucks, you buy three. That's thinking with COVID logic. Uh, I've been reading historical... Oh, right, the part. 
Oh, come on. You don't leave me hanging. Or I guess I could always beat the details out of you. I look forward to getting another look at your bat techniques. We should have... Yes, okay. Let's go. I'm actually all with you with that one. Um, Sunpraiser. Can I block it, though? I don't like this shit. I might day one get the new Final Fantasy VII remake game with the part three. I know it's part two, but Integrate is technically speaking part two. I always forget to heal. I have nunchucks too, motherfucker. Let's go to baseball bat. I got baseball down, Chucks. You ain't got shit, Fehu. Come on, come on. I right, should be done for. Come on. All right, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Take that. You have beaten me much, my son. But let's go back to the... Why is he going Russian now? What's a, a game series that they made a new one? Would blow your mind. Alright, Nunchaku. Got nothing on me. The thought watching bus on. I unleashed my full fury, but you still defeated me handily. Any part of advice from the Nunchaku master? If wielded properly, the Nunchaku can slip past the enemy's defenses. The trick is to hook it around them. It is also enhances your fighting spirit as you rain down blows on opponents and deliver powerful finishing moves. Ah. Sweet, got it. Thank you for visiting the Dragon and Tiger. Yep, didn't hurt. Ugh, I'm dying. Just walking off to let him see. For me, there was an old, uh, actually two games would be, um, both PS2 era, uh, Dark Cloud 3, never played 2, or, what was the name of that game? Hold on. Give me one second, guys. I have to look this up now, because it's going to bug me if I don't remember it. Game is... It's like... It's not Metal Gear, it's something else. Oh! Metal Arms Glitch in the System. That game was fucking awesome. I don't think they'll ever make another one of those, but if they did, that'd be incredible. It was essentially like a, a foul-mouthed, uh, I, I would say like a Ratchet and Clank game with robots. But I have said it, I do love me a collect-a-thon. Maybe I should try that ukulele in the Impossible Dungeon game tomorrow instead. I haven't actually confirmed what I'm playing tomorrow yet, so... Interesting. In your opinion, Sunpraiser, what would you rather see? Warhammer, Total War 3... 
ukulele in the Impossible Dungeon. I think there's anything else. Just those two for now. They have ukulele. I mean, look, so... I'm pretty sure... Let me just check real quick. I'm pretty sure if you have the Xbox Game Pass... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's in there for free if you have the, the subscription. They might also have Banjo Kazooie because they have, like, a rare collection. Ukulele is not free. Oh, that's Impossible Lair. Actually, actually, hold on. Hold on. Sorry if I keep tapping the mic. I think I think they have ukulele in there. They definitely have Banjo Kazooie. Are you putting a link in? What was that? Oh, I fucking love Ahead of Time. That game is just sassy and wonderful and kind of terrifying. As I said, I love a good collectathon. It's, it's, um, I got slime spray and a spiked bat recipe. Interesting. I don't know why, but those games are just very therapeutic for me. Like, actually therapeutic for me. Old Stun Gun. Dome's Umbrella. Old Stun Gun, Stun Gun. Wooden Katana, Nameless Katana. Animal Skin, huh? Let's do it. But now that we're talking about it, to all you lovelies out there, what would you say your favorite collectathon is? That's kind of a tricky one for me because I really like a lot of them. Um, Jack One's great. All the Ratchet and Clanks are good. Jedlocked was weird. Like, really weird. It was really fun. Really weird, as far as that genre goes. Banjo because he was a classic, of course. I'm not counting nuts and bolts. I'm not. Let's put away the assassin spear. Um, some of these sticks. Sledgehammer. It does. Holy shit. Did you play both of them? Yes, yeah, Psychonauts is fantastic. I liked the first one more, though. The second one felt more tame, I guess. It was still good. It still handled a lot of uh, psychological issues in a very uh, incredible way, in my opinion. But, as I was saying, um, one felt um, more, not darker, but like, more... Double the damage? Holy shit. What'd you think of it, then? If you don't mind me asking. It's... It's pretty... It's pretty messed up at certain parts. But I still love it. I'm trying to think now. Yeah, I definitely consider Psychonauts 1 and 2, but oh shit, he's got a katana. 
wish to learn the katana, then we will trade in actual combat, as you suggested, mine. But are you healthy and ready to fight? No. Let's go for it. Ah. Let's see, what would I consider a collect -a I'm gonna give it, like, trying to think here. I would say all the ties, uh, both attacks, Jack one, all the ratchets, um, both psychonauts, uh, both banjos and ukuleles, um, I'm thinking, Mario Odyssey, Mario 64, I don't think I would count Breath of the Wild as a No, no, I wouldn't count Breath of the Wild. Uh, to collect, but I won't count it as a collect-a-thon. Um, as you are aware, the katana has long been the weapon of choice among warriors in Japan. Oh. Yeah, history 101. Well, the sharpness not found anywhere else due to the complex forging techniques involved. They are the ultimate blue weapon. I tried forging it myself, but it's not easy. You can forge katana too? I have not mastered the technique to the point where I could sell my creations. Right now, a friend crafts them for me, but I hope to someday reach that level. Does that mean if I slip this time, I'm going to be losing appendages? This is getting real. Yeah. No, that would be unwise. I will use a wooden katana. Fair enough. Fair enough. I hope you feel better. Definitely use some uh, uh, honey. Um... I think I heard that ginger's also good for the throat. I think. Yes. <sighs> oh, I was kind of looking forward to it. It is for the best. However, you should know that I shall be using an unusual form. What? You're going to go all drunk and master on me? What's the deal? <laughs> you will have to wait and see. Yeah, you know, honey's good for your throat. Oh, shit. Um, look. look, I'll make a deal with you. I will I will take your shinies. Uh, hold on, hold on. I will raid you of shinies. But I will leave you pots of honey, for I actually hate honey IRL. So, you can have all the honey, but I will have the shinies. Is it a deal? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I always see that voice when I say the word deal. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Look forward to getting another look at your bat. Oh god, more nuendo. Stop it. Stop it. This man's gonna kill me, isn't he? I vaguely remember this being a nightmare. Come on, old man. Come on, old man. I'll be honest. It doesn't really look like a wooden katana to me. Oh, she's gone Super Saiyan. His ass. His ass in front of his own dog. Show him who the top dog really is. The answer is a kobold. Woohoohoo! It's all fun and games to get the backswing of the bat. Or more nunchucks.
Keep it going, keep it going. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Keep dodging around. Yo, come on. Lower that defense for a second. Don't worry. Oh, oh God. I may have killed Fei Hu. Is he okay? Sweet, I won. Sorry, I was loud. A splendid fight, much my son. You bested me. Let's return to the store now. Sure thing, sure thing. All right, that sword stuff ain't so hard. Quite impressive, majima son. My sword style is a difficult one to read. Is it really? You just kind of block and beat the shit out of you when you're, well, attacking. Well, you anticipated my every move. I just blocked. Swords really look sweet. Uh, maybe I'll give him a shot. By all means, but as the katana tends to be an expensive weapon, you should save it for when the time seems right. Yeah, they cost a million yen easy. I'll pick one up and give it a whirl when I get a uh, cash to blow. Fair enough. Hi. Come on, something good. Show me the money. A coin toss, you say? Well, I got another Wicatana. I have to imagine they had the most amount of fun making this game. Like, you play played this series uh, a lot more than I have, right, Smilky? How much fun do you think they had making this shit? Like, I can only imagine them sitting down like, alright. We made Sonic. We made all these old arcade cabinet games. What are we making next? Yakuza. What's it about? Uh, mini games. Mini games in Japan. What else? That's it. I love it. Let's go with that one. They must have. Matchstick, come here. Well, that's lucky. Come here, lucky cat. What's up, buddy? He's doing something. Oh, he hunted me down a fuzzy mouse toy. Again. Good boy, lucky cat. Should I have that? Yeah, it's okay. Good boy, good boy. He's the most amazing hunter in the world. He can hunt um, stationary fuzzy mice from a mile away. Probably more like 10 feet, but still. It's the thought that counts, right? Let's go see how Aaron Coon's doing. Let's go, boys. Let's go. It's time to do, 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 fucking smash your kneecaps in. It's gonna say duel. Haha, <laughs> think again. <laughs> Two for one. And it's going, going. It's fucking gone. It's out of the park. I'm going the wrong way now. I don't remember where I have and haven't eaten at. I'll probably fuck with that sometime Monday in the e or afternoon even. I do know since the game crashed last night, I have to do the so uh, sushi thing again, so I'll have to work on that later. But for now, Aaron Coon. Dude, you've got to give this up. Hey, that's Aaron Coon. Looks like his feet are killing him again. Guys, this fucking kid, I feel so bad for him. Ow, ow, ow. Now I'm really screwed. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, hello! It's my feet, they're killing me again. 
I think I can walk again if I rest a while, but... <sighs> can't say I didn't warn you. Hey. Right? Yes, you did. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're running errands again. Yes, I am. I have to deliver this absorbent sheet in a hurry. What am I going to do? You gone and made your injury worse, didn't you? If you explain it while you're late, she'll understand, won't she? But she said she has plans. If I don't get it to her in a hurry, I might miss her. I see. Um, maybe if you have time, do you think you could deliver this absorbent sheet to her? So when they say absorbent sheet, do you mean like a napkin? What? I gotta run an errand so she can wipe her face? I'm sorry, is it too much to ask? The idea of me running around, running an errand's flat out nuts, but it... I'd like to... Sorry. The idea of me running an errand's flat out nuts, but I'd like to take a peek at the girl who's making him do all this. She must be some kind of special. He's gonna run Aaron Coon to the ground at this rate. Maybe I can set her straight. <sighs> Alright, fine. I'll be your delivery boy. You will? Uh, sure. So where's your sweetheart at? Thank you so much. She's waiting on the footpath along the river on the Sotombori Street side. Got it. The river footpath on the Sotombori Street side. You rest up till you're good enough to walk. I... And well, thank you. Here's her absorbent sheet. Oh, okay, so it's, uh, like a wet wipe. Do you don't think I've ever heard a wet wipe called an absorbent sheet before? Uh, you know, it happens. Yeah, let's fight him. Like, here's the thing, I'm very close to... Sorry, I'm very close to, uh, reaching that 15 million mark and getting, um extra heat on attacks, which make this way easier to use. When in doubt, fucking RPG style the shit out of this. Power level for days. But this is the way. See, Mando in the Mandalorian always talks about the way. It's actually just power level. I am also getting crafting materials. I'd rather get like a ruby plate or something or a diamond plate, but you know, it's fine. While we're here, let's actually heal up real quick and then we'll go deliver the stuff. Baby fish a second. Yes, sir. This food also always makes me so hungry because it's like pictures of real food. I'm like kind of snacky right now, and I kind of want to the kitchen and get myself a lemon cakes wedge, but maybe before I go to bed. All right, there we go. 17 things. Like you ordered 17 uh, portions of food? Yes. <laughs> well, eggs. Never had them before. Nope. Definitely not. Maybe. I'll try it. No. Don't even know. I've heard they're good, but I don't want it. But maybe. No idea. Ooh, garlic chicken sounds so good. Okay. What the fuck is playing in the background? It's... It's like... The Waiting Hall of Death. It's the most soul-crushing sound I've ever heard in this game. And there's a lot of soul-crushing sounds in this game. Where's Aaron Kuhn? I told him I need that absorbent sheet, like, now. Boy. Sorry to keep you waiting. Excuse me, and who are you? Aaron Kuhn hurt his foot, and he can't run on it, so he begged me to get this to you. Is that right? Well, whatever works. Thanks. <sighs> hey, how about a little concern for the guy? It don't bother you at all that he's in pain? Huh? Yo, Emmy, what's the holdup? Oh. 
Tomo Kun. Sorry, Aaron Kun was kind of slow today. But this man here brought what we needed, so we're good. Huh. Nice, man. I was getting really sweaty, too. <laughs> Anything for you, Tomo Kun? Oh, okay. So he's simping for a girl who's simping for this guy. You better whip that Aaron Kun into shape, though. Gotta give him some tough love so he's never late again. The prophesized golden goat has returned. Welcome back, goat. No problem. Hey. What the shit? Hey, excuse me? Wasn't it you who requested that? Aaron Kuhn thought he was doing it for you, so he busted his ass to get it. Huh? Does it matter what Tomo Kuhn wants? I want too. We're totally going city now. <laughs> yeah, Aaron Kuhn's usually good at his job. Quick, courteous, and free, of course. He doesn't know we're an item now. Ooh. I don't like this. Can I throw this man in the river? Does the movie start soon, Tomokun? We better go. Yeah, come on, babe. What? Hey, before you go, I'm gonna need you to make a quick promise. We don't owe you shit, man. What do you want? Aaron Kun has run his last errand for you. This stops now. You already got plenty out of him. Now let him go and stop toying with his feelings. <sighs> Dude, why would I make a promise like that? A good errand boy is tough to find these days. You shouldn't talk so big, Stickman. Tomokun could wipe the smirk off your face real easy. Really? Because I wipe my ass with guys like Tomokun. I will do it. Kill him. Do it. Uh? Oh, you want to get it on? Cool, cool. You can be my personal errand boy, then. We'll have to. <laughs> if you win, I'll run errands for you all over town. Bear us naked with a property of Tomokun tattoo. You, you're going to regret talking shit. Nah. Now let's see how far this back can go up to your sphincter. I'm thinking at least halfway. Oh, what happened to that face? Don't you need a wet wipe? Oh, I guess you need more than that now. And you're done for. Now you see, lady, you wanted him for his D, and that's all fine and good. But he, now he has a broken D. So... I guess he's no longer a keeper. Sorry. So what do you say about making that promise? Or do you need more convincing? I will, I will. I promise. I won't ever make him run errands again. I'm so sorry. That's right. Run away, you little bitch. Tell what about the movie? God, you're both awful people. Hi. Oh, hey, if it ain't Aaron Kuhn. You look to be running again. Yes, a little rest was all I needed. But anyway, did you get that absorption sheet to her? Uh. Yeah, I made the drop, but... Mm -hmm. But... I'm telling him. <sighs> well, I hate saying this, but that woman actually has a boy... I know. Oh, I feel bad now. Just don't play this music. You don't need to say anymore. I actually saw her walking around with this handsome looking guy the other day. She looked happy. But I couldn't ask her about him. I was afraid of learning the truth. Aaron Coon. <sighs> Still, it kind of rips your heart out to know for sure. But maybe this is the reality check I needed. I'm not going to run any more errands for her. Good. That's for the best. Of course, who knows what will happen when I fall for the next girl, but... That's just the kind of guy I am. Nothing wrong with being the kind of guy a girl can depend on. But it's all about respect. If you both have equal share of it, then nothing can tear you apart. <laughs> There's hoping the next lady you fall for treats you with the same love and care you got for her. Yes! I can't thank you enough. You gave me a medicine, these sneakers, and you did so much more. Nah, that ain't much. It's the grand scheme of things. Yeah. No, no. That's simply not true. I can only repay you for your kindness somehow. Don't sweat it. My needs are met. <laughs> If there's anything I can do, I'll be happy to do it for you. I'm willing to run anywhere. <laughs> Heh. Really got to think for running. Hi. Yes. If there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh. Sure, you got it. Wait, is that real? 
is he just here now? And if I come over here, he's like, oh, we'll do an... Oh, God, wait, is he actually here? Hold on, hold on one second. Also, Golden Goat of Luck, how was your day, buddy? Oh, sorry, Annie's panting. I might have to let her out in a bit here. Well, was it a double or anything like that? I'm sorry to hear it if it was. Oh, hello, I didn't even run errands for you. How about a little something to fill your stomach? After all, you did do me, uh, it's my treat. Sure. Hi. I really hope... It's milky. Don't spoil it. But can you tell me if we see Aaron Kuhn in future games? Because I really hope Majima takes him into the Yakuza. And becomes like a... Like a, like a first lieutenant for him or something. Or like a, you know... Number two. But real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Let me let Annie out. I don't want her making a mess or anything like that. So, uh, two minutes, I'd say. So, sorry for the wait, guys. Uh, but she's 18 years old. I have to let her go OUT. I say OUT because if I said the actual word, my youngest dog is going to get excited and get her excited, and then shit's going to go wrong. Uh, ah, it sucks. Because I've been told some things are, like, ongoing. I noticed that high school kid who's the blonde dude who I think is, like, in the next game. As a, I think a rival, I know the old lady, I think is in every one of them. So anyway, I'm procrastinating. I'll be right back. So be back in three. I can finally get some lemon cake. Letting dogs out. Hope you're all having a fantastic time, guys. Enjoying the stream. I'll be right back. Maybe we could talk more in D&D &D if you want, Golden. Well, not more, but you know, from last night. Hear me.
I'm back. I'm back. Hmm. Sorry for the wait, guys. Let me switch back to controller. <clears throat> so we'll play this for another hour. I'm gonna. S mm. Yeah, another hour. Then we'll play some uh, Evil Genius 2 for about two. Thank you, thank you. Oh, fuck me. Wait, how much? No. N no. Wait, is that a different guy? He's bald. Hold on. Let me head over to Don Kill to get some healing items and maybe fight him again. So, Golden Goat, do you have ideas down for what, not, not like the entire, like, you know, minute detail, but do you have an idea of how you want the big bad to be so far? It's probably lame to say it, but, um, I have a weak spot for, like, villains, like, so I like DC over Marvel, because the villains are so much better. Okay. May I ask what your thoughts are on uh, the big, their, your current big bad you're me fighting? Or as in, like, you know, in your campaign? Or is it a spoiler? It's evil. Well, they tend to be, but I, 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 I get your point. Yeah. Also, that was a citrus swirl cake, not lemon cake. It's real fucking good. Hey, you. Hmm? My name's O. Oh, okay. So, what do you want, O san? Huh? I don't like your tone. Why your face? The hell's your problem, asshole? Whoa, what's the sudden aggression, buddy? Take a step back and a chill pill, or you're the one getting hurt. Threatening me? You'll pay for this, and I mean it literally. Fuck over your wallet or else. Just what we need in this town another shakedown, shitlord. What, you think you're tough or something? Let's see how you like getting beaten to a pulp. Well, seeing how you are not one of my players, I can tell you, but the first big bad evil guy is going to be the captain of the ship they want. Oh! Is that gonna be like a, like a, like off the get-go that's gonna be him? Or is it gonna be like a, like down the road, you're gonna find out like the big evil was like with him the entire time, like just, uh, guiding them down their path for his sake and not for their sake. None, Chuck. He's doing a lot less damage than the other guy, you know that? Let's put the gloves on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? That he's guiding down, down, down the path of his own uh, desires, not their, like, you know, quest. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa there, dude. Whoa, calm down. Uh, it's going to help the party here and there, but find out later that he is one, uh, one fucking shit up. Nice, I like it. Okay. Yeah, it's always fun when the quest giver or like the, you know, you know, the, the person helping along the entire quest is the one who's like, Actually, the fucking evil guy. Oh shit, he's pissed. <sighs> Where'd 
We're fine. Mm. If you played the new game, uh, or the newer game, Quarry, it kind of has that going too. Oh no, how much money do I get for this then? Nice. Nice. Damn you. My money. You took my money. Ah, damn it. What's gotten into you? Didn't you th uh, didn't you think you'd make such a big stink about it? Mind your own business. It's back to square one for me. But I'll get my money back from you and then some. He ain't getting shit, guys. He ain't getting fucking shit. the socks back on and the card reader by the way any of you guys in here are a fan of that series of games the uh i think it's the dark tales anthology i forgot the exact name of it but it's uh until dawn and a Medan, Little of Hope, Evil of... Not the Evil of Thin. The Devil Within is the new one coming out. Uh, House of Ashes. And technically Quarry, but also technically not Quarry. Uh, that one's weird. I recently beat the uh, Quarry today. I have so many questions about, like, the origin of Silas. And how this lady now said it'd make a curse, and it worked. Because it's never that simple. I won't explain why it's never that simple, but in one of the games, it's like, oh, it's this. It's like, oh, no, it's actually this. I really can't explain it without spoiling uh, House of Ashes. Let's see here. Heat wave one, fuck yeah. Oh. So, speaking of the idea of having um, a close member of the party be the big bad or like one of the bigger bads. I told you about that kobold I made who had uh, his twin sealed within him, right? Who was had like a split personality thing going on. Yeah, the other personality was like right hand of like Tiamat. It did not go well for my party when that happened. When like it was revealed and also he was unsealed. Ready to head home soon? I want to play some more. Okay. By the way, we're talking D&D, &D, so... Um, whatchamacallit? Aaron Foxy, what is your wildest D&D character? You too, though, if you want to join in Sun Producer. But on top of that, though, Smilky, do you play D&D &D at all? Cool. Hmm? Okay, what's going on here? You guys been staring at that mom and boy this whole while. A little creepy. It's a little creepy. Excuse me, can you throw me my ball, please? Sure. Nice. If you don't want me asking, also, Smilky, if you're busy, by the way, let me know and I won't ask you too many more questions. Just to, you know. But, if you don't mind me asking. What is the weirdest character you've ever played or seen in D&D? And yeah, the way it was, was basically the, um... So, the Paladin version was Nerdu, uh, and the Deathlight version, or brother, was Erdak. And so the, what happened was the evil twin that was residing in the kobold, basically, um... 
basically do all of our fighting skills because he was there in every fucking battle until the end. And also uh, was siphoning uh, our abilities, or our magic at least. So in the end, it kind of got a little bad shit crazy. It was really weird playing a character as, like, you know, the hero party, fighting one of my other characters as the big bad. That was really conflicting. I was like, I don't... Like, win or lose, guys, I'm winning here. Nice, 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 nice. Well, I hope you're enjoying the game. Um, half work Barbarian, huh? That sounds pretty fun. Don't forget to rage as much as possible. Release that, you know, uh, orc blood fury. Wait, please. Hmm? That ball. May I? Huh? What? Can I have my ball, please? Yeah, coming right up. Here goes. <laughs> Why you always rage and stop fucking raging? Ugh. Uh. Yeah, barbarians are fun because of, like... Last Stand's fun. Rage is fun. Um, I mean, half the two-handed weapon magical items are fucking ridiculous. What's this weirdo? He got pretty uh, dejected all of a sudden. Especially when you get more of, like, a berserker build going on with the barbarian. It's just nasty. Even more so when you, like, dual class it with, like, a paladin or a warlock or, um... I've actually seen a, a cleric barbarian uh, who was basically just serving the god of war himself. Uh, and that was fun. No. Hey, let's get you down the dumps. Did you want to throw the ball or something? Sorry. Yes, very much so. Surely you don't need to be that uh, despondent over it. You're making me feel guilty over here. I, I just wish I could have played a catch with him, even if it were just that one throw. Why him? Thank you for being so kind. Thanks for getting my ball. Uh-huh. You keep at it, kid, and you'll be in the pros. <laughs> Bye-bye, misters. Also, how are you liking D&D, &D, if you don't want me asking? Bye-bye. I ain't old enough to be a mister. Yeah, guys, somehow Majin was 24 years old still. That is clearly the face of a 24-year-old. Clearly. What's the matter? Were those two so fascinating to you? You have nothing to do with this. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to tell you. Those two, they're my wife and son. Huh? What are you talking about? You're obviously just a random guy to both of them. It's because my wife and son can't recognize me. What? How's that possible? Six months ago, my face was surgically altered. Surgically altered? What for? I can't get details, but it was a Yakuza related. A little bit of a trouble. A little bit? Not so sure about that. The real me is officially dead. Now I live as uh, Kaigo Akatani, the new face and identity. This is the Captain Tieflin Fighter 10 Rune Knight Barbarian 5 Path of the Beast. Pro oh god. Yeah, that sounds awful. I mean, it's essentially, essentially, the captain could just really buff themselves with the barbarian and runite bits and kind of go in for some nasty attacks with the assassin, right? Like, you could be like fucking. Ooh, ooh, fuck. Even more so, if you somehow. Fight him on his boat, which is a living mimic, or you know, so like a living weapon, and he could probably, I'm guessing, if he's you know able to control the mimic, he could probably ma manipulate it at will. 
you know, add doors here or there. I mean, it'd be essentially like fighting him in like his, like he has full control of the space almost because the mimic has no uh, exact shape or form, right? So, yeah, no, it fucking sucks. It, it, it'd be like, because cause the thing is, not only can he get all these buffs, right? Not only can the mimic also attack, he could be fighting them, literally drop into a hole in the ship, have it close up because the mimic, if it's under his control, and then pop out of a fucking wall. Like that that's awful. <laughs> that's mean. The real me is officially dead. Okay, right. So you were forced into assuming another life. What's your real name? The man I was is now dead. Akana Akatani is my real name now. I'm sorry. Man, that's complicated. Just imagining I I, I can tell you went through a, a hell of an ordeal. Yes, at first it was shock every time I saw the stranger's face in the mirror. There's no one in the world who can recognize me for who I was. That realization made me want to kill myself. Oh my. I fought the urge a long time, but then I remembered my family. That mom and boy. Mmm. Yes, but I'm a total stranger to them now. The best I can do is watch them from afar like you saw me doing. So, I'm not going to critique anything but but as far as when you actually fight him and if he has minions with him here's my question for you has he done this before does he have other parties or would be heroes under his sway as thralls uh, let's see here. The best I can do is watch him from afar like you saw me doing. Can you just tell your wife and son about what happened and go back to him? If only I could do that. The real me is supposed to be dead. I doubt they would believe me, uh, or I believe my outlandish story. Even if I could convince them, I don't know if they would accept me with a stranger's face. Besides, I'm deep in the underworld. Deep enough to attract the kind of trouble that makes a man change his face. Despite being around me, those two could be in danger. It's better that I just watch them from a distance. Got ya. Man, now I'm really sorry I threw that ball back to your boy. Please don't worry about it. I'll wait for another opportunity. It's gotta be tough for you. Take care, huh? Thank you. You're the first person I spoke with truthfully since my face was altered. If you don't want my... Uh, if you don't mind, may I ask your name? It's Majima. Um, Yakuza. Die, motherfucker! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it would be nice if I could chat with you again sometime, Achimasan. Well, I should be going. What did you miss? Uh, well, so, as far as Yakuza goes, we're talking to this guy. Oh, also, Aaron Kuhn got really, uh, so he was simping for a girl. who was simping for somebody else. So she was, he was getting stuff for her, and it was actually for him, and that was fucked up. So we kicked his fucking ass. Uh, we fought Mr. Shakedown again and won. He was easier. And then we are doing this quest now where essentially, uh, sorry. There's this boy and girl over here. Or this boy and mom. Um, kid throws the ball over here to this weird dude who's been staring the entire time. Apparently, it's, uh, well, their husband and father. Uh, but because they were uh, involved in some Yakuza shenanigans... They had to get their face altered, and so... Some heavy... I'm so sorry, Sheeb! That's right. So, that's kind of where we're at, right? It's like a weird face-off scenario, I guess. I can only imagine it's gonna go horribly wrong, and we're gonna somehow help. Um... It'd be really cool to have it all tie in then. To have like I don't know, like have other It'd be interesting to see like have other side character uh adventurers that they meet along the way. Uh who have like personality and then as the story goes on, they become hollow. Well, you know, like like a shell themselves, and um you know. That'd be an interesting way to find out what was actually happening the entire time. But, but, everyone has 101 good ideas. 
I'm just saying, I love your sword to pieces. I always love it when, um, the big bad or, like, uh, a close friend has, like, secretly been the bad guy for a while. I will, I will. But anyway, Sunprise, welcome back, buddy. So, while we wait, let's do some, uh, whatchamacallit, karaoke. What do you guys think? All right, first come, first serve. What song are we playing? Wait for it. Wait for it. Do, 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 do. Uh, out of all these, Cinderella is the only one that has a good animated music video with it. Rogue of... Okay. Majima's kind of crazy with this song, by the way. I just wish uh, Songbird was here, because, I mean, they're talking about how their friend loved this song. Maybe talking a little bit less? No, that should be fun, actually. I can only imagine how the mini games develop throughout the series. Especially with like a dragon. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on the song. Uh, Sunpraiser, question for you. I think you said you were a D&D &D fan. What has what has been your favorite villain in D&D, &D, if you are? Rouge of love. Break my heart. of love. I'm waiting for the laugh. It's the best part of this. Here it comes. You know, Majima listens to the song all the time, right? Like, this is just constantly playing in his head. Which is why he's so crazy. Uh, eh, fair enough. Look, there's not much really... Fair enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, I think so. Golden Goat hasn't actually played any of the Yakuza games before. So this is like his first, uh, not this current uh, stream, but I think last night was his first time seeing some of Yakuza, I believe, maybe. So I hope you enjoy it, buddy. Okay, what do we got going on here? He's back. I'm subject of D&D, if you haven't played D&D before, because not, not a lot of people have, or have, or ha know of it, like it, but haven't actually, like, gone a full session yet. What's one, uh... That's an advanced board game that you like. One of my favorites that I haven't played in years was Arkham. I don't know why, but I fucking love that board game. Um... 
King of the Monsters was really good, too. Ah, fair enough. Well, don't forget, buddy, we're gonna play all of them on this stream. Eventually. Oh, also that weird sound is my money socks. They make money every time I walk. Hello, Majima-san. Spotting your family from afar like usual, I see. Don't seem to see your wife anymore, though. Yes, I, th I think she's at her part-time job. Okay. Hey, little boy, what's his name? It's Yusuke. Little Yusuke-kun looks bored being by himself. Oh. Akatani, why don't you go play with Yusuke? This sounds yeah. weird. Oh, uh, but who cares about your face? It shouldn't matter if you play with him as a total stranger. Yeah! Stranger playing with a little kid is a little weird. It's a little weird. Given, you know, it is actually his father with like a face change, but, but still, it's a little weird. <sighs> oh, for crying out loud. Come on, man. I'll go with you. Yeah. I don't know if I've asked any of you guys. I probably have a hundred times, so I apologize. But, has, has anyone watching any of the new stuff this anime season? Because... I started watching the season two of Devils of Part Timer, and it's strangely off-putting. I think it's because it's been like eight years since the first one came out, but the art style is completely different. Like as far as the character goes, I feel like I could be wrong, but it just seems way less quality. Also, new, uh, I think, new One Piece tonight, and Don Mashi, maybe. Hi, misters, what's up? Damn it, I ran up to this kid, but now what? What if I say, or what do I say to him? Want some candy? Yusuke Kuhn, come play with us. Huh? Uh, well, because I heard from this guy here. Where are you? Mm. Yusuke Kun, was it? What are you up to? I was watching these ants. Oh, God, he's bored. Well, what have you been watching, Golden, if you don't mind me asking? I think I asked you last night, though. Maybe. I feel like I did. But I guess I'm wrong. What do you watch? Is that fun? Not really. <sighs> what the heck? Yusuke-kun, do you play at this park a lot? Yep! My mom, if she's not working, and by myself, my mom has to work. Fair enough. Uh, let's see here. I finished the new Miss Marvel today. Have any of you guys seen the end of the new Miss Marvel? Because... There's a really... There's like two really weird scenes in there that I wanted to discuss, but I don't want to spoil it. But Sunpraiser, what are you watching? If you're watching anything as far as, you know, new stuff. Uh, let's see here. When my dad was here, he used to play with me, but he's gone now. Yusuke Kun, do you miss your father? Sure, I miss him. But I say that, my mom gets sad and lonely too. So I don't say I'm sad anymore. Uh, the music's pretty good. I will say this. I hated the first half. It wasn't bad. I just... The first two to three episodes are all high school shit. And I was like, alright, when do we get to the superhero shit? It does happen. But it, it takes a little bit of time to ramp up to that point. <laughs> Would it be okay if, if us old guys joined you so we can watch these ants together? Sure. Let's do that. 
Thank you. Mm-hmm. I have to go home now. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya. Thank you much, my son. You made it possible to spend time with my son. Yeah. I think maybe I forced it a little too much. Ha ha ha, you might be right. Thanks to you, I gotta be with my son. I couldn't be any happier. I have to be going to. Uh, Akatade's got work to do. See you, my son. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hmm. Uh-oh. Hey, you got some business with him? Uh-oh. What's with them? So, Smilk, if I can ask you a question. Uh, and this is mostly for my viewers on the VOD, or all you lovely people in chat right now. Uh, I know you do artwork. But, just so they know what you're currently doing and what you've been up to. Um, what's your current commission? Or art piece, at least. Unless you can't talk about it because of, like, uh, what is it? Customer co confidentiality. In which case, never mind. I just feel like it'd be good uh, for some of my followers to know. So that if they check you out, uh, I'll either shout it. Actually, while I'm at it, let me just shout you out again. One second here. I might have typed small shake instead. There. Uh, it's an emote and someone else's wants a character shoot. Haha, ha, personal piece though. I'm doing some fan art of Bear and Breakfast. Nah, no, no need to thank. It's important to help each other out in the Twitch community. So I, just in general, it's important to help each other out, but you know. That's right, there can only be one Moob. You may address me now as Moob Pwn, the one true leader of the Kobold Resistance. We'll overthrow the dragons. Like my... actually semi-competent brother, Noob Pwn. <laughs> nah, fuck off. Nah, fuck off. <laughs> well, you guys have it. I think I was hauling some of that last night, or seeing some of that last night, uh, the, the bear and breakfast. By the way, guys, it's really cute art. So if you watch this on VOD, uh, first of all, thank you guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. But check us out his work. It's really good stuff. It's pretty good stuff. So Sunpraiser. Last song was picked by Golden Goat. You get this song, buddy. Your choice. We did Rouge of Love last time. And the reason why we're doing this is because literally right outside is the quest we're doing, so... We have to kind of do, like, anything to get it started, so going to a building or anything like that works as well. Hmm. It's a hard choice. But when did you type on me as move? Was that last night? And also, it's a good thing to know that you do um, uh, emos and stuff, because since I'm fairly close to hitting that benchmark, uh, I need to look into that stuff. Really soon. Actually, Smokey, while you're here, 
You wouldn't happen to make widgets too, would you? I'm sure you have like a, a commission list, but. Haha! <laughs> um, point two. I generally go up uh, point one each uh, day now, if not point two. So. Yeah, probably in two days. Though, I'm going to wait a little bit to do it because I want to uh, sub a new bank account with it so that if I actually get like subs going. So I just don't want anything, you know, stupid to happen. And it's like, ah, oh, yes, it's traced back to all this bull bullshit. I think widgets are the channel art. Like, um... I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm not the most technical savvy. But I'm pretty sure widgets are, like, the things that come... Like, when you get, like, a follow or a subscription and it's, like, the little animations, like those... I think those are widgets. Oh, are they not? I I think so. I'm. I'll be honest, guys. I'm a bit of a moron. And also, some producer, what song should we play? I'm waiting for your response. Otherwise, gold's getting it again. I know what panels are. <laughs> That's why I didn't say panels. <laughs> Alright. I've done it before, by the way. Uh, Golden Goat, if you're there, you should love this one. Ooh, fuck that part. This song always fucks me up because every time I get to the point where it like has the entire animated background going on, I always focus on that. And not on the button presses because Majima's fucking fantastic. He's so crazy and like been through so much shit and somehow super flamboyant and like just awesome. Like, Majima somehow bounces, like, the idea of being, like, a really wholesome guy with just being absolutely fucking crazy in a way that I can't even describe. Breakfast. I love breakfast. It's the best food in the world. Well, the best meal in the world. Uh, let's see. City is then. Yes. Uh, I'm a simp for Smilky. Mm. I see. I see. Uh, I'm, a, I'm here just power washing an all boathouse. I have never... Wait, are you actually power washing or are you playing power washer simulator? Just to make sure. I'll play it again, Walk. How about that? Welcome back, Wolk. How is this? How is the sports? <laughs> Especially everyone went to the stadium. <laughs> All right, here you go, Wolk. I love you. Love me. Uh, 
do 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 and go but here's a question for you Sun Praiser who are you a bigger simp for the kobold or the teddy bear joking by the way Anyone else kind of craving like breakfast now, or is it just me being weird? I mean, probably me being weird, but like, I'm jealous now. Alright, well, this is just for you, buddy. I imagine I'm going to be in here at least two more times before this mission's over. Step and go. Cinderella. Hey, hey, hey. Got the song. Uh, let's see. I hope you all enjoyed it. Alright, back to the main quest. I see, I see. Fair enough. To be fair, he is absolutely adorable. Question for you, Walk. Okay. Does Australia have their, like, a regional sport? Not like, uh, you know, like, I'm sure they have, like, X, Y, and Z sports, right? But do they have a sport only found in Australia? Or native to Australia? Um, excuse me? Hmm? What's up? This lady. Right, she's the wife of uh, Akatiani. The guy who got his face al altered. Is it different than normal football? What, 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 what's the change? Are we talking football like, like American football? Or are we talking football like, like soccer football? Have you seen a little boy here? He would have been alone. A little boy? You mean Yusuke-kun? Yes, that's right. But how did you know that net? Or how did you know that name? Um, well, actually, I got to be friends with your boy and play with him the other day. Oh, I see. Have you, uh, have you seen him today? I came to get him, but he's not here like he's supposed to be. Hmm. Can't say I have. Uh... Okay, so can you describe it then? Oh, I found his ball just lying here. I'm positive he was here earlier. That's worrying. I'll keep an eye out for him. Haha, <laughs> that's what you did there. Yes, please. I'll keep looking around here. Mm hmm. I would describe what I imagine Australian football to be, but it's kind of, like, very clearly not what it's actually about. And way sillier than it should be. Mm -hmm. Hey there, Yusuke-kun. Your mom's looking for you. Mister! Something wrong? Some scary people came when I was playing in the park. Scary people? Oh. Yep, they tried to take me away, so I ran away and came here. What? Where? What were they like? They're big and scared. They kept calling me Akatani's brat. Akatani's brat? I mean, the guy who got his face changed? They're on to him. 
Chikun, your mom's waiting for you at the park. We gotta get you back to her. I'll keep you safe, alright? I want you to know, I have almost next to no idea how football works in America. Yeah. So. Let alone, uh, England. So. I'm going to just imagine more aggressive football. Okay. <gasps> true facts. True facts. The only football I know is specifically from the game Blood Bowl, which is a Warhammer game. Which am I playing tomorrow? Oh, right. Wolk, you, you weren't here earlier. Uh, so, Wolk, on Sundays, I'm doing uh, video game test days, so I'm still deciding what I want to do, but tomorrow I might be playing in the afternoon uh, Warhammer 3, Little War. I'm thinking maybe Dungeons 3, maybe Dungeon Keeper 1 for you for a bit. Um, stuff like that. Wolk, we can't all live in the future, okay? Akatani, have you seen your, I mean, Yusuke's mom around here? Yeah. No, I, I haven't. I just got here myself. Is there a problem? Mm. We'll see. Nah. Hey, Akatani. Where are you people? Oh. Ah. Mom. Yusuke. Mm. You're famous for being a lone wolf. No ties, no weaknesses. It wasn't easy trying to find out how we could get to you. But our diligence paid off. After following you around, we noticed you're t uh, taking a lot of interest in these two. Uh -huh. No, tell me what? What am I missing here, guys? Are you out of your mind? I don't know those people. <laughs> oh, then it won't be bothering you if we rough them up. Mom! Uh -huh. Stop. No family history and no friends or lovers. You kept yourself invulnerable, you stone-cold snake. Who would have thought you'd have this uh, chink in your armor? Whoa! If you don't want to see this bitch die, take that knife and kill yourself. So if you keep doing what you're doing, our business keeps taking hits we can ill afford. That said, if word got out that we dealt with our, you ourselves, it would complicate how we do business. So, let's sell this uh, amicably. You go ahead and kill yourself, then it's got nothing to do with us, see? By the way, Wolk, would you like to see some more Evil Genius 2 tonight? Cool. I probably will. Uh, what's wrong? It's a great two-for-one deal. You get to save both the bitch and the brat in return uh, for your life. Doesn't get any better than that. You promise? Sure. Because I'm probably going to start playing it in about 10 minutes here. Hey. This woman say you're going to uh, spare. Who might that be? What? You got numbers, but you take a hostage anyway, and you're too chicken to get blood on your hands. Huh? If that ain't the textbook definition of cowardly, then I'm rewriting the dictionary. Huh? That's not happening. When a job needs doing, I guess it's best to just get it done yourself. Uh? You're up first, you meddling asshole. I think the dude... So, he must be like a one of their bosses who like got out or something. And you're dead. I guess now that I think about it, today is technically Sunday at like 3 in the morning. What's well, Sunprise? You don't understand? Wolk is like in the fu- Wolk is like in the future? It's like Sunday evening for him right now or some shit, or afternoon. Okay, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. You're really one hit away. Really? Hmm. 
Hmm, you took all us alone. Damn. Are you actually? Like, actually, actually? Really? He is Aussie. Yeah, I think Wolk lives in the future. Yes, he's Aussie. You boys seem to have the wrong impression, so let me set you straight. The lady and the kid are strangers to Akatani. Th that's a lie, and you know it. <laughs> if you want to believe me now, I suppose I'll have to do a better job of convincing you. Maybe permanently? I don't care either way, but it's your call, so make it. Uh, uh, I, I believe you. I believe... To ever touch an innocent civilian again. If you do, I will hunt you, I will find you, and I will end you. Got it, never again. Mercy, uncle. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, Woke lives in the future. Yeah, it's probably like three or four for Woke right now, or five. You sure can bring the menace out in your voice. Haha, <laughs> YOLO! Sorry, I'm an idiot. It's six? It's 6 p.m. for him. It's 3 a.m. for me. That's what, 15 hours? No, wait. 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 No. Wait. No. Yes. No. 13 hours. Wait. No. Guys, I'm tired. Hold, let me do it a second. One second. I gotta do the math in my head now. Embarrassing myself. No, it's 15 hours. I was right the first time. Uh, let's see here. Mom! Yusuke. Yeah. Talk to him. Hi. Yeah. I'm sorry to go through that. It's all because of me. Y you're the man who's always in the park. I'll never show my face around you again. If you could please forgive me. Mister? Thank you for protecting us from those bad people. Yuko, please take care of Yusuke. Pardon? Yusuke, from now on, you protect your mom. You got that? Y yes Okay, take care. Majima san, here, this is for saving Yuko, and it's pretty, I'm sure it's a weapon, right? A Sakura Storm. Ooh, baby. Um, that man, is he? Okay, do you know him? No, but... Uh... Mister! Yeah, he knows. He knows, that's his son. Or he knows that's his dad. Let's play catch again sometime. He just took the ball? Haha, <laughs> it's mine now, kid. What are you saying, Sunpraiser? Damo Yono? What? What's happening here, guys? Alright, well, we took it for about seven hours. We're still going for another two. Uh, again, sorry for no off-screen stream today, guys. But probably one tomorrow. I mean, probably, man, we're having one tomorrow. So, 87 It's got 87 million. Sorry, it's just so much money, I, I couldn't speak anymore. Uh, real quick, real quick, real quick. It's got 87 million? Well, guys, it's time for me to die. Eh? 
187 fucking million. Are you serious? Nah, look, I'm sorry, old man. That fucker's got 87 million. There is a new very rich, too. Where'd he go? Where the fuck did he go? Guys, where did he go? All right, first off, he's gotta go first. No! Get me out of here! We read this a couple of nights ago. I think it was last night when I was uh, crashing anyway. So basically, I think they're tax. He's taxing them, uh, and they're pissed. I guess the Shadow Whelm. No! Fend for yourself, God damn it! Eighty-seven million. Where is it? Hold on, guys. I have to find him before we play Evil Genius Two. I have to find him. Just no, no, no. Fuck off. How do my bat against your face compels you? Fuck off. He's, he's got to be somewhere, right? It's got to be her somewhere. I will find him. And I will kill him. Alright, here we go. Hey, buddy. Not you again. Got your luck at shaking me down for cash. So Timbori is great, isn't it? There's so much to do. Your money's gonna go, go. Your money's gone before you know it. So yeah, give me yours. All I'm giving you is a beating, friendo. Get lost. Aren't you forgetting something? I went too easy on you last time. Things are gonna be different today. That's so. Well, come on then. Show me what you got. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yo, that fucking soccer storm. Oh my god, that's nice. He ain't got shit, guys. Come on. Believe. Believe in the kobold. Let's try the bat. Bat, couldn't we need you? Come on, Bat Coon, I believe. Ooh, Bat Coon. Hold on. Okay. Fucking two good guys. Fuck. Now that was a bitch slap. Oh 
no. All right. <laughs> I'm not beating him. Right this instant. So guys, that was from Yakuza Zero. We'll be playing more tomorrow as usual. Uh, well, we'll see where tomorrow takes us. We're playing a new games tomorrow. Um, we'll be playing some Evil Genius Two. If you haven't played it before or know about it, it's essentially a uh, strategy building game, I guess, where you basically are a James Bond villain. And you put up a layer and stuff like that. It's fun. I recommend it. Uh, if you have Xbox uh, or PC Game Pass, it is technically free. Technically. You know, on top of the 15 uh, a month pay. So, let's see here. Evil Genius 2. The Rise of Kobold Tyranny. Golden Goat and uh, Smoke, have you guys played this game before? It's not on yet. Of course, I'm setting it all up real quick. I know Wolk absolutely loves this game. Okay, well I'll show you the I'll show you the basics then while we're doing stuff. I'm kind of I think later game. Give me one second while it sets it all, uh, itself up. Let's see here. Yeah. I've never seen the first one. I've heard it's really good. Nice, nice. Grats, Milky. Yeah, Golden Goat's a fantastic person. He's, uh, or there, sorry. Uh, wonderful to talk to. And since you were new to D&D, or at least on your first campaign, if you have any questions, I'll definitely say talk to them as well. Because they're also a D&D nerd, like I am. Okay, and I can do the capture now. Sorry for the wait, guys. Let's see here. Nope, there we go. Okay, it's captured. So it looks a little bit bare bones right now because I'm kind of rearranging everything. But essentially, uh, you have a secret layer, uh, a bunch of different construction things you can make. Uh, there's one of these two rooms or these three rooms here are empty, and a lot of these rooms are like not made. It's because I've moved them all downstairs. So like all my training rooms are here. Professor Dodo. Oh, he's. Backwards. Let's let's turn him around. What do you mean a minion is asserting? Hold on. Where the fuck did they go? What is happening? Can I add anything for that? Hold on. Let me pause it. Uh, let's see here. Casino uh, decor. Anything for smarts? Nothing, huh? Eh, alright. So as far as hold on, let's capture you. That minion must be captured. As far as right now, we're kind of remodeling the first floor to be all traps and shenanigans like that. And then we are also... The hell's going on this floor? Oh, some deserters. I see, I see. I want that minion taken in alive. 
Uh, we're also going on the world map right now. We're trying to make a deal with, I'm pretty sure, Rumpelstiltskin. Uh, we keep giving him minions for, in the hopes he gives us a uh, spinning wheel to make gold. Uh, and it's just kind of shenanigans. So far, we have a kaiju egg, King Tut, uh, lots of shinies, um, the Declaration of Independence, so we now rule the free world. Let's reduce some more heat. And Golden Goat, so I didn't put the first one before. Uh, as far as games in the genre go, I've played this one specifically and Dungeons 3. Uh, and thanks to Wolk being an awesome uh, friend, I also have Dungeon Keeper 1 to play. So my question for you then, which which one's better, uh, Evil Genius 1 or 2? Well, we're waiting on it. Okay, now, just so I can, like, worry about it later. Let's move this. And let's uh, cave all this in. A scheme has succeeded. Scheme, you say? This has gone on long enough. You're an evil genius. You don't buy things, you take them. So take the remaining piece of the spinning wheel and get to spinning gold. I have heard that one story is better. Let's, uh... Let's just make this into a room so we can access that. Okay, the last wheel. Are we going to just steal it this time? Where's the wheel? Found it. Uh, oh, shit. So one of the troubles in this game, there are secret agents. And they can kind of fuck your world up. Really easily. Oh, I need more mercenaries? Really? Really? Huh. Oh well. So, right now, any more mercenaries? Uh, mercenaries, if you haven't played this game before, are minion type. There's a bunch, like a, like a lot, lot, or, well, I guess there's 13. You have four for science, four for deception, and four for muscle. And muscle are like guards and stuff. Um, science as well, science and shit. And if you're uh, an entrepreneuring mad scientist like I am, you could also just capture some of your enemies and bring them to the massage parlor to get their wrinkly brains polished, smooth, and pliable so they can join your workforce. Okay, he is healing. Never mind. Okay, anyone else? Oh, we have a few prisoners. Good, 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 good. Um. Sunpraiser, have you played this game before? Or any games in this genre? You've just caught me between strikes of my hammer. Sure, sure, Wrecking Bola. Sure, sure. Maybe next time you can make it past the front door. And then we'll talk. Ignore that minion. Hmm. We brainwashed the prisoner into joining our cause. Good, good. We got a martial artist out of it? That's fucking awesome. So it's, it's really nice doing the uh, prisoner stuff. Well, first off, they're more likely to desert you if it goes wrong. However, 
Um, they let you skip uh, certain stages of training, let's say. So, like... Let's say you want a hitman or a martial artist. You have to have a worker trained to be a guard, and then have a guard trained to be a mercenary, and then the mercenary can train to be either of these two. Same thing with deception, uh, though it's kind of like worker, valet, that you go socialite, or spin doctor to counter agent, and, you know, likewise. And they all have the pros and cons. Well, not really cons, but pros. Though, um, cost is a huge factor. Uh, so, Golden Goat. I don't know the name of it, but if you don't want to ever, if you want to watch the VODs, um, I'd say about a week ago I was playing this game, and I managed to have 300 minions, and I ran out of money because I was building shit up, and I was in a death spiral for like three hours. It was brutal. There were actually thousands of bodies. Because they kept dying. Uh, and that, of course, would lower the morale. I had to keep buying guards who would just die instantly, of course, because they're workers. Not guards, workers. And... You could not see the floor on my first floor at all. It was actually littered with bodies. It was terrifying. And everything was on fire. And everyone kept attacking, and it was just pure fucking chaos. Also, I had this entire prison full of agents, so when shit hit the fan, they all broke free, and I had like a 30-strong army in my base, so that was also a nightmare. One of my viewers, Zelf, uh, is a big fan of this game, and he said he had never seen it ever happen before, ever, that horribly. So, we have captured an agent. It was. It was horrifically beautiful. It was just three hours of me being like, it can only get better. It can only get better. <laughs> As things progressively somehow continue to get worse. Somehow. Let's get some more minions. Just like you've been trained, Agent Steel. Oh, yay, it's Agent Steel, my favorite. Oh, boy. Fun. Well, while we're waiting for uh, mercenaries to accumulate a little bit more, let's get to work on some of this shit. So, first off, let us sell all this shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's head downstairs. Let's head even further downstairs. Do I have room for, uh... Well, actually, I might. Some power. Can I just add a bunch of those, uh... Keep forgetting the name of them every fucking time. Capacitors. Which are handy, because when the power goes out, and it... It does on... Occasion. Unfortunately. Uh, these will keep the power going for just a little bit longer. For each one. Also, Golden Goat, who's your favorite villain? Or genius, my bad. Yeah, both the same thing. And you too, Sunpraiser, if you don't want me asking. I know Wolk's only seen uh, Maximilian, because that's who I'm playing right now, so... 
I haven't played the DLC yet because I'm, you know, playing on the... The Xbox Store is kind of a piece of shit sometimes. It's like, oh, this game's included with DLC for free. And it's like, yeah, just kidding. So that was kind of a suck moment. But what are ocean stages? Because I think the DLC uh, genius comes with, a, with an ocean stage pack. So how does that work? Are in combat. Is it like... Is it like a world map thing, or is it like uh, where you build thing? Ooh, one more. It's the final comparator, compactor. Capacitor. Do 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 do. A trap has been triggered. Anything else I need to remove from here? Does not really seem so. We can, however, move all this. Maybe I should put a... Interesting. Ooh, that sounds fun. That's how your minions dress. Ah, uh, fuck no you. Wonder Agent Steel prevailed. Fuck you, Penny Foxworth. Fuck you. That agent has perished, but there are plenty more where they came from. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Where is Maximilian? Yes. Yes. Buddy, let's get you... Where are we getting you? Where are the mercenaries? A trap has been triggered. Martial artist. No. Hitman. Guard. This is martial artist. This is Hitman. Okay. But anyway, as as uh, as I was about to say, the one thing I really wish that this game had more of was buildings, because I feel like they give you way too much room. Like, way too much room. Which is kind of why I'm doing all these building shenanigans, because I'm trying to find a use for all this room. Trap has been triggered. Oh, I bet it has. You guys keep triggering the traps, they're all gonna be power bottoms. How many times do I have to say this? Sell that one as well. Cave this in. So, idea wise, I'm making the entire bottom floor, or the basement floor is gonna be like. A lot of the big shit, like, uh, crew quarters and all their shit. Um, first floor is gonna be, uh, incinerator room, prison, security, infirmary, and just nothing but traps. I do? Hmm. I think they just added for free on the Xbox Store. Or Game Pass, at least. One second. Yes, Power Washer Simulator. Hmm. 
Hmm, fair enough. Is it fun or just relaxing? Justice. Well, how much right out then? As I said earlier, my Sundays are becoming uh, my trout game days, I guess. That Trial days? I don't know. I'm trying to think of a name for it still. Maybe. I'll, um... An agent has been captured. I'll give it a go. Sorry, I'm stepping out for a second An to miss someone. That minion must be ignored. We have captured an agent. Yeah, I'll give it a try. I never liked most of the sim games. Like, I liked, like, you know, silly shit like Goat Simulator or something like that. But as far as something like, uh... Like, uh... Farming Simulator? Or, like, Euro Truck? Eh, it's not my... Aesthetic, to say the least. I will, though. I'll give it a try. I'll probably play it for a little bit tomorrow. How how big is the game, like, download-wise? Because I have about 100 gigs left on my computer. <laughs> I imagine it's like a, like a 15 to 20. Hmm, fair enough. Hmm. Hey, what are you up to, Sun Praiser? Besides praising the sun. <clears throat> Even though too much better. How do I want to do this? A minion has been captured. So I'm trying to make my uh, airs look a little bit nicer while I'm doing all this. I think I should probably go see if I have enough mercenaries now, because I probably do. Do I have traps right there? I do, I do. Right there we'll do though. So let's go one, two, three, four. Just open these up real quick. Try to make it look a bit nicer or more interesting, at least. More villainous, if you will. And probably failing. So, if I go to the world map, am I good to go on this? Wait. 
Yes! I can buy some more, boys. More guys and gals and them in between pals. And now! Oh, it takes time for them to get there. That's right. Did I buy five millions when I had only had room for one? Because that's kind of what I feel like just happened. Mm -hmm. Taunting adversary. Is it really? I see potential within you. Faster, faster, faster. That might be a fun game to stream with my followers. Hmm. You suck enough into the what uh into this wheel deal. Use your technology to trace the origin points of the letters you've received, and send a team of your minions to steal the last piece of the spinning wheel. But what if Iris was to full heal? But then what, guys? I mean, not full heal, but, you know, heal. I have no idea what they're doing still. Anyway... So, Golden Goat, what is your favorite uh, room to build in this game? Mine's kind of the hallways because of all the traps and shenanigans you can do. I'm also a fan of... Uh... Nice. One second. Salaries paid. Cave these in a little bit. Uh, vaults, 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 vaults. I'm also a fan of the shiny, so of course, vaults. Okay, this is 238,000, that's fine. I thought it was 2 million, I was like, uh oh, hold on. Okay, let's add rogues to the money. So let's get a laser door there. Let's remove all these corners. Sorry. May have tapped my microphone. My bad. Let's turn that back into a vault. Uh, I had a bit, but I do love the evil genius inner sanctums. Are they actually? So I've only played this. Uh, this is my first playthrough. It's got like 80 hours. So. Haven't done a second playthrough. I don't know if I will, but I have not yet.
Got a corner there and there. There and there. Let's see here. Uh, so I know somebody's told me, I think it was Zelf or Gig, uh, that essentially each villain, uh, besides like their, you know, abilities, just is aesthetically a little bit different. But I don't think it actually was like the layer. I thought it was just like their outfits or something like that. So that's cool. I dig that. It's awesome. In theory, this should be the biggest pain in the dick for all the rogues out there. Do they? I know you can click on them, it's like a little bit of backstory, but do they actually have like their own story missions? I think I heard that the doomsday weapons are different per each villain as well, so that makes sense. Really? Okay, we'll get all that built real quick. Um, am I in, am I taking this part or not? Okay, there we go. What is it? When is this gonna happen? I want to finish this mission. And your correspondent isn't happy. Went back on the deal. He sent along some familiar faces to deal with you. Sorry, I had a cough. <clears throat> so he's sending some brainwashed goons to beat me, huh? Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's add... Like this. Let's see here. We can add a staircase. It is. It's really... Is anywhere accessible for that? I guess I can move the rock. Where do I move the rock to? Yeah, that'll do. Oh, uh, what do it like this? Can I fit? A staircase in here. Almost. Hmm. Your minions are in combat. Is there nowhere I could put an extra staircase up front? Oh, look, it's the brainwashed goons. Let's take them out, boys. All right, scrap that idea then. Scrap it. Okay, the new question. What is your favorite um, minion type? 
Not because they do X, Y, or Z, just because of the way they look. Like, aesthetically. Okay, let's... Something like this. We captured a minion. My favorite minion type uh, is the biologist. They're just a little extra crazy, and I love it. Mm-hmm. I like the... Uh, the I forgot what the final one's called, but those guys are great. The quantum scientists, I think. But, like... I... I don't know. Okay, fine. Good question. Which one's more, uh, extra? The quantum, uh, scientists or the biologists? The, uh, technicians hate their lives, so they're just always, like, depressed, unfortunately, but... Has been triggered. An intruder has been captured. Good, good. We have captured an intruder. I'm trying to figure out how I want to arrange this. An intruder has been captured. I could also do one of these. Wait, which minion have you not seen yet? The quantum scientist or the uh, what should we call biologist? Sorry. Then I will find one real quick for you to see. Salaries paid. Let's remove those. It's more than enough beds for now. So, let's see here. Uh, where's my science lab? I have one here. So, that's a quantum scientist right there. And then as far as biologists go, we have, I think it's second floor, it is. The thing is most of my scientists are done because I have all the research done. A trap has been triggered. But yeah, there's the quantum scientists. Or, sorry, quantum chemists. Where are my biologists though? Eating lunch? Um. Uh, where are my biologists? I have biologists, right? Has been triggered. I have ten somehow. Oh, they're out doing missions. Actually, I, I could do it like that. Anyway, hold on. So, biologist, quantum chemist. We got a new prisoner. They're all great, but like, I don't know. It's also because the biologists have like a like jar of like man-eating plants as like their training area, or the kaiju egg. 
Both of which are fucking awesome. I want that in I want that intruder found and killed. Killed them. Why is that intruder still alive? Why not kill them? Are they desperately trying to break in and my men are just so uncaring that they're not even doing anything? I order you to locate and kill that intruder. They're fucking wonderful. So as you can see, I have this entire cobalt death hallway. And here come the army. Well, Golden Goat, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight, mate. It was a pleasure to have you. Hope you enjoyed some of the Yakuza uh, and some of the uh, Eugenius too. Um, hopefully tomorrow's not such, such a long day. Even it's crossed for you. So it's a pleasure to have you in here, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Um, and if you want tomorrow, we'll talk more in D. Tomorrow we'll talk more D and D. So. Take it easy, buddy, and I'll be seeing you around. The bees! My soldiers just don't care. Oh, wait, there they are. We have captured an intruder. More awake than, uh, oh, well, good night. Good night, buddy. Make sure you get plenty of rest. My henchmen are always in combat, Iris. You're one of them. You're kind of in a constant state of combat. It's kind of the name of the game, really. Get the spin doctors going. What else we got here? More counter agents going, which is all the heat. And let's spend the intel. Maybe it doesn't get rid of the money. It will, but maybe it doesn't. A scheme has succeeded. It did. If you haven't played this game before, guys, uh, what heat is is it's you know it's like um, the, the the police, the governments, all that stuff. It's the heat. Let's see here. And essentially, you, uh, you, well, you don't want it. Because the more you have, the more likely you are to be attacked by enemies, uh, or have stronger enemies attacking, or any of that stuff like that, so. Now, where did that newest prisoner get? Wait, is that one of my scientists? Oh, I see. The brainwashed goons. Yes, yes. See, that makes sense. This minion needs to be ignored. Please all my minions from prison. I command so the reason why I have minions in here in prison, if you haven't played this game before, is simple. Uh, essentially, uh, there's morality and smarts and stuff like that. Uh, and if it gets too low, they will freak Everybody the fuck out and desert my, uh, well, my evil empire. So we like to uh, give them a nice comfy cell to cool off in. I do kind of need to get more minions uh, available. So let's see here. All the brainwashed guys, you guys can go uh, to the torture chamber and give me some intel. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Do I actually need more power? Do I actually need more power? Really? Fascinating. Um. What they say? What in rum? Do a 26 by 26. And we'll also just clear this out while we're at it. 
Not enough gold to complete this construction. And we'll do that for now. And let's cancel this entirely because it's almost payday and I don't want another revolution in my hand. Or my hands. Uh, because last time that happened, I was on Death Spiral for hours. For fucking hours. You guys are spinning a wheel now. Find a way to update the tech for the modern age so it can fit the needs of an evil genius like you. Really? Task complete. Let's put our own spin on it and resign this money-making machine. Sure. Honestly, I'm kind of low on cash, so I'm fine with more cash. An intruder has been captured. We'll fast forward a little bit. And let's see here. You can be doctor into our army. You can be tortured for into. Ah, I always want more guards. Miss Mary Constant. Uh, you can also join Florian. A scheme has succeeded. And Sabine. An intruder has been captured. Oh, the joys of the fast forward button. Salaries paid. And we're almost halfway done our research, guys. So then we should, in theory, have uh, Rumpelstiltskin, uh, Rumpelstiltskin's uh, gold spinning wheel. So, or gold for the Doomsday weapon. Speaking of gold. Maximilian, you can go rest in your big wood chair. It's like triple his size. It's adorable. And while we're waiting on that to be completed, since it's almost done, um, no one comes in like wrecking Bola. That's what she said. Ooh, X is here. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want X to give it to you. We did it! Huzzah! So what do we get? I'm guessing it's money-based, right? Uh, Rumpelstiltskin's wheel. One day someone may ask for your firstborn, and until then you can spend as much gold as you like. Just it'll take a little while. Okay, so let's add that, I guess, to um, the vault, right? Uh, no. Yes. Is anything the perfect shape for this? Hmm? Is it actually too big? Oh, because it blocks. I see. Perfection. We'll give that some time. We do have a lot of cash, though, right now. Or at least a good bit of it. Yeah, what's happening with my traps now? Stop triggering them. For real, we don't need more power bottoms, guys. We don't. Get out of here. I like how my technician is just getting swole. Good job, madam. Olivia Peck. Fear of dogs. Okay. While that's going, though, let's move some shit around here. So this is the multi-gym. They're both multi-gyms. Cool. We also have the Super Serum Machine. You'd love to see it. Let's add an Omni checkup. 
Madam, you keep saying it, and you keep losing at the front Trap door. Another Omni checkup. And we'll add some more shit here in a second. But now, at the very least, when shit hits the fan, and it does, and it will, uh, we can actually uh, heal people. So as far as... Thank you, Iris. Actually, good point, Iris. Let's make that money. That's fine. We have four or six room. Too darn hot or keep calm and carry. And I say... Your defenses are formidable, but not enough to keep your enemies away from your lair. You need a defense innovation that will test the stomach of even the toughest hero. You've decided to use the stench of, uh, to com- wait. Oh, if you decided to use the power of stench to combat your enemies, get your team to work researching the most, or the worst odors in the world, so you can weaponize the worst of the worst. Hmm, yes, yes. I summoned you here so you could explain your failure to keep enemy agents away from my... What is that stench? Oh, what is it, Maximilian? Tell me. A durian. Ooh. I had just had some for lunch right before you called me in. As for the defense breaches, I admit, I... That smell, it's foul. I can't even concentrate on the matter at hand. I... Interesting. I'm sorry. I'll never eat another durian. I'll go back to tuna sandwiches. Honest. Not much better. This is what I need. Something horribly odorous. If it affects me this badly, think of what it will do to them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, the forces of justice have no chance. There's only one true power in this world, and that is it is that of the kobolds. An intruder has been captured. Very good, Iris. Bring them to the chambers all right welcome to the team welcome to the team complimentary goodie bags and gift baskets for all of those new hires getting their brains washed for the first time Real quick, let me, mention some, uh, let me mention somebody in Discord real quick. We have captured an agent. Good, good. Brainwashing successful. A prisoner has resisted our brainwashing. What? How? Oh, we're out of room. A prisoner. The one thing I wish this game had a little differently was, um, An agent has been captured. more minion room. An agent has been subdued and captured. So let's move the sarcophagus over to the, uh, infirmary. We have captured an agent. Because I'm sure that increases everyone's health. We could put the meditation stone. I'm not sure, actually. An agent has been subdued and captured. I don't know if it's smarts or morale. Ugh. What if I move this like a little bit? What? But how? But how? But how? There, I did somehow, fuck it. That way they can relax more. Party more, we got the fucking flying pig. Our little arcade. I like how he's posing to be painted and no one is interested. They're like just walking by. She's half a wizard. Eh. My fucking team, guys. Oh. Right, research. 
You decided to use the power of stench to combat your enemy. Uh, okay. Figured that part. Search has begun. In the meantime. In the meantime. No. Fuck that eight shit. Fuck Agent Steel. That shit sucks. There's gotta be some money I can make somewhere on the map. There's gotta be. There's gotta be, right, guys? Surely there's money to make on the map. Really? Well, fuck. All right, never mind. Uh, well, research is coming along. Let's speed it up a little bit. And I guess let's uh, work on power. A trap has been triggered. Thank you, Iris. Let's see here. I think we had it 26 by 26. And now we can actually afford to do it without losing all our minions. Yeah! Excitement! We'll just do that for now and hope by the time we actually get to, you know, this being carved out, we can actually plant uh, the turbines and fission generators the down. Has been In the meantime, though, we actually can add one or two, so. Ooh, so close, so close. Oh, I can? Oh. Never mind, I take it back. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna wait a little bit until, like, payday, maybe, or at least until the uh, current commitments are done, because I don't want to fuck up my minions, because, again, last time I did that, it was a death spiral for hours. And I'm not joking, like, if you guys want to watch it, it's on the VODs on YouTube. It, it was, it was... Boy, howdy, it was something. Okay, so it's going to cost me 326,000. We have 626,000, so... At most, it's been 300k. We're at 120k, we can keep building. Only a little bit more. And that's all we can do for now. And the research is 60% done. Guys, we're almost there. Let's find a way to weaponize the power of smell. Hope everyone out there is having a fantastic evening, by the way. Hmm. You know what I should probably build in here, actually, just right now? How about how big is one of these? Uh, it is in the lab. Where's the lab? Salaries paid. New research. Maybe? An agent has escaped captivity. Oh, it's fine, Iris. So, can I just plop one of these down? We have captured an agent. This is a lab, right? Yes. Well, at least it was a lab. Uh, let's see here. Items. 
And the reason why we want one of these, by the way, is because it lets us build um, way faster down here. Oof. Hold on. Yeah, maybe in there. Maybe in there. Because essentially to build anything in this game, your minions have to kind of... Um, there we go. Uh, your minions kind of have to uh, run up and down stairs over and over and over and over and over again to... Uh, get to the helipad because all your like building let me stop fast forwarding all your building shit actually comes from haha <laughs> think you can escape well he's dead actually uh, also if you build comes from this building right here the helipad unless you have a fabricator so real quick we need some DNA samples that's eh, fine uh, if we say the blur, blur, bone is the smiliest cheese in the world. Have your men's pose as waiters at all the finest eateries in Paris and make off with the city's entire supply. I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to do it. But she's kind of fucking me over with I this one. Stop until my enemy is dead. I'm sure. Uh, Sabres Regional Soccer Championship are happening right now. That means that for the next week, Sabre Turf is... Sabre Turf is the world capital of smelly used socks. Have your minions acquire the choice of set, uh, specimens. So we have the stinkiest cheese. And the smelliest socks. Okay, okay. And what's the third ingredient to the stankiest weapon known to mankind? New York creates a... <laughs> of course... New York is a truly uh, awe-inspiring amount of garbage. Have your agents uh, form, oh, foment a strike of sanitation workers so you can harvest the essence of all the uncollected garbage after it's baked in the sun. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. Let's do it. And if I can, as soon as that's done, let's, let's, let's get that going, you know? All right, all right, all right, all right. What else we got here? Let's go back to the bottom floor. Right. Bottom floor. And where are they? Let's add some more generators. Because 763 power goes real quick. If you uh, have never played this game before, power is like the biggest cuck of it. Trap has been Unfortunately, I'm not joking. Okay, so that should add uh, about what? This is 40 each, so eh, close to 400 plus a little bit of extra. Uh, actually, if we're going to do that, let's just move this over. Yeah. Now, with that done, let's see here. Let's add some decor while we for the missions to be done. I know you did, Olga. I know you did. I came here to find a real child. Will you give it to me or not? Sorry, Olga, that costs extra. Is that, is that lined up right? Yeah, it is. I'll start fucking with my agents here in a second. Whoa. What is this? Oh, it's a coat rack. If that's the truth, Olga, then fine. 
I, uh, I'll be honest, I like Olga the least. She's just kind of annoying. Just a little bit. So, if you were uh, curious what I'm doing right now, all these little uh, things I'm tossing down right now, uh, basically, we'll either reduce the loss of smarts or vitality while Somebody's fucking around here. And as long as, like, one of these pinks is touching that machine, if they're on that machine, it's just working. But if I add, like, uh, let's see here, this as well, they're both an effect, I think, I think. But, let's add more, uh, beds. You love to hear it. No, not my minions. But which one was it? An agent has been May I tell you otherwise? Every evil genius has a favorite minion. Period. We have captured an agent. I would reveal mine, but odds are if I do, um, an agent they will die. An agent. Okay, so we lost a lot of minions because they did a lot of bullshit. So, Velma Puddles, welcome to the team. And you two, Andreas, or An Andre? Andre, I think. Jake from State Farm. Uh, you can be uh, dissected. Welcome to the team, one and all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You will now obey your overlord, King Dazzy, Lord of all kobolds. Kick, 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 kick. The fires are getting out of control. By the way, she says the fires are out of control. There's nothing actually on fire. It's my flamethrower uh, wall trap. It's kind of annoying because whenever it activates. The fires are almost under control. Yeah, I bet they are, Iris. I bet they are. All little... fires have been extinguished. Thank you, Iris. It's a little annoying. Successful. On the bright side, we freed up a lot of room for our minions. And prisoners. But for real, what's the difference at this point? Leave that minion alone. Uh oh. Give him the condiments. Has given us their I like how she walks out like, mm, yes, interesting. Eh, I die. I think it was Zelf who told me, but apparently you can actually get your uh, evil genius down here to like help break morale faster. Let me see if I can find him. What to do? We'll be here soon, I imagine. Take a worker. Yeah. An intruder has given us their secrets. Good, good. You know, every now and then I think, maybe too many jail cells. And then I realize, nah, not really. One stench sample came in a little later than the others, and it smells promising. I bet it does. Analyze the day, uh, its DNA and discover its source. If I have to, but, you know, okay. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit then. Also, where's Max? Oh, there's Max. Hold on. Get him, little guy! Give it time. Imagine, imagine being called into the office like, all right, we want you to, you know, make all these villainous, you know, calls, you know, threats. And then we want you to basically just cackle like a madman. Like, just 
in the most ridiculous way possible. I love it. I fucking love this game. All that glitters. Alright. Prisoners, let's get it going. You know what to do. And first one back from their weekly brainwash and gets a free tote bag and ice cream sandwiches. So, let's get her going. Mm, she's still kind of healing a little bit. Not like health, but like uh, smarts and stuff. So, that's all worked out. Brainwashing successful. You have another mindless Frankie. Good, good, good. Brainwashing has converted a prisoner to our cause. I'm thinking here. Watch out everyone, I'm thinking. Maybe I seal this up. Let's seal this up. And let's open it up over here. Okay. That up. Clear this off. Thank you, Iris. So that way, like, like here's what I'm thinking, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm being attacked from this way usually, or from this way. They already have to go through the entire hallway of doom. Brainwashing successful. Um, nothing here yet, but soon I'm gonna close this off and have an entrance like way the fuck over here. I'm basically gonna have it so if you want to do anything. Like, everyone's going to be over here. Like, everyone's going to be over here. Hmm. With that in mind, let's start upgrading our, uh, our arsenal. Or armor, even. This will be more cameras. And this will be the actual armory. Okay. Hmm. I guess cover that up. I'll do like a one, two, three, four, and we'll turn the rest into like a like a a greeting room for my diligent guards or something. Or something. Get that money going, get it spent. Uh, let's speed up the research a little bit, because it's kind of taking its sweet ass time. Any cash to be had? Yes, but I have to get rid of it. Love it. A scheme has succeeded. We have captured an agent. Have we now? An agent has been subdued and captured. Good, good. Salaries paid. More minions for the Cobalt uh, Empire. Tiamat shall be pleased. So if we're talking doors here, I'm thinking... Um, put that there. Has succeeded. Put that there. Uh, 
this is the wrong room type. It's like, why do the computers look so weird? Because it's the wrong type. Obviously. See, I would know that if I wasn't uh, derpy. Okay. Let's add these over here. A criminal network has too much heat and has a lockdown. Thank you for the heads up, Iris. You should be fine. Okay. Uh, what can we move over from here? Because I don't like this being this close, because nine times out of ten, this place gets fucking invaded. A scheme has succeeded. We can add... If only... Yeah, I don't think that would work either. We'll have them like this, like a, like a receptionist kind of thing. And research is almost done, guys. A scheme has succeeded. Right. Right. Let's um honestly just push this back one more. Your scientists have discovered something. Cool. I'll check that on a second, Iris. Thank you so much, madam. There, you can actually walk through it now. Obtain flower on the world stage. The carrion flower is exactly what you need. You must have it. Have your minions brave the jungle to bring it back for you. Yeah, they have been known to be the stinkiest flower in the world. I think... Vile Bloom is based off of it? I forgot the name of it. No, wait, that's a different flower. That is a different one. If your doors are shut, I'll make my own. She came in like a wrecking bola. And then my entire armed squad just kicked her ass. What's happening in Australia? Money? Money! There's a huge school of fish swimming in the ocean right now, and some of them are apparently pretty rare. How about we grab some and sell some to the highest bidder? Why not? Why not? I'm for it. I'm for it. I'm all for it. Use more. What is that? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. It's fine. I have more than enough uh, faculties to make my way through without, like, really as much as a scratch. So let's just do it. Faculties is the right word? I don't know. I have shit set up that I'm, I should be fine. Shouldn't even be an issue. Oh, thank God. Oh, shit. Well, where is Agent X? Over here, okay. All fires have been extinguished. Salary Wait, why? Paid. Okay, there we go. So it's the work in progress, obviously. What do you guys think of the layer so far? <laughs> you guys need to stop fucking around. Uh huh. Luckily, I have many more prisoners. Impossible. 
Also, if you ever wonder why there's a chair in the torture chamber, it's so Max can um, sit down and make a playlist of his favorite uh, screams of his enemies. It's therapeutic, you know? Okay, let's release uh, them. Oh, I did pick a fight with Wrecking Bola. <laughs> Sorry. I want that minion captured. Oh, look at the dog. It's interesting. Spicy puppy go explosion. I see, I see. Um, what can we add here? Let's add some cameras. Good, good. Let's get some more cameras. Let's have one going down this way, just in case. Fire has not started my lair. It's specifically just the flamethrower, Iris. Exactly. Get a camera there. Um. Did I used to have a bathroom in here? What happened to that? I think we're fine for now. What are we doing here? Oh, I never did the mission. There it is. Uh, you found a more elegant solution to your problem. The endangered carrion flower. It's delicate uh, and growing in an anvil nature reserve. So you need a good mix of hitters and botanists to retrieve it. I need more biologists, you say. Oh, Max! At last, something worthy of my skills. Uh, I think the kaiju egg is biologist. Money. Okay. So, in the meantime, let's get this all moving over. A Good. We'll add another door. An agent has been captured. No, no, we shouldn't. So if I add another door there, it's gonna make uh, these minions take longer to actually get into the field. So let's not An do that has been right now. Captured. I might make this more cameras. Or not camera. Yeah, camera. Meh. Do I actually need it, though? No. No, I do not. You have zero seconds. Confining target. I really don't actually need more camera uh, ability or power right now. Your only winning move is not to pray. So, let's add our armory. Daunting, adversary. Add that stun rifle. Which, of course, is just always lovely when we're trying to pin down our enemies and mind control them. Because, you know, hey, if you can't beat me, you might as well join. Right? We can sell these off. And this. A trap has been triggered. Keep telling Iris to keep triggering the traps. A Too many power bottoms. I should have more botanists soon. Let me place these last Old few racks. At least for this wall. And we'll do uh we'll do a pistol. Yeah. 
Now, Max should be in place, right? Where's Max? There he is. All right. Train faster, and then we'll get work harder. Train faster makes their training instant, and then work harder makes everyone focus on these specific areas. So it's not like, you know, basically it's going to make it go faster. There could be anything. Whereas the other one's specific to just training. Though it does kind of constantly drain morale from him, but like, it's fine. It's more than fine. The minion wise. So after this biologist, we're free to get the flower. Where are all my valets? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you guys deserting me? Well, you're dead, actually. I want that minion taken away. I don't know why you guys keep doing this. I keep telling you, you keep trying to run away from me, from me you're gonna die. What keeps happening? You keep dying. Shocking, I know. It's almost like I was telling the truth. Or something. Let's get rid of... This room. Odds are, this is all going to be traps again. Same thing with this. We'll probably, we'll probably wall this off this way and make him go through an entire network of even more traps. It will make it an absolute nightmare to go do the valet ship, but eh, it's fine. It's kind of why I, I want to add some form of a staircase like here, but uh, yeah. I might be able to, no. Can I? No. Damn it. The thing is, I can't have this open because then it's like, oh, so they're going through the hallway of doom, which will be expanded very shortly. They could just waltz right the fuck up in through here and just go right to my, you know, everything. A trap has been triggered. Hmm. I'm thinking. And failing. All right, fuck it. Uh. Let's keep moving some more uh, racks over. The question is, what traps should we use the most? Good, good. Need more guards too. While I'm at it. I think I am set to currently like 70 or something um, workers. I'm probably going to bring that down to 40 An soon. Has been I just honestly feel like it would be better to have more guards than anything. Do I need them? Eh, not really. See, that looks like a, like a guard room now. Ain't nobody gonna wanna fuck around with that around. And let's not forget our awesome armory. Now, I might be getting rid of this staircase, too. Small fire has started in your rear. I do really wish that wasn't happening all the time. Like that uh, alert. 
Uh, we are, we should have at least five biologists now. So once we're done with these, we'll send out the uh, squad to go get the flower. Finish up the mission. Is it like a hatch? What, what, what is that? What is that? Anyway, uh, with that done, let's cave this all in. Like so. I do feel bad, though, because I used to, uh, this room a lot. But it served me well. It really did. And while we're here, let's just uh, cave this in as well. What is right here anyway? Hold on. No. Uh-huh. Right, so... So, let's get rid of this. We have it all downstairs already. I keep forgetting. Sorry. Hold on. Mission time. Go. Did I lose two? What happened? Is Max still giving off the signal? Where is he? He's our biologist, right? Or am I going crazy, guys? At last, something worthy of my skills. Let, okay, so this will be number four biologist, right? Okay, number four biologist. We wait a second here. As soon as anyone shows up, we immediately auto-train them. Train faster, come on. Come on! Oh, is it, is it the, the technician? No, no, it's just healing. Hmm. Well, shit. Very well. Actually, you have the true workings of evil. Come on, go over to the. Go over. No, stop. Stop loading. Go. Oh. She better not go right over to it. Get to work. Eh, it's fine. All right. Um. Let's just chill for now, then. What do you guys think? I think our layer's looking a little bit more spicy. Maybe. I would not want to fuck around here now. Let's sell this. Obviously that. And that. Let's sell all this. Because we're not using really this cafeteria up here at all, right? We have the huge one downstairs. It's just taking up power. Uh, it's taking up uh, healing for my minions, for the technicians. And it's taking up space. Which we could use for more um, command rooms, which we could also use to get even more money, which would be very, very nice, of course. So, let's see here. Can I not? Oh, I can.
Okay, so that has to be open like this. Put traps and cameras, but we want to have that open so that we can activate our device when we get to the third stage of the Doomsday Weapon. Cool, cool, cool. Let's, for now, close this off. And just turn this all into that. Let's see here. Trap has been triggered. As is tradition. Get rid of this. And this. Turn this all into it as well. Okay, we'll keep this room like this because we need it for the sake of the uh, wall TV so we can monitor everything and make sure that we don't get too much heat and stuff like that. And, uh, let's see here. Saw that. Maybe we'll keep some... Eh. No, we're fine. Because nobody will actually, like, they'll either have to push their way up here from the first floor, which will take them for fucking ever. Or, they'll come from the third floor, but they'll be carrying money, so they won't really be caring about whatever the fuck we're doing over here. Add some more doors. That's fine. And I guess let's see about adding some more other shit. We got plenty of power. We got plenty of money. Might as well, right? Can I move this over like one? Is that enough? Almost. Let's move it over one more. Okay. And that should give you more intel and also more uh, broadcasting power, I believe. And as you can see by the power, this is why I was talking about... Um, Needing more power, essentially. Because you think you have a, not a lot, you really don't. You never really do in this game. Okay, then we'll add some uh, screens. I'm for losing as much heat as possible. Let's add, just for shiggles, let's add some old repeaters and computers. And decor-wise, what can we add here? <laughs> but why? Why do they keep doing this? Why are my minions this stupid? Salaries paid. Did that really block that entire thing off? Why? That's the thing that's kind of annoying about this game, is shit like that. And I will never say why it happens. It just does. It just simply happens. There's no real other excuse besides that. It just, it just, that this is part of the game. Small fire has started in your rear. Oh, I see. It be like every couple like that. All right, that makes sense. All fires have been extinguished. A small fire has started in your rear. All fires have been extinguished. Good to hear, Iris. Good to hear.
And let's add... That's morale. Uh, is there anything for smarts? There we go. Okay, that should make things a little bit better. A trap has been triggered. Oh, that's gotta go. That sucks. Okay. So now we should have a way larger expanded network of information, which means we can get more money and we can do a lot more shit. And I'm guessing I'm good to go on this. Good, good. Let's launch the scheme. Let's fast forward. How's everyone doing today, by the way? Or today, or this morning. I'm doing pretty good. Salty it's Sunday already. Networks need more broadcast strength to maintain. Right. The fires are getting out of control. The fires are fine. All fires have been the fires are fine, right? It's all bullshit. Hold on. Capture that minion. I would ever say why my minions desert me so often, ever. If any of you guys have ever played this game and know something I'm missing, let me know, because I have tried everything. Wow, the final loot mission. Guys, tomorrow, uh, we're working on agents, or this. Your layer's, power usage, uh, your layer's power usage is making the heat uh, inside unbearable. But you won't turn on the air conditioning. thing. What are you, made of money? Find a simpler solution to your heating problem. Rather than waste money on air conditioning, you've instead opted to steal a giant block of ice while there are still glaciers. Find one to take back... Uh... Side story. So... Ha... You know what? Fine. A lot of research in this game. Uh, let's see. The only place you'll find enough ice to cool your base off is a glacier. Those are undwilling supplies, so ask your scientists with quick... So, oh, task your scientists with quickly identifying the, the best one to harvest from. I said ask. I was like, wait, no. Has been captured. Or that don't make no sense. Research has begun. Oh, I... Did make one. Nice. I have a fabricator now. Again, why are my minions deserting me left and right, guys? Ooh, could I have more cameras? I do have a new trap, don't I? Oh, I was hoping for it. Oh, well. Okay, so we have a new trap, I'm guessing, yeah? Yeah. Do yourself a favor and don't go near it. Your less refined minions have taken to calling it the smelly death flower. Lovely. Let's remove that one. Just for now. Um... Oh shit, my broadcast track is ridiculous. Let's uh let's upgrade some shit here then. Let's upgrade you. Need more intel. Alright, alright, it's fine, we're getting there. Let's fill all this in. We captured a minion. Good. OK, 
Okay, same thing here and there. Question for all you lovelies. Who is your favorite James Bond? And of course, why? Oh, I forgot about that. That's right. That was still in there. And that's all closed off. Once that's done, let's, um... We'll about upgrading the research lab on the second floor. And then we're turning this entire area here into a weird winding maze of death. A criminal network has been upgraded. Good. Trying to think of what I want to, like, put here. How's the research? 65%. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. Um, we have only 10 intel still. Shit. Let's honestly get some quantum uh, chemists going here. A trap has been triggered. I should never need more than uh, four, really, so that should be fine. I do have some room for some minions. Any lucky volunteers? Quickly, stop looking at that oh. minion. They know why. More of an ex volunteer at that or volunteer at that point, but still. So that's the thing, though, right? Like, as I said earlier, when you, uh, Please pay no attention to brainwash this your enemies, they portray you way faster. I think. But, but, they do have a chance of being in an upgraded class or minion type way faster as well. The Hubbard Glacier is northern, in northern uh, Patriot territory will do nicely for the purposes of cooling your lair. Time to investigate further. This is probably a dumb question. Do they actually name glaciers? I never notice if they actually do, though. Interesting. Mm-hmm. If I must, if I fucking must. Agent X is here to chop you down like a cherry tree. I'm sure you are, X. I'm sure you are. Brainwashing has converted a prisoner to our cause. Yeah, so if you don't know about this game that much, um, I have a gold-based uh, doomsday weapon, and every now and then it may have a discharge. On one hand, my minions are officially worth their weight in gold. On the other, I have to hire more minions. Trap has been triggered. It's like watching ants go to work. I do always like how they have these almost I don't know if you say preset, but I would say preset areas built. Or, like, laid out, I guess. Just find it kind of interesting. A trap has been triggered. So 
So, we're waiting for Intel. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was reading that. I thought I thought I had hit max Intel capacity, but my brain wasn't working for a second or two. So, oh, poor guys. Oh well. Sort of day in the name of evil. Let's. Get rid of these. Let's wall this off. And let's begin working on all this shit. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Now, with the Flames of Prometheus... A trap has been triggered. Small fire has started what the air. fuck is happening? It is a... The fires are getting out of control. Trying to find a big enough room that's uh, kind the of empty. It is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 by 9. Okay, cool. So we'll do 3 there. 3 there. Should be about ten. Let's take the walk. Better is eleven. How All does that fare? Extinguished. Let's move that over. No, no, no. Oops. No, 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 no. Okay. A little bit more. And there we go. A trap has been triggered. We can cave in a small fire. All this. In your air. Okay, now, so how do you want this to go? I'm thinking. All fires have been extinguished. Four there. We'll go up for, uh, like, three. Right? One, two, three. Has been oh, a little captured. bit more. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Nah, this is stupid. Close this off. And we'll just go to the right already. Like that. And the reason why it's always done in fours for the most part is uh, because most traps require like a four by four area to be deployed properly. And we're gonna just wind this down up to around here like a snake and all the way through all of this shit just to get to like right there is the plan. Cause it's kind of the cobalt way if you ask me. Salaries paid. Let's do something like this. We'll add a uh, magnet here. Traps here. We'll have another 4x4 area real quick. Then we'll have a fan there pushing, and this one will be sucking. We'll have another trap right there. So it's kind of like 
Odds are you'll be kind of stun locked here. That's that's the hope. There we go. Just keep winding, winding, winding. What? And you may ask, isn't this overkill? The answer is, oh, most definitely. Most definitely. That's why we're doing it. A trap has been triggered. A okay, two, three, four. We'll do hmm. Nope, oh, too too many, too many. Far too many guys, my bad. A small fire has started in your rear. Iris really worries far too much. This is going to be stupid, by the way. For now, I'm going to I'm going to actually remove this wall. It's just like just so I don't have to like accidentally do this. It's like a digestive track of just death. Real quick, that glacier. Am I good to go on this? I am. A creature is frozen within the icy depths of the Hubbard yeah. Glacier. Send yeah, a biologist to the uh, site so you can confirm its nature. Maybe you've got a dinosaur on your hands? Zero Guys, am I getting a dinosaur? Am I actually getting a dinosaur? Your henchman is in combat. I mean, I'm all for it, but like... Guys, am I getting a dinosaur? All fires have been extinguished. Just chill on the screen for a second. Let me see who I have to raid tonight. Who I can raid tonight. Okay, we got a few. Um. Hmm. I'll probably raid Goat Chimera, I guess. He raided me last night, and it feels only right that I raid them today. Yeah. Anywho, while we're waiting for that all to go down, let's work on this nightmare trap. We have captured an agent. It's going to be the most redundant, like... Nothing is ever going to get through here. A lot of people uh, who have played this game told me like, oh, just go muscle, right? And they're probably right. They're probably right. However, is it the Cobalt Way? Or are booby traps the Cobalt Way? These are the questions you have to uh, ask yourself. And honestly, it's booby traps. A trap has been treated. The answer is most definitely booby traps. I haven't heard an update on the Hubbard Glacier dig in a while. What's the delay? The heat is deathly. It really is. We've tried to cut around the Yeti, and it's just not working. It'll take more time to come up with a solution. What do you mean it's not working? Forget the Yeti, just bring the ice here. I don't care what's frozen in it. But boss... Is it a good idea to bring this creature straight into our base? What if the ice melts? Then we have a monstrous pet yeti to kill our enemies. That will never happen. And besides, you will have bigger problems than a yeti if you don't do what I say. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Sorry. A scheme has succeeded. Okay. An agent has been captured. My cat is going fucking crazy right now. Pico, what is it? Okay, sorry. A small fire has started in your rear.
One, two, three, four. Not big enough. Fires have been extinguished. Let's just honestly go this way. And... Just, hmm. Just start going down, I guess. A small fire has started in your rear. All fires have been extinguished. Oh gosh, it's almost done. I'm gonna go on a limb and say I don't have enough power to do this, but... I'm still gonna do this. A trap has been triggered. My enemies are never getting through here, by the way. Let's go like that. I'm definitely learning, uh, losing out on some bits I could be using for traps, but, you know. And this is going to be like sacrilege for me, but like. A trap has been triggered. I do have a lot already. Just saying. A small fire has started in your rear. All fires have been extinguished. Incarceration mm. protocols initiated. Okay. Wow, that somehow worked out. Well, guys, in a couple of minutes, I'll be ending my stream. I'll be raiding. Uh... Oh, God. I forgot he was still here fucking around. I'll be raiding. Uh, let's see here. Goat Chimera, I believe their name is. They are an artist. And they seem to be doing some art right now. So, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of focusing on this right now. An item has been destroyed. <laughs> Do you guys think anything's ever going to come out of this thing alive? Because I don't think so. An item has been destroyed. I, uh... Where? What? What's what's been destroyed? What's been destroyed? A small fire has started in your rear. Anyway, guys, sorry. I'm getting distracted. We've been streaming for nine hours. Sorry we didn't have an afternoon stream today. Um Tomorrow we will, after with my chores, talk to my family. Um I hope everyone's having a fantastic night. Uh, again, pour one out for uh, Bailey, uh, Evil's dog, who unfortunately passed today uh, due to old age. Evil, if you're hearing this, I hope you like um, the memorial I put up there on the B for you. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. As I said, we're going to be raiding uh, in a second. Real quick, let me see what we got here. Slash raid. Goat Chimera. Haha! 
Uh, but thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I got a little bit more tired towards the end because it's been nine hours straight. And I didn't really have to get, take any breaks. Not really. Um, tomorrow, I'm not sure what we're going to play, but tomorrow is going to be a variety game day. Do uh, you have any thoughts? Feel free to leave them in the comments on YouTube, message me on Twitch, or feel free to leave it in the Discord, which I will post up real quick. Oh, there we go. Um, unfortunately, tomorrow's Sunday, but what can you do? Uh, at least, guys, I'll be here with you. And if you don't know, I stream every day. Uh, 8 to 12 hours a day and all that good stuff. And yeah, so without further ado, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day, morning, uh, or night. And I hope to see you all tomorrow. You're all awesome. And keep it up, guys. Now, let the kobold cataclysm begin. Charge, my minions! Charge! Oh, hold on. Your kobold overlord demands it. All right, guys, throw that. Good night. I hope to see you all tomorrow, and I hope you're all doing wonderfully. Um, and just shout out to you lovelies out there who watch the VODs and you love us in chat. You guys have been getting me a bit by bit closer to affiliate, and I cannot thank you all enough. Thank you for all the love and support, guys, and I'm going to bed, so I'll see you all later.